Bonjour, bienvenue, hello, good morning and welcome to the European Cricket Network. It's going to be another super day, day four here in Drew. Speaking of super, the Super Kings are back in action and they're hoping to win their first match on the European Cricket Network. I'm Rico Full. you're watching the European Cricket Series here in France and the action starts right here, right now. This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Yes, that's right. The Super Kings will be hoping that they can get their first win on the European Cricket Network. Won't be easy for them, though. They're up against the Paris University Club. Paris University Club, they played three matches the first time we saw them. They got two good wins, but they did lose to Drew, whereas the Vilna Super Kings, they lost both their matches. So a big day for them today. They're sitting really at the foot of the table at the moment, but they want to make their way up the table. A big day for the Super Kings as well, because they got three matches here today. I know that their captain, Silva Thiran, is hoping that his team goes well. But William Singh will be hoping that his boys can maybe finish at the top of the table themselves. Let's see what happens at the coin. And the tournament referee, Charles Croucher, for the all-important coin toss. Paris University Club to call. Tails. Tails is the call. And it's a tail. We went up the back first. William Singh, the captain of Paris University Club, winning the toss and electing to have a bat. Now, one thing that you remember myself and Vinny Sandu talking about yesterday is that we did feel that in this very first match in the morning that teams that win the toss would elect to have a bat first. And the reason for that is really quite simple. Early morning, we have a lot of dew on the ground is very wet and what we've seen that in those earlier matches the team that is in the field has a few difficulties with the ball holding on to it for the bowlers for example getting the ball in the right areas we've seen a lot of full toss and no balls and also we've seen a lot of players whether it's the bowler or the outfielders slipping around just a little bit so batting first in the morning I think is the way to go and that's exactly or what the Paris University Club are going to do. William Singh, he's been in very good form himself. He's been bowling brilliantly well. I think the slower bowlers are certainly doing well on this pitch and he'll be hoping to be in the wickets as well. But he's hoping to get a few runs on the board too. Somebody like Safi will once again be pretty key. And also, I think Zach Ali is going to be a key player in this one. With the Villeneuve Super Kings, they are just needing to get better every time. Batting has been their issue. I think uh, Suva Thiran, their captain, he's got to go well at the beginning. He will probably be the opener when it comes to them being the, doing the batting. He needs to score a lot of runs. And maybe somebody like uh, the Siva Kumas can give him some support. Well, I'm going to make my way to the commentary box. And when you join me, I'll tell you a little bit more about the first two teams. Buongiorno, how are you all? I hope you're well and I hope you're looking forward to the start of a fantastic day. Yeah, match day four and uh, it's going to be a good one. I reckon that we're going to see plenty of action. Buongiorno, buenos dias, buongior, well, wherever you're tuning in from around the world. Of course, namaste, salam alaikum, sasikal, I want to come. Let's get ready to do this. Let's have a quick look at what we saw yesterday. Mitri were in good form against Arcel. What a match that was. A six-run victory by Mitri. Uh, it was a great run chase from Sarsel, but uh, Arslan Zafa, the player of the match, made sure that the points, or three of them anyway, did go to the way of Mitri. But what we saw yesterday was that all the teams that played did get a win on the board. Mitri, after winning that first one comprehensively against Sarsel, well, they lost out to the Paris Knight Riders, winning their first match on debut. And uh, Fahim Pachagagan was in a great form, 56 not out of 22. A seven-wicket victory for them. Match number 13. Well, strange things happened in match number 13, and it was the Greeny Vipers who put 127 on the board. But they would have been disappointed despite the half-century from Chowdhury. It was Akib Shamshad, the captain of Sarsel, that led the way. 33 of 12. Playing the match performance from him, giving his team a wicket with 10 
balls to go. Paris Knight Riders back in action again, but like the teams before them, though they won their first match, they lost this one. 108 was never going to be enough against the Greeny Vipers. And Samuel and Mary, 64-27, smashed his team to victory. And they did that with an over to spare. And last up, we were going to see two teams that had won one and lost one go together. And it was the Paris Knight Riders that were victorious. And uh, they were taking the score of 121. And they fell short, beg your pardon, as I say, of course, 121 for five. And it was a close game again. It went all the way down to the wire, but Sasa winning by five runs. Zahir Hussain, his tidy spell of bowling, got them the victory. That meant that the tables looked like that. So the Vipers do stay top. But uh, you can see the other teams are closing on them. And there's a big opportunity here today for the two teams we're going to see first up. The Villeneuve Super Kings and Paris University Club. Paris University Club, they could, if they win both their matches, they got two back-to-back -back matches this morning, win both and they could go to the top of the standings super kings well they're a team that didn't have the best of starts they did lose two out of two on day one but three matches for them here today and this is huge they've got a, a big opportunity to try and get off the foot of the table and start to make their way up into what we want to call the safe zone in the top five finish in the top five and you continue in this series, this ground is looking absolutely immaculate. The forecast today started very cold. It was around about 2 degrees this morning. But as you can see there, the sun is out and it is warming up nicely. But temperatures will be around 13 of the highs today. No forecast of any rain as we look at the lineups there. So as I said, you know that the captain, Subathiran, for the Vilna Super Kings is that hoping that some of these players, especially the batters, can perform here. But at the moment, they've got to bowl well. And I think with the ball, something like uh, maybe Robin Sun, Siva Kuma, it could be pretty key for them. And uh, I reckon that they'll go back to their spin a fair time. Spare University Club, though, they've shown that they're on a strong side. William Singh has been in very good form, their captain. And I think something like Mukhtar Gulami is probably wanting to make a good, good show here today, as well as Usman Shahid, who hasn't quite really hit his mark. But one guy who's been in good form has been Safi. You can see here that the win predictor is not giving the Vilna Super Kings too much of a chance. 94% to just six. But, hey, uh, stranger things have happened, as we know. Maybe the Super Kings will find their form here today. A very good morning to everybody in the chat. Hello to, to Dave. I hope you're well, and I uh, hope you you got home safely. Just I know that you left here yesterday. Hello, Rob Thompson. Groom is in the chat as well, and I think everybody is looking forward to a, a super day of action. A lot of dew on the ground, as you heard me say in the intro. So I think this first match, similarly to the ones that we've seen already from days one to three, I think the first one will see a little bit of a slip and sliding from, well, maybe the bowler, the fielders, and possibly the batters as well, depending on where they run. Ready to go. Glorious sunshine to start. It will be Pira Bakaran to bowl the first, and he will be bowling to Usman Shahid. Zafar Iqbal is the other opener. Here we go. Here's the first. Well struck. Over the top of the infield. It's going to be four runs straight away. Good looking shot from Shahid. Nicely played. It's a sort of gentle loosener from the bowler. Just get a little bit of movement away. That'll encourage Pira Bakaran. But just a little bit short and allows the batter to go through the shot. Field change straight away. Sort of following the ball a little bit here. And as the fielder now goes back just in the spot that ball went to. So we're going to miss this time. So... Long off, a wide long off, gets put out on the boundary. And third man is right down the other end of the pitch, also on the boundary. And gets played away, not quite where he wants it to go. They will take a single. Safe travels, of course, to Vinnie Sandu, my partner in crime, who is going to be taking 
a few days off. We'll see him back here at uh, the Drew Cricket Ground next week. Enjoy your time off, Vinny. It is International Jugglers Day today. Maybe that's why he's off. Vinny Sandy does like to do a bit of juggling. Seen him do that a few times on camera. Play down onto the, the leg side. I suppose what's the issue here, probably for the bowler, is that every time you see there he gets the rag out, that's uh, Piro Bakaran, but every time this ball is, is hit along the deck like that, it just uh, goes through loads of surface water and comes back pretty wet. So a number of rags there to be used to try and keep it dry. Okay, this is up in the air. This is an opportunity and it gets well taken. Nicely done by Mohamed Azim and Usman Shahid once again. It's uh, a little bit of a failure for him. He'll go for just five after hitting one boundary. De gets a single, but this time he just doesn't get this right. It sort of hits down the, the toe end of the bat, scoops it up in the air, and as the fielder making no mistake there. So well done to Azim. Takes the catch and, well, gives the, the Villeneuve Super Kings their first wicket. That's what they've got to do, I suppose. You've just got to believe. And never mind what the statistics are saying. Never mind what the the win predictor is saying. Just go out there and, well, you know you're underdogs. You've got nothing to lose. Give it everything. Ali Gulami, the new batter. And he chases a wide one. I like the fact that the keeper... Thiruk Kumaran is standing up as well. That's the end of the first over. You'll take that. 6 for one at the end of the first. Let's have a look at some of the stats that we've seen here. It's uh, over 3,000 runs now. Total maximo as well. Remember, the next maximo will be 250. Uh, the maximo rate is very healthy as well. Current, current run rate, so average score per innings around the 125. Remember, I the start of day one. Early on, I was saying that I think it's going to be a 125 to 130 around that par score. And, well, batting first or second, exactly 50-50 at the moment. Seven and seven. Seen the highest score batting first, 82. The, lo the, the 182 and the lowest, 82. So the average around that 126. Oh, that's a drop. Ah, oh, that's a drop. And I've got to say... Without being too mean, that's a bit of a dolly. So Iqbal gets dropped on one. Bowler can't believe it. This is uh, Pithip Gunarasa, and you've got to be taking those catches. And then the next one gets drilled down the ground for six runs. Bowler, bowler, bowler. That's the 250th Maximo of this European Cricket Series in Drew. And, well, the wicketkeeper is going to be feeling pain every time there's runs from Iqbal's bat. And that's well stopped. Good fielding. Gets the body behind us as well. Yeah, through Kumaran. Straightforward catch. I think he, it's almost like he wants to celebrate before he gets to it. And that's why B. Short goes for it, and this will go all the way as, go, as well. Manos arriba, 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 Vitro, porque eso es seis carreras, seis más. And David just saying, hasn't left yet, he's still in his BB. Always seen his B&B. David just saying it's lovely. It's 18 degrees here. I don't know about that. And then I'm reading. I'm sure I read later. He said he's still at his Airbnb. Well, Dave, I don't know where you are, but it's not 18 degrees here. Maybe that's some fake news there from Dave. Good bowling. Liking this. That's a very good tidy over. So he's pretty unlucky, though. 
Kiraz Heap. Gunnar Asse, because he should, and he knows he should have had a wicket in the very first ball that he bowls. There's those standings again. You can see Paris University Club, they've got a good opportunity with two wins out of two here today. Only playing the first two matches, so they know work hard in the morning, get the afternoon off. They could go to the top of the standings. We will also see today the President 11 and Royal 94. So we've got some good cricket lined up for you. Five matches. Yes, that's good work, nice twisty work. That will go for four. So despite all the the dew on this ground, the ball not really slowing up too much. Use the wrist here quite nicely because it's a bit short. Gets into a good position. Rolls the wrist on that. There's uh, Zafar Iqbal. Gets four more to his name. Oh, Zafar, of course, wanting to make the most of the opportunity that he's being given. That's well bowled. York and Lent delivery gets dug out. We'll take the single. A lot of talk out there, which I like. Trying to G each other up here, the the Vinland Super Kings. They want to play that, the Super Kings. Pira Bakaran. Short this time, and Fielder is out there, though, and he has taken the catch. And look at them. They are absolutely delighted. Look at Pira Bakaran. Yeah, he's delighted. I tell you why, it wasn't the best of deliveries, but... Remember they put that man out there after the very first ball was hit for four in that area. And uh, Mukta Ali Gulami will go and he departs for a three-ball duck. Well, I know that Dave was saying that his friend Gulami is out there. But Gulami, he hasn't got too much to be happy about at the moment because he's going to get a three-ball Derek. <laughs> Early morning duck here at the Drew Cricket Ground. Gulami goes for the big one off the short ball. Probably would have been wishing he goes straight down the ground, goes to the port. There's another one that's in the air and it's just out of reach of the fielder that chases it hard. They take the single. Abdullah Anwari will get off the mark. Interesting that uh, Tassinula Safi or William Singh haven't gone out there just yet. One of those two surely will be one of the next two batters. That's firmly hit. Gets past the infielder. Does get something on it. So he does, despite being wet and horrible, he does stop this one going to the boundary. <laughs> and uh, you can see he's trying to, I suppose, dry himself down, not dust himself down, but he he gets a bit on it, stops it going to the boundary. Plays it out, taking on the fielder. That's it. Good running. Never going to be easy to chase the ball down, pick it up cleanly, get the throw, especially when it's uh, a little bit wet. You've got to be mindful of your footing as well. And that brings to the end the power play. 28 for two. So they'd be pretty happy with the thing so far. You've got to bear in mind the scores that uh, the Villain of Super Kings have been scoring. Remember, they started with that uh, five over a side match against the, the Greeny Vipers. Chasing 100 for victory, they got to 76. And then when they were batting first in match number two against uh, Balbi Neons, they made 82. So batting has been their issue. So they'll be keen to try to keep this around the 100 mark if they can. Azim fires this one across the batter. And uh, it's a good delivery. No wide there for both. Zim again. And it's a... Oh, wow! That is incredible! 
absolutely incredible. And well, the headband bandit had just taken an incredible catch. Well, Robin San, well not Cruzo, Robin San Siva Kuma. What a catch this is. This is sensational. He's got the ideal conditions to do it, I've got to say. But watch this. Magical catch. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, baby. That is incredible. What a catch. What a moment. Stronger together. That's where he does it. Right under the Stronger Together banner. And the Villanova Super Kings. If they're to get their first win, they're going to have to be stronger together. That was just crazy. What a catch. Well, we'll cue that one up to watch again whenever we get a moment because that was something incredible. Oh, 28 for free. Brilliant catch. Swing and a miss this time. Oh, what a catch. That one takes your breath away. It really does. Have a look at this, people. Have a look at this. Sensational. What a catch. Woo. It's all happening this morning. Robin San Siva Kuma, brilliant. And it's another short ball. This one will be called a wide. It gets over the head of the batter. Have a look at this. Yeah. Good umpiring. Munjor to umpires out there. A shock and a tip. Third umpire Vignesh and uh, the sheriff back in town. Charles Croucher will stay off yesterday. Neil Kesh Patel is doing the job. There's another one in the air. It's another one that gets taken. Oh, the Super Kings, they're on fire this morning. They're dancing and jumping with joy. Brilliant catch. And this time, it's the other Siva Kuma. It's a Kayan Than who comes in, takes the catch. The catching has been brilliant. When you take everything into consideration, the conditions, the ball, it's wet. The ground a little bit wet. These guys, they have been immaculate. It's another duck. It's a two ball duck this time for Harash. So Shabir Haras makes his way out as well. Yeah, well, there's Derek again. Derek has been busy. Two ball duck. What a catch. Well, this. Siva Kumas, they're on fire this morning. So Kayantan Siva Kuma taking it this time. Azim takes another. Look at his figures. Umpire has a look. Says it's okay. This is Zika Ali that has now come out. So holding back to some of the the bigger guns here, William Singh, at the moment. Oh, he's charging. Probably not the way to go about this, really. You know what the bowler's bowling. He's bowling a delivery that's going to go wide outside the off. You've got to be going the other way. Charging isn't going to help. Incredible over. Oh, we've seen some good dismissals here already. And that was... Uh, Two wickets for one run. And look at the way the worm is looking. It's coming down rapidly. 29 for four. Great over from Azim. Gunarasa starts with a short one. Short and wide. And that will be one for the over as well. Bowling is second now. You can see they've got a, a good plan though. Outside the off, outside the off. That's where they want to keep it. Swing and a miss from Anwari. Wickets that have fallen already. Usman Shaheed went for five. Pir Bakaran got him. Then Azim, we saw him take the wicket of Iqbal. Another one that's outside that off stump. Glami went without scoring. As did Shabir Haras. Peter Bakaran and Azim once again the bowlers. But the catching, superb. Both the Sivakumas, but oh, catch so far. 
One of the best outfield catches you'll see it was from Robinson Sivakuma. That's been hit pretty well. Nobody that part of the ground coming across, but won't get there. Four runs and Paris University Club finally have something to applaud. They've gone a little bit quiet. I think they're maybe a little bit shell shocked here at the moment. Goes for it, and that will go all the way. Bolle, bolle, bolle. Ginna Sona, Anwari. He's uh, watched a few wickets fall while he's been out there. And Abdullah deciding, right, it's time to get going. Now, the difference here, if you have a look at the last two overs, the line that's been bowled by Azim and Pira Bakaran, they've kept it wide outside off. Gunnar Rasa. Yeah, that's better. You see, right outside off is a different ball game. If you go straight, the batters get under it. So, changes his line and gets a better result straight away. Right, Zika Ali. Two balls, no runs. But this is where they're, this is what they've got to work on here. Try to get the wicket here. They're leaving. It's quite an interesting field. Go back to that in a minute. Goes high, and it goes mighty. This will go all the way. Well, that's a good way to open your account. It's a big six down the ground. Lovely jubbly as he belts this straight. Once again, the bowler, Gunarasa, going too straight. Now well, that's the end of the over. So big six as I welcome you in to the comedy box here today. On my own today, going solo. Vinny Sandu, of course, taking some time off, but I'm sure I've got plenty of company around me, a lot of people here at the ground, and of course, all of you, wherever you're tuning in from, lovely to have you with us, cricket lovers around the world, and I think we're looking forward to a very exciting day, and are we going to start with a little bit of a surprise here, as the viewing of Super Kings are looking to win their first match. Remember, when this started, it was 98% to 2% in favour of the Paris University Club, but the University Club are bouncing back, and they're doing it in the form of sixes as Anwari unleashes another big one. And that's the difference. Too straight, too short, smashed away. So Mohamed Azim, who bowled an incredible first over, yeah, he gets smashed down the ground. First up, and now it's a short one. It's a Gundy ball. Ah, this little period here, remember the last? That's the last six deliveries now have gone four, six, one, six, six, Four. And just like that, things change. The 50s come up. So remember, I was saying that you want to try and keep this score to not too many more than that 100 here, especially if you go by the way that you batted so far. So Abdullah and Wari fighting back for Paris University Club, playing some big shots. Wide ball. Mm, Tazubia Didier was saying they're not spe sending the go to players. I think he's referring to maybe Safi and Singh. Well, that's pretty high and smashed hard. The fielder does very, very well to stop this, uses his legs. That's going to be a bruise. Let's have a look at the height on this side on. I suspect he's a little bit high. Field has done brilliantly well, though, I have to say. This one, yeah, I, I mean, it's close. And I don't think they're calling it. Okay, they allow it to be safe. I think, what, personally, I think you call them when they're there, they're about. That one is straight down the ground. That's gone right over us. That's a biggie. Six runs, it ends up being a full toss. He's got to get the ball to pitch here, Azim. Well, after bowling an incredible first over, we took two wickets. I know he conceded one run. It's all gone wrong, wrong here. I think he goes for this slower ball, gets it wrong, and it gets thumped. And well, that one's knocked out the sun. And that's another ball. Bolle, bolle, kinda zona. Kewaike, hani, alke, grande. 
Well, this one has come sweet out of the middle of that bat, sweeter than the chocolate souffles that you get here in France. Boom, shakalagia. And just like that, things start to change quite rapidly. Last over, went for 18. This one has gone for 24 with a ball still to go. Anwari doing the damage. So you see there, Didier, I think William Singh just saying, look, I know I've got the batters. They're not clicking at the moment, but I want to keep giving them the chances. And they're clicking there now. And this one is going to pierce the field as well. That's going to be four more. And that means that this over goes for 28. Well, have you seen two contrasting overs from the same bowler? Two wickets and just the one run in his first. And that one going for 28. And just like that, I think Paris University Club have absorbed the pressure. They've come out fighting. 75 for four. And now they're looking to probably touch on to that score around about that 130. Which I think is going to prove to be a real battle for the Super Kings. But the Super Kings, they do fight. We've seen them fight here. But we know... They do do some good work with the ball and in the field. Their catching has been great, but the batting is the issue. All right, here we go. New bowler is uh, Mahad Evan. Firmly hit out on the offside. Single take, and there's Siva Kuma, who also took a great catch. Both the Siva Kumas, that's uh, the Kian Arthur. But of course, the talk at the moment is still off the one. That was taken by Robinson Sivakuma. What a catch. Short, Gundy gets hit, but am I going to wick it? Oh, well, just when I was saying the catch has been pretty good. Not easy. He had to be quick. He had to dive forward. I think he was just a little bit slow to react. He doesn't pick it well. I like the fact that he still does go for the catch, even though he's not quite ready for it. Gets for him. Goes to the banner. Sam Williams there. Just uh, sorting out the banner there. And then has to do a little bit of fielding as well. Ali, Zaka Ali, also now going. All right. Oh, well. That's been absolutely belted. And the field has got a hand to this. It is still, this has been so, hit so hard that even though the fielder gets a hand to it, it's still racing to the boundary. And he says, I've had enough. Get me out of here. Get me out of the firing line. So he's moving. I think that was uh, Sarithan. Says, I'm out of here. I can't take this. And then the, the head banded bandit. Robin San says, leave it to me. I can deal with it. All right. Got to pitch it up, though. It doesn't. But at least it's straighter. We'll take the single. Not been too many of them lately had their dot balls. Remember the first four overs, there was plenty. 29 for four they were after four. Six for one. 19 for one after two. 28 for two after three. 29 for four after four. Chase is on. You've got to be looking for two here. A wicket keeper's going for it big time. Is uh, through Kumaran. Remember he, remember how things started early on? when he dropped Iqbal on one. And we thought that was going to hurt them because Iqbal then started smashing the ball around all over the place. But uh, how quickly things did change. It's like the over comes to an end. We can talk a little bit about the uh, European Cricket Championship where this time round is going to be split into two divisions. Challenger division and the Premier division. So the Challenger division, I suppose, is for those teams that are... Let's just say they're not quite at the same level as some of the teams that you will see in the Premier. Uh, they've got an opportunity, though, to come together, fight it out. And two teams from that Challenger division in the 2025 Championship will go into the Premier division. So plenty to play for. There's also, it's, it's like a little tournament within itself. So there will be, of course, 
uh, winners who will get a trophy chance. Oh, yeah. Great catch. Great catch. The catching has been superb. It really has. And this time is Siri Kuma just rushing. What a catch this is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Poetry in motion is the way to describe it because he can't stay on his ground. He has to be off the air to take it. And he takes off. And he shows that the yellow man can jump. Oh, what a catch that is. Beautifully done. Well, Siri Kuma, Jathurushan, that is brilliant. Their catching has been outstanding. And Zika Ali will go for 31. But he's played his part, hasn't he? He's helped them to get to a score. But the wicket goes. But the thing is, though, that means Safi comes out. Now, this guy can hit a ball. And I think he's got the license to go big here. Comes down the ground, hits it firmly. This time, the fielder, despite the efforts, can't get to it. It's going to be four runs to start off with. Good strike. I think it actually goes all the way. Beg your pardon, four runs. Yeah, he hits it well. The fielder, yep, all the way. Quite clearly. All right, this is what Safi does do. Gunarasa wants a reply. This is... Rithrushan Gunurasa flies it and tries to stop it with his foot, which is probably not advisable on a on a cold, chilly morning. Single gets taken. So Anwari gets back on strike. You could make a, just a, a little highlight of catching from this very first inning. It really has been superb from the Super Kings. Short and one. Only just reaches the batter, plays it out, gets a single. Safi will be looking to bring the 100 up with this shot and then have 12 balls to try and get to that 130 that they're eyeing up here. Remember, par scores we've seen have been about 125. Batting first, 126. Comes down, hits it pretty well. Chase is on. It will get to it. I don't think it will go to the boundary. And, oh, <laughs> well, I suppose when they say back it up, this is proper backing it up. Gets a proper slide in. Well, Robin San Suvakuma does the work, but he has some support behind him as well. And just for good measure, he gets the slide in that we like to see. There he goes. Boom. Uh -huh. He goes for this one. Doesn't quite get it. That'll be the over, so they don't get to the 100 they're eyeing up in, inside the 8. 97 for 5. Still, they'll take that. It's another good over. It's a productive over. Being the tail almost of two halves at the moment. Mohad Evans' last over, over 7 went for 12. That one, just 10 from it, so... Firmly hit but to the fielder. Peter Bakaran, who started it all off with some great bowling, good spell from him. Makes the stop. Wide heaven, looking to keep it nice and tight. Coming left arm around. One gets through, they'll take one, but no damage done. They don't mind the singles. Singles won't hurt them. Remember, trying to keep this as close to that 100 mark as they can. They, they wouldn't want it to be going more, really, than that 110, 115. Slices this completely. That's Anwari. Preferring the pace, I think, Anwari. He's the one who got them started with some big hits, didn't he? Early on in the innings when they were in trouble with two big sixes. Yeah, all right, this one is a real teaser. That has gone a long way up. And it's not caught, but amazingly, he keeps his ball in play. What I like about this one, Bira Bakaran, is he never panics at all. 
It looks like he's going to take a really good catch. That's gone miles in the air. But unfortunately, he doesn't take the catch. But luckily for him, the ball doesn't go over the boundary rope. So that's fine. That's just going to be, I think it's just a single. Once again, I think he, he don't mind that. He doesn't hold the catch, but doesn't give a boundary. Talking of boundaries, this will be a boundary. It's short, it's going to be. And that's a good shot play by Safi. He gets into position very early, doesn't he? If you watch him again, he's outside that off peg and he gets low, he gets ready, he knows what he's doing with it and he works his away. So 106 for five. to keep this score down, trying to keep the squeeze on. What's a good ball? Needs to be good and full. Mm, it's pretty full. No, that's better. You can bowl into your field when you keep the ball out there. I mentioned the field earlier with uh, the Vilna Super Kings as that ninth over comes to an end. 107. So they want a big finish here. Do Paris University Club. Remember, they've got some good bowling as well. So well, Super King, somebody's going to have to score a 40 or a 50, I feel, if they're going to get this win. But it all depends what happens in this last over as well. 107 for five. That's not the worst of overs there from Mahadevan. Not, not a bad spell. 22 from it. He did well when he got the ball pitched up. Okay, here we go. And no run. Not using his feet, Safi, this time. He wants to wait for it and whip that ball on the leg side. Yeah, I was talking about the leg side field all the way along. They've been, never had three on the leg. They've protected the offside very well. You've always had three more or less on the offside. But on the leg side, they normally had one or two. That's it. But you can't be bowling there. That just a hit me ball. It gets walloped away. And that one, uh, I think the fence might have done its job and stopped it going over. I was having a look at the fence actually that goes around this ground. There's a lot of uh, danger, do not enter. And I'm keen to find out what's living in the forest there or the woods. Because why having those signs? And, and there's not just one or two, there's quite a few of them. Danger, do not enter. And it's literally saying, you enter, you're in trouble. Is it, do they have bears here? Anybody bears in France? Goes wider. But he gets this well, it's up in the air, but the catch gets taken, of course it gets taken. The gutting has been good, so Safi goes, not only does he go, it is another dot. Fielders come from all around, Siri Kuma, Jathurasan takes another one. Safi, going after that one, well this time he does use his feet, but he doesn't get the contact that he wants. So Safi comes and goes, well done. This is uh, Ruthrushan Gunan Rasa. Picks up the wicket. Oh, well, there's the signs. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Look, so those of you that are uh, pretty fluent in, in French could maybe work it out word for word, but everybody knows danger. So there's definitely something in the, uh, something in the woods. Don't go into those woods because it's dangerous. Maybe it's the... Oh, the Wolves. William Singh. No run. Great result. No run. 113 for six. Two balls to go. Vuno Super Kings keeping themselves in this contest. Captain William Singh. He'll be looking to hit the next two balls on the boundary to get into that 120s. And that one. Oh. Well, that was smashed. He doesn't take the catch, but what a stop. That's Mahadevan. It's only a single. We've seen this a few times. This has gone so quick, I don't think the camera might even see it. It has been walloped. And he saves the boundary. Probably would have been six, you know, because that was it hard and flat. So just a single. Comes down, hits it well, and that one, I get the feeling, will be six. So they will get to the 120 with that six. 
from Anwari who will finish on 35. What an important knock that he's played because don't forget he was out there when wickets were falling all over the place. So 120 on the board. How important could that last six be? But the split here, 47 off the first five and 73 off the second. So the Villano Super Kings, though, I tell you what, whatever the outcome of this match, they should be super proud of what would probably go down as the best fielding performance that we've seen so far here in France. They were super. Maybe that's where the Super Kings come from. Their fielding. The catching was brilliant. Look, there was one, that one, that was an absolute dolly that got dropped. And we thought, uh-oh, because after being dropped, Zafar Iqbal just went to town. He blasted two big sixes and hit two fours. But they got him. They got him in the end. And how did they get him? They got him through an incredible catch. I mean, that one, all right, that's good. The catch gets taken. But we saw something sensational. Just look at this. You could watch it over and over again. And the celebrations that it sparked were just unreal. Robin Sands, Siva Kuma. Super catch. But he wasn't the only one. That one was a good one as well coming in. That's the other Siva Kuma. He says, well, we Siva Kumas, what we can do is catch. That was a Kayana Thathan that came in and took the catch as well. The catching was good. But then... There was needed to be a fight back, and it was led by Anwari. Didn't he bat well? So he was there. He saw, I think, two, maybe three wickets for while he was there. And then he went to town. It started off with Gunnar Rasa over number five, going for 18. Then Azim, who bowled an incredible over. He went for 28. But some of the catches, that was Siri Kuma Jathurashan. What a catch that was from him as well. And here's the fielding. And watch for the backing up. Whoopsie, I'm there if you need me, he says. I'm there if you need me. Uh, we know it's not easy first thing in the morning. This one, well, he drops it, but only concedes a single now. At the end of the innings, I know they scored 73 of the last five. There was a lot of big hits that they managed to stop. And there was a lot of catching as well. There was Sri Kuma there again. Like this one, for example, that has been walloped by uh, William Singh, the captain. And if, that, if there's no hands on that, that's going to the boundary. So they did well, the Super Kings, but they still allow, I think, the Paris University Club to get to that 120. And I think, really, that might be 10 to 15 too many. But, and that's the thing, but if one of them, maybe their captain, can go out there and get a big score on the board, then it is possible. Let's have a look at this scorecard. Zafar Iqbal got to 22, but remember, was dropped on one. It was a sitter, really, that uh, Thiruk Kumaran really should have taken behind the stumps. 35 not out from Anwari. That was a very important knock. And then uh, Zika Ali makes a, a very good contribution with 31. He smashed the ball well all over the place. And then Safi wasn't there long, but scored a pretty quick 23 of 10 deliveries. Uh, three sixes there from him. And it gets the team to a score, gets that 120, so below par. But uh, they'll settle for that when you consider they were 29 for four. There's the bowling figures there. I think Azim, who disappointed that his second ever goes for 28, he's, he was two, uh, two wickets for just one run conceded after his first. But they, they worked hard, didn't they? They kept fighting. So two wickets there from Piro Bakaran as well, right at the, the top of the order. And Gunarasa also chipped in with two wickets as well. So, match number 16, I think, is evenly poised. Are the Super Kings going to register their first win? If they are to do so, I think their captain, Suva Thiran, is going to have to put a really good effort in. But somebody out there has got to also stick around. Let's see how it goes. We'll see them going out in the middle in about 10 minutes' time. I'm going to take a short break now. Rico Fuller here of the European Cricket Network. We'll be back in 10 minutes' time to see what the Super Kings can do when they're chasing 121.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello, cricket lovers, and welcome back to the beautiful Drew Cricket Ground. You're watching the European Cricket Series here in France, and the start of this match day four, we have a well, an interesting contest that is developing here. Paris University Club have had a bat, and they managed to get to that 120. And there's the bonus point equation there for you. So. We know Super Kings. They're a team that have struggled with the bat. We know that. We, they had a chase against the Grinny Vipers in the very first match, which they were set a score of 100 in five overs. They got a 76, which was a good effort in five. But then batting first against uh, Balbi Neons, they uh, stumbled to 82. And one thing that we learned there is really that it's their captain, the Suban Thiran, who's got to be the man who gets a good score on the board. If he gets a good score, then they are able to be competitive. And this is the sort of score that they should be looking to, to be competitive with. They should be looking to try and get there. And uh, Subhan Thiran is the opener. And you can see that uh, his non-striker partner there is uh, Thiruk Kumaran, the wicketkeeper batter. So let's see what start they can make. First start with the ball. It's going to be a Zafar Iqbal, who sort of started things going for PUC with the bat. Remember, he was dropped early, and then he got them going. He stumbled, and then it was really Anwari and Ali that helped them get to this score. So here's the first, and he's gone first ball. It's going to be a royal duck for the captain. So Suvan I was saying that, he is going to be the key. Oh, he goes Royal Duck. First baller for him. Well, that's a bit of a disaster. Iqbal gets really the, probably the, the key cog of the banning of the Super Kings. And it just picked the wrong shot to play. Goes to pull this one. Gets nothing on it. The wicket keeper, that's what's in Barty, has to make sure that the bails stay out of his lid. As the stumps get knocked over, so Chuck they put it, and it's going to be a royal duck for the captain. So it's a little bit of <laughs> bye 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 bye. Well, it's not the best of starts. A bit of royalty here, yeah, royalty that the Super King certainly didn't want. So, captain departs. New batter comes in. See, Vakuma hits it pretty well. Gets it in the gap. We'll get a boundary. Positive start from Kayathan Sivakuma. Be positive, be brave. That's what they've got to do here. Positive and brave. Somebody needs to get a 40 or 50. Other batters work around him. And maybe... You get to the score. See Vakuma just checking where the fielders are. Two men that are outside are on the leg side. He gets a little push on this. Wants to take the single. Yeah, that'll do. That's clever. Well backed up also by Thruk Kumaran. Well, that's a similar sort of ball that the captain got completely wrong. But Kumaran is okay on it. It's a little bit wider, wasn't right on the stumps. Gets a single, returns the strike, Matt to see Vakuma. Oh. Misses this. Now, I'd like to see this side on. I don't think the keeper has the ball. Is this a stumping opportunity that gets missed? Let's see how much of this we get to see. There's a field right in the way, though. Um, it would have been an interesting one because the foot on the line, I wonder if any part of it was behind the line. So I think that's definitely a missed opportunity. 
See Vakuma maybe gets a break. Short. Plays it into the 30 yard circle. Fuda comes along and acrobatically underarms it. The batter almost takes out the, the bowler. Just have a look at this as the batter's completing the run here. See Vakuma. And he's running hard, but watch. The bowler's unaware and incoming. Get out of the way. Oh, well, almost wipes him out. And an apology offered afterwards. 15 matches since we've had a golden ball. We've come close, though. And the last match of the day seems to be the one that uh, gives us all the golden ball thrills. Floats it up and gets beaten with the flight from Usman Shahid. That's a, well, it's a nicely timed shot. And oh, get, oh, this was always going to be nasty. Always going to be nasty. I think they're not, they're all right. Nobody's hurt. Just a little bit of pride here. As this is Zika Ali coming together with Zafar Iqbal. They had to get out each other's way. You can see that probably Zika was ready to clip the ball back in, but he got the feet of Zafar Iqbal in the way. They'll get a boundary, four runs, and that rope will need tidying up. Yes. It's hit pretty well, the fielder comes in, can't turn it into a catch, will do the fielding. Abdullah Anwari, an important part of here to play. Sheriff sorts out the rope. Shahid. Down the leg side, not a good delivery. Probably one that gets bought by the batter, actually. Oh, direct hit could have been interesting. Well, we see some more dynamic action here in Drew. There's this one. I don't know how close is it. I think he needs to dive. And, yeah, he gets in quite comfortably in the end. But then he goes head over heels and somehow ends up on his feet. Pushing, pushing hard. And just a little dab, and I don't think Paris University, I mean, this is a wild throw, unnecessary, really. I was just about to say, they, they don't mind singles. Singles don't hurt them. If, it, if it's going to be tiki-taka, tiki-taka from the Milano Super Kings, you think, let it be, because that's not going to get them the, the 13 that they currently need per over. It's boundaries. You're looking for at least a couple of boundaries and over. And that one will be exactly what they ordered, so... They get that boundary to the cheers and the roars of the Super Kings. That's the second boundary. That was an important ball because up until that, there was only seven off that over. And that one, well, you know what that does. It takes it to 13, and that's exactly what they're needing at the moment. So staying in it, and this is why it's so important for them. They're, uh, right there with Parazalmi at that foot of the table. They want to be moving upwards, and they've got... Three matches here today as well. So this could be moving day for them. We won't see Parazami in action today. So they want to take the opportunity. They want to take what other points are available to them. As this one gets played away. And speaking of points, they did miss out in getting any points in one of the games when they played on day one. And that was against... Uh, Balbi Neons. So they want to get something here. If you're not getting a win, then you've got to start looking at that 85. The 85 becomes pretty key. They're doing okay here at the moment. Partnership is what's required. And these two looking to do that. Sivakuma and Thiruk Kumaran. Staying with the spin, Iqbal again, has been hit pretty well. Fielder gets down, makes a stop. Interesting that most of these shots being played there on the leg side. So I think once this over is done with, I think you might find that the square leg may also go back on the leg side. They might even put four on the leg side because no shots really been played out on the offside as yet. 
He once again, everything's being dragged to the leg side. So if I'm watching this, if I'm William Singh, don't forget William Singh will have a bowl as well. He's a very crafty spinner. Difficult to get away. I just think he's thinking, all right, let's just stack up the leg side. Get four men on the leg side. And maybe get just a, a sweeper out on the offside around the extra cover area. And say, right, off you go. Okay, in the air. Has he got enough of this? Yeah, he has. This will go all the way. Bole, bole, bole. Siva Kuma. Six more for him. And that's a good hit. All right, it's, uh, you know where he's going to go. He's predictable. But as long as he crunches it, you don't mind that at all. He moves to 20. Huge delivery coming up. Wants another boundary. Well, he might get another chance. I think that would be a wide, and it gets signaled. Oh, wow. Zafar Iqbal would have loved to get that one through for a dot. That meant it would have been just 10 of the over. Goes to 11. They want to stay up with it. Want to get a couple at least minimum. It'll be a single that they get. So 12 come from it. So it's a just, just a fraction of a win for Paris University Club. They just got to show there. So that over there, there was the one boundary, the six, and five singles. It still almost gets them where they want to be. And you can see, though, they are ahead at this point, but it was those two overs, the over number five and over number six, particularly six that went for 28 that hurt the Super Kings in the end. 32 for one. So at the moment here, they're four points ahead and they've lost one wicket fewer than what the Paris University Club had at this point. Okay. Safi coming on the pole. So it looks like they're going to do away with the spin for a moment. Safi coming on the ball, just adjusting his field. And quite surprised that they, I can understand third going back. I'm quite surprised that they haven't opted to have the square leg back at the moment. So for the moment, that field is third is back. They do put a sweeper out on the offside at cover. They also have a Zika Ali who is at long off and long on and mid wicket are also the other two men, the five that are outside. And you see what I mean, look at the shot. Look at the shot here, going for leg side and that's going in that square leg area, which is left open at the moment. William Singh, surely must be having a look at this, because that ball is outside the off and he's still trying to work that Siva Kuba on the leg side. Dot ball though, first up from Safi. And it's another dot. This one gets defensively played away. It's firmly hit, and that's going to be the boundary. That's four. That's one of the two that you're looking for. Good shot. First time I think that we've seen a proper authentic aggressive shot played out on the off making the most of being allowed to to come out of his crease now the first three overs the spinners kept the batters inside the crease with the wicket keeper standing up that one gets worked away on the leg side but you don't mind that it's a single you've got to get something from every ball the first two balls remember were dots so another boundary in the over would do nicely otherwise They'll find themselves once again just falling behind uh, the 13 that they're looking to stay up with. Take it to 13 of the last and you're, you're in with a huge chance. Oh, swing and a miss as Safi just puts a little bit more into this one. Ball to come. They've only got the five off the over. So whatever happens here, it'll be a sort of a win for Paris University Club, but a dot or a single would be a huge, huge win and a massive dent. And that is the massive dent. It's a good over from Safi. Good key player, isn't he? Scores 23 with the bat as well and then puts that over in. Only the five come from it and that will mean that that rate will go up. It will go up to 14 now. 37. 
for one. They got the wickets in hand, and that's the thing here. Just have a look at that. Look how similar the pattern is here so far. But as I said, it was over number five and six where the acceleration came from PUC. And that's really now what the Super Kings are looking to do. Mentioned already some of the days that we're having today around the world. Another big one is, I like the sound of this one, International Pizza Cake Day. I have to say, I don't think I've ever had a pizza cake. Yes, this one's not a good delivery. That's gone right over the stumps. Ah, Sivakuma still going for that shot. They have put square back now. I didn't think it'd be long before Williams Singh made that uh, made that change. So that's another dot ball. Dot balls starting to to stack up now. That's firmly hit, and there you go. Square leg on the boundary had to be done. Has been done. I would even put another man out there. Honestly, I would. I'd put a uh, somebody behind square as well. I'll take the chance of having nobody out or oh, one less out on the offside. I'll just make my, my long off a lot wider. Uh, it's a good delivery outside the off stump where he can't get his favourite shot in. Intelligent bowling from the captain, William. William Singh, family from the Punjab originally. He's been here in France now some 18 years. The whole family is here. Settled. And uh, I have to thank him for bringing us some some croissants this morning. Of course, we're in France. You've got to have the croissants, haven't you? It just tastes different. You know, it's just one of those things. You know, if you're in, in a place that's known for a particular food item, whatever it is, to taste different, well, that will taste sweet. Because that is the stumps knocked over. William Singh does it again. Knocks them over. So... Thiruk Kumaran will go for 11. Good bit of bowling from Singh. He's a clever bowler, isn't he? And uh, well, the croissants that he had this morning have done him well. And look, good things happen to good people. He's uh, providing everybody with some lovely croissants this morning. And as a result of that, he gets the good deed as he gets this one to skid through and knock the stumps over. So Thiruk Kumaran has to depart. But maybe it's an opportunity for another batter to come out there and really be on song. Uh, Pirathip Gunarasa is hoping, and his team is hoping, that maybe he's the man that can do it. He comes out there after Thirukumaran gets bowled for 11 of ball number nine. All right, Singh. Just the three of the over so far. And that one will be... Well, he could get his man here. And he just gets away from him. Brilliant stop. I think it was always going to be a single because he has got a man behind him. But what a good over. So these last two overs, remember, Safi's only went for five. That one, an even better one. That last few overs have really hurt them. As we can have a look at our 2024 calendar. France will continue to the end of next week. We've got some ECI action here as well. And then some of the crew will make their way to Italy, to Brescia, Estonia. I shall be in Estonia there for the first time. And also in England for the first time for a European Cricket Series gig. It would be nice to go back to England. I'll see Dave there as well. Hopefully, Dave, it will be a little bit warmer in the mornings. Um, back to Cyprus, the Encore, and uh, a lot of other lovely places to go to. And, of course, and... That leads up to the ECC. And the, our season will finish once again with the ECCW, the European Championship Women's. Okay, goes for it. Has he got enough of it? No. And the fielder well, thinks he's in with a chance for a catch here. He's getting a, a few words said to him by one or two of the players. But uh, well, Zaik Ali doesn't feel it was a catch. Get here now. They're saying catch, cut, catch, cut. Get the catch, and he's yeah, he's well, there's still conversation happening, and uh, Zika is still saying, catch an easy, catch an easy, as the bowler's coming in. So Anwari has to go back to his mark. All right, high up in the air, and uh, this one is put down, but no boundary. I 
Remember I said that I would have another man on the leg side? Well, I said I'd have a behind square, though this has gone so high, the fielder has plenty of time to get round. Could have rewarded Anuari with the wicket, but Gunasarara survives. No run. Fingers are stinging, though, on Anwari. See, Vakuma is a set batter. He now knows he's really got to get flying here. He just scuffs this up in the air. It'll just be another single. Remember, the last two overs, over number four and f over number five, only going for just nine runs. Just the four of this one so far with two balls to go. How quickly the rate changes. And it will be a wide. You take that. Remember, they were keeping it at around about the 30s. But those two overs and the way this one is going has already taken that past the 17 mark. And pretty soon it will be at the 18. Hits it well. Is he going to get on the gap? Yeah, he is. Boundary. It's been a while, hasn't it? You have to go back to that over Iqbal, over three, when we saw the last one. The Kunarasa gets his first boundary. So here, I think maybe, I mean, the, the 85 should not be an issue to get a point, but you don't want to give up the chance of a win just yet, especially when you've still got so many wickets in hand. But that's been the issue. The dot balls... And this one just banged in by Anwari. So there's another one that is under double figures. And that one goes for nine. So just 18 of the last three overs. Score 50 for two. But that's the thing. They've got wicket in hand. They really need to be swinging at this, swinging hard, trying to get something. And now I think maybe Paris University Club are thinking that perhaps they can stop them getting to the 85 and maybe take all the points himself. Usman Shahid is going to bowl. He's second here now. So they don't go back to to William Singh or to Safi just yet. We want Usman to get this one in. So he bowled pretty well. Wanting it, and I think it's been given on the field of play. So, Usman Shahid picks up his first. First ball of his second. Good work by Wasim Bharti. And that's going to be the end of Siva Kuma. Let's see here. Yeah, good decision on the field of play. And there's no way that he's getting back in there. That's a pretty easy decision from the umpires. Siva Kuma, brave Effort from him comes to an end. He'll go for 31. Good bit of work behind the stumps there from Barty. And Usman picks up his first wicket. One for 13 now. That'll help. Boundary. And it slices it up. It's a bit of the big swing, but that's what I was saying. That's what you need to do. Swing hard, go for whatever you can get. Try to get to that 85. And, well, I tell you what, let's just have a rethink. If uh, Peter Bakaran can hit the ball like this, well, let's try to get to 121, shall we? He's a big unit, we know that. He's played a, played a big part already in the, the field with his bowling. That get absolutely smashed. Yeah. 
And just falling short of the fielder, but good work. Nicely done. That's good fielding. He's in the hunt for the catch, isn't he? And when he realises, Safi, that the catch is not on, then it's like, all right, now I've got to save it. And that's a really good technique. Beautifully done. Swing and a miss. It's going to be another dot. Oh, well, this is a, a spicy one to try and take. It's a big bounce on it. It does just catch him on the fingers. And he's going to have to just wiggle them around a little bit. Come on, wiggle them around. Yeah, look, this one really does pop up. In fact, I think this bat on it, it's actually a, a well, uh, if he catches it, it would have been an extraordinary catch. Yeah, well, look, there you go. Tell him, Marley's got to do it. The bowler saying, Oh, Marley's got him in a catch of Holland. That's a good catch. Oh, that's too many dudes. We can order this again. Anyway, they won't mind too much. 61 for three. So slightly better over. Look at the rate. So the rate for the win now is magical after magical. So now the focus has to be on the 85. We had a quick look there, the fantasy of the next match coming up. PUC will, well, they'll be done and dusted once they play the next match. They've just got the two. They're taking on Royal 94. That one will be a wide. That'll help. Any ones you can get. It was... Uh, William Singh comes back. Comes back with a dot. His variations are what makes things really different for William Singh. So that one's just a little bit quicker through the air. And I'm not sure what that, all that was about. I don't think it was a wide. And that one's hit pretty well. And oh, well, that's not the way to do the fielding. And Zika Ali. Okay, so he lets this one grow. But I think he's in two minds. You should be looking to catch this one. And because he's in two minds, he then really ends up doing nothing. And then he's. <laughs> Well, I think he's probably saying, "Minute dekin, minute this ni, kena je this ni pun pari ho ja, odi ja, ja paj." There's another one will come there. It's a, a change of field. So Zeke uh, Ali gets moved, and Usman Shahid takes that spot. And I think the captain was very happy about that. Well, of course he doesn't want to be. He wants to try and restrict them to get to that score. This he's played away. The fielder goes down, makes a stop. That time of day, it's time for the spiders to come in and say bonjour. Bonjour to all the spiders as well. And bonjour to Jules and everybody here in the chat. That's going to be a wide, but how many? It's go in fact, it doesn't hit the pitch at all. It's going to be a no ball. And the bat is running hard. And they're thinking of another. We could have had an easy end classic. Could have that could have been four runs there. They'll get three. One for the no ball. Two buys run as well. Yeah, that doesn't hit the pitch. So getting closer to a point here, the Super Kings. Captain William Singh. Not gonna be happy with the way this over's gone so far. Wide. Dot four. One. No ball. A free hit, and that's a wide as well. But he could be out. He could be out here. I reckon he could have the wicket. I reckon he could have the wicket. Let's see this from side on. So it was a free hit. And that's the thing, though. It's a free hit. So hang on a minute. He can't be out. So it doesn't matter because it's a stumping. Can't be stumped of a free hit. So, yeah, he, he is gone. But it's a, it's a free hit. So not out. Still a free hit. Gets a hand to it. They'll take the single. Yeah, William Singh, I think. He knew what he wanted to do there, but then realised, hang on a minute. Yeah, free hit. Can't be stumped. Out of his crease, but not out because of the free hit. 
Peter Bakaran, he's been good. And well, he now tries to go for a big hit and sees the off stump out of the ground. Tells you something when the, the spinners are knocking the stumps out of the ground. There's that one. A little bit flatter, a little bit quicker. William Singh picks up his second. It's been an interesting over. It's had a little bit of everything, an ECN over this. It's had a wicket, it's had a no ball, it's had a wide, it's had a boundary. And once again, probably not coming up as much as he would have liked. But Peter Bakaran, maybe, maybe he has done enough to get his team close to that point. We'll have to see. Let's see how this over finishes. A ball to go in it. Azim, who has a wild swing, misses out on it. So ooh, the pressure stays on. 72 for four. Thirteen required to get something out of this match to at least get a, a point. And I suppose taking a point from Paris University Club, Luna Super Kings, will they be happy with it? They'll be happy with something out of the match, but restricting them to 120, I think they would have they would have put uh, wanted to put a better effort in. But once again, it's the as Laka was saying before, they need to try and keep teams to that hundred score. And when you lose uh, Suvan Thiran, the captain, very first ball for a Royal Duck is not going to be easy. Safi comes back. Gets hit down the ground in that uh, along on area. Stop has been made by Anwari. Yeah, we're still showing you the. Yeah, that's what you want to see for a point. Okay, that's good. Bat on ball and running. Bat on ball and running. Think about the second, but the field has done well. It's come round from behind square to get there. You can see it's still a little bit chilly at the ground. A lot of a lot of players are wrapped up warm and jackets and hoodies. And, uh, when the sun comes out, it makes a huge difference. Safi, well bowled. You can see the batter, the Gunarasa, trying to give himself a little bit of room. So bangs it in shorter. Doesn't allow him to get the drive in. Going to be an exciting finish here. Shot. Well, that will help. That will go all the way. Lovely jubbly. Ginna zona shaka lagia. That will help. And all of a sudden, the Super Kings, they're not winning this match, but they're not going away with it without a point. Safi puts it in the slot. So four of eight for a point. One good hit would do it. Oh, wow. Gives himself some room now. What happens here? Does this go through him? Let's have a look at this again. He, oh, well, it actually goes through him. Nutmegs him and almost takes out the off stick. Dot ball, though. Still needing those four for a point. And he's not going to get it. He loses his stumps proper this time. Oh, yeah, well, those stumps go explode like a stick of dynamite just going off. Off stump goes flying, middle stump not back. Well, it's a bit of a mess. Timber, look at it go, look at it fly. Okay, so that's also the end of the over. So 81 for five. All right, you, at least you got the, the, the batter that set Gunarasa to face here as it's going to be the manager. Some great catches. Sirikuma Jathurushan, who comes out. Well, he's at the, the non-strikers end at the moment. But look, they're needing four here. Now, I wonder if Gunarasa is just going to say, right, I'll wait for the right ball and I'll clobber it to get the boundary. Or are they going to try and take everything here, even if it means... The new batter who's at the non strikers at the moment going on strike. It's going to be interesting. Let's see who they're going to use as the bowler as well. And they've got Anwari who's bowled just the one. 
And uh, they're going to go with somebody new. Looks like it's Shazad that will bowl. Hasn't bowled and over yet. Let's see how he fares. Not good. And that is not a good delivery at all. And there's your point. Thank you very much. And Shazad is the best friend of the Villeneuve Super Kings. And I don't know. William Singh, I've got to question this decision. He's, get, you know, a good over here from some, maybe someone like Anwari. Keep it to under four and you get four points. Well, he comes back with a wicket. <laughs> the, the laughter at the ground is quite understandable. After bowling a filthy wide, then Shazad then comes back and he removes Gunnar Rasa's leg stick. Watch this. And Gunnar Rasa going the wrong way. And uh, yeah, Shazad does give the point to the Super Kings and then comes back and takes the wicket of Gunnar Rasa. They're well bowled. Gunnar Rasa will have to go. Now you literally got two new batters out there. Just go out there and have some fun now. You, you've you got your point. You're not winning the match. Go out and have some, have some fun. Try and clump it around a little bit. I'm well, making a lot of noise, isn't he? And that's okay for me, but not okay for the keeper. It will be a couple of buys. Well, this over is delivering at the moment. We've seen five wides, a wicket, and now we've seen two buys. Mother Heaven is the batter on strike. Yet to get off the mark. No, 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 no. That wasn't a wide. Hey, hey, hey. Well, this one probably is. So this will be a wide. Batters will be looking for two again. Or well, one of them is. It's a wild throw. So he will get back. Yeah, that last one was never a wide. Got to get past the line. And it didn't. In fact, I think it might have just even been sneaked inside. But. The umpire did signal wide instead of by, so that's what's in the book. The long over this. All right, Kuma. See if he can get off the mark. Finally, one outside the offside from Shazad. And he gets a little yay as well. Well, this one's been called wide, so I'm guessing that it's been missed by the batter and catches the wicketkeeper. And there's the signal, wide. Let's have a look at this again. I think that's what's happened. It's gone round the legs, hit the keeper and got away. Yeah, nothing on it from the batter, so it's another wide. So Suzanne at the moment has managed to get one. Outside the off. Now this one will go all the way. There you go. I told you this is going to be a, a easy and real Bombay mix type of over. Five wides, a wicket, three wides, a single, a dot, two more wides. And now we've seen six as well. Still two balls to go. The Shazad, one for 17 so far. It looks like they might even bring the 100 up. That would be something for the Super Kings. They have gone past the the highest score that they have managed with the bat, which uh, before was 82, batting first against Melbourne Eels. So some positives from it. And, of course, they have got a point. And could this be another wicket? Yeah, of course it will be. We'll finish with a wicket. We started the innings with a wicket, and we'll finish with a wicket as well. Shazad, well, he'll go back and tell everybody that he bowled an incredible over, and he took two wickets. Um, but just leave it at that and let not talk about what happened in between. So two wickets for him. They won't get to the 100. They'll be 98 for seven. So it's a, it's a victory for the Paris University Club. And they had to work hard for it, though. Of Super Kings. There's a lot of good things that they did out there, especially 
uh, with the ball and with their fielding. And the first half of the innings of Paris University Club was a difficult one for PUC. PUC talking of them, they're going to be back in action again. And this time they're taking on Raw 94. Well, what's going on here? My eyes are going funny. It's getting bigger, 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 bigger. And maybe because the Paris University Club are getting bigger, 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 bigger. I tell you what else, getting bigger. Cricket here in France. More teams, more players, and we're loving it. So that match coming up in around about half an hour's time from here. But PUC, they're the happier team. And like I say, uh, plenty of positives there from the Super Kings. They've got a big day here today. They'll have a bit of a break during this next match. But they had to prepare themselves for another tough match. They'll be taking on President 11 in match number 18 as you have a look at the highlights. Some good work behind the stumps from Mozimbati. He was able to get one stumping, that of Sivakuma. That was an important one. But this one, I tell you what, Zikali, he didn't have the best of times in that part of the ground. That one there wasn't his fault, really. I think, I think that was more... The other fielder that came across and got right in his way, that was Zafar Iqbal. And William Singh, we know what he does. He's a very good bowler. And he and Safi and then Anwari, they, that over number four, five and six really is what took the, the win away from the Super Kings. Tidy overs, those three overs just came for 18. And uh, then the wickets also did start to fall. I like the... The knot there, though, from Siva Kuma. He kept his team in it, in it, didn't he, for most of the time. But, uh, well, this one, well, it's time to give you a little bit of massage early in the morning. There you go, a bit of uh, treatment there. I'm liking that. And after that, well, the captain didn't like this, didn't like uh, uh, Zyke Ali in that problem, in that position and decided, right, enough is enough. You've got to be moved. And William Singh then came back and knocked the stumps over. And this was some good hitting because Azim, that six there certainly did help the cause for his side. Safi did come back and smash the stumps over. Then, well, this was a strange decision for me because there was still four required to get a point for uh, the Super Kings. And that meant that if Paris University Club could stop them getting that four, they would have got all the points. And then William Singh, I think, made a choice to go with Shazad, who did pick up two wickets, but he conceded 17 runs. And the very first four went for five wides, which basically handed over the bonus point to the Super Kings. The Super Kings will get a point. I suppose they will see themselves now two points clear of uh, Paris Zalmi, who are sitting at the foot of the standings. And with two more matches to go here today for them, they'll be hoping that they can put a bit more distance between them. Whereas, of course, Paris University Club, they iron up going right to the top of the standings. And they got one more match. They take on a Raw 94 in the next one. With the batting, I think Siva Kuma was the, the star. A big hit there from Azim hitting a big six. Certainly helped the Super Kings get to a point. With the wickets, they're being spread well across. Shazad, two for 17. Well, the young man will remember it. That it wasn't the most memorable over that you will see. But William Singh once again impressed with two for 13. And uh, Shazad... Uh, the, the young man, he was saying, well, what about me? I did get two. You did, yeah, give you that. Two for 17. If it was of two overs, we'd talk about it. On one over, it doesn't look that impressive. And uh, I like the, the bowling there at the beginning there from Iqbal and also from Usman Shahid. So there's the, the graphic for the next match coming up in 27 minutes' time. The Paris University Club will be back in action once again against Raw 94. And they'll, they'll take... The opportunity from the next 27 minutes to prepare themselves for that. And uh, I'll take an opportunity maybe to get a nice hot cup of some of that delicious coffee that you have here in France. And maybe William Singh might provide us with a few more croissants as well. Who knows? So I'm going to take a short break and we'll be right back in about 27 minutes time for the start of match number 17 here on day four in France. Hasta pronto.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello, cricket lovers, and welcome back as we get ready for the start of match number 17, the second here on match day four. And uh, looking forward to seeing the Paris University Club back out there in the middle. Got three points from that last contest. They'd be disappointed they didn't get the, the full quota. If they did, they would have gone to the top of the standings. As it is, they're one point behind at the moment, the Greeny Vipers, but an opportunity here to go to the top. They're taking on Raw 94. Now, Raw 94, they got a good win the last time we saw them over the Greeny Vipers, but they did get lucky. I think the rain saved their bacon because they were taking on Barry Leons, and they were struggling with the bat. They were 70-odd with 10 balls to go in their first innings. Then the rain came down, if you remember, and that match got abandoned. So they picked up two points there. So they got five points to their name. But I did like what they did against the Vipers. They contained them well, and they did then chase and get the win. It's going to be an exciting match. Let's go and join the two captains and also the tournament referee, Charles Crowder, for the coin toss. Royale's 94 to call. Tails. Tails is the call, and it's ahead. We're going to bet. Thank you very much. So you can see the decision. And uh, I don't think I mind this at all. I mean, we know that uh, Paris University Club didn't go to plan against the Super Kings, who really did put, really tested them, didn't they, with a, a great flurry in the first sort of five overs, some good catching, some good bowling. But uh, they showed depth, and good teams have to have depth. And the likes of Anwari came out there, and also Ali, who was the player of the match, and got them to that 120 score this time round. I'm sure they'll be hoping that the openers can get going as well. But uh, with the likes of Royal 94, Kapil Raj, he's certainly one to look out for. He's an exciting player. And I think uh, Uthaya Kuma is another one that can certainly make things happen. And their captain, Joseph Theron, will be hoping that they show consistency here today. And uh, when we saw them very first time, that inconsistency was there. So he'd be hoping that they play the same way that they did when they got that win over Greeny, uh, keeping Greeny just to 114 and then knocking them off. Though they had to do it with just uh, one ball to go. And it was uh, Kapil Raj who made 43 of the of 23 deliveries. So PUC, 79%. The favourites to this one, 79% to 21%. And uh, no real surprises there when you look at the teams and their performances in the past. And also, PUC, they've got uh, a good history and a good record playing in this format. Here's the first ball. It's going to be bowled by Augustin. And we'll start with a dot. Loving the colours, by the way, of these two teams. Of course, PUC are wearing the, the royal purple. But uh, the royals, well, maybe they are saying we should have had the purple because we are royal. And, uh, Royal 94, uh, liking the the yellow and the green on their outfits. Starting with a dot, Augustin. And another dot, so Zafar Iqbal, given the opportunity to face the first ball this time round. Yeah, they just changed it around, last time it was Usman Shahid, so they don't change the two openers. Iqbal, remember, he did get a big slice of luck against the Super Kings. That was a wide ball in the end. It, umpire took time to give it, but was given. I'm not convinced. All right, this one just gets dragged out onto the leg side. And take, oh, he's going to be done here. He's going to be done. And does he get back? We're going to have to wait and see. The wicket keeper doesn't look too convinced, I have to say. I'm not sure what's going on here. And, well, the batter is walking. Let's have a look. You can see the umpires want to go upstairs. And it's, let's see. Yeah, he's gone. I think the umpire just wanted to make sure that there's no other part of the body knocking the bells over. But that is a disaster. It really is. Absolute disaster. Not sure what's going on there. So it's going to be out. There's no doubt about it. I think we can see it maybe one more time. But the, the corning was terrible. See the whole thing again here. So 
He's going. He's saying, where are you going? Get back, get back. And Usman Shahid, he doesn't make it back. And that is going to be, for me, like a... And uh, I don't know what they're waiting for here. He's definitely gone. That's going to be a diamond duck. Doesn't face a ball, Usman Shahid. And I reckon you're going to see a diamond coming out here. And let's just have a look at it again. Can we see side one more time? And then they're just checking. And keep an eye on the throw here. So here comes the, the throw. Keeper, does he have the ball? Now, let's just go back frame by frame. If he can go back here, does he have the ball We're at this point of contact? No. The ball has been dropped. The ball has been dropped. Now, I was wondering why they were taking time. The umpires wanted to check if the ball was taken. And this angle probably doesn't show it as he's coming down. Or maybe it does. Not so much. But when you look at the other angle, the keeper drops the ball. So Usman Shahid gets a huge live. And that's thanks to Spring Media. Brilliant work on the slow-mo there, which shows that uh, the ball not in the hands there of Ramanan Indran. What a slice of luck. And, well, more luck because this, I think, is edge. Let's see the signal from the umpire. Four runs. Well, he's living a charmed life at the moment, Usman Shahid. First of all, he should have been gone. And now this one gets the edge and gets past the keeper, Ramanan Indran, who's having a bit of a mare. Well, what a start. What an exciting start here. Beautiful sunshine, by the way, folks, caressing this cricket ground. Great work there, by the way, I have to say, to Spring Media. Yeah, they are the A-team here. Chris Stouts, Martins and Arturs. Goes over the top, but there's a fielder out there, but he's over his head. There's going to be six runs. Shaba, Shaba. Well, Usman Shahid, he says, I have no right to be here. I'm a lucky chappy. I've got to make the most of it, so let me just have some fun. And he clobbers this one. Well, there's nothing lucky about this one. This is out of the middle of that bat. Boom. Shaka lagia. Seis carreras. Well, I don't know if uh, Usman Shahid did a little pujo or something in the break between match number one here on day four and this one. But whatever it is, the gods are shining down on him at the moment. He's getting a bit of luck. Augustine is not. This one is going to be a chase for the fielder. Andre, Andre, Iba, Iba, Iba. Got to get the slide in here. Flicks it back and just takes the pace of it. A bit of team fielding as uh, Roger Lingham does the tidying up after the flick back. This one is just over the infield. Chase is on. Will he get there? No, he won't. The Grizzly beats the battle to the rope. Chases it hard. But nice shot to play in the power play. Good footwork as well. Just gets enough elevation, Usman Shahid. And he gets another boundary. And off the over. And, well, we were talking about a diamond duck at one point, And we we're almost talking about a magical over. 18 come from it we had a, a look at this before and I started talking to you about the challenger division let's have a look at the premier division four groups a lot of people excited about group a especially here France are in that group they take on Ireland Scotland Portugal and Guernsey we've seen some a lot of cricket in Portugal at the moment they'll be up for this will Portugal played a lot of this T10 format but France I mean you wouldn't bet against them uh, but you would say that either Ireland and Scotland probably go into the, the group as favourites. We'll look at those groups uh, as the day goes on. Here, the second over. The man with no number and, well, uh, there's a number on this one and it's six because that's where that's going. It gets absolutely clobbered as, uh, well, Mariathas gets blasted away. Back to the drawing board then. And this one will go the distance as well, I think. They might want to check on this. Let's have a look. Yeah. Manos. 
Arriba, 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 porque eso es seis más. Well, that is as sweet as the tartas de manzana you get out here in France. What a lovely shot. And Zafar Iqbal and Usman Shahid, after a huge misunderstanding, are looking to get their team. You see, off to a good start here. All right, up in the air, but this is going to be the fielder. We'll probably plug. It does, but it still can't be caught up. It slows down. Fielder trying to get something on it. Can't. I wonder if they want to make a change in the field here now. They've got backward point uh, on the boundary. I reckon you're far better off having your extra cover out and your mid wicket because the extra cover's got a chance to patrol the offside more. There's no way your backward point can get into those areas. He's hitting it on the up, isn't he, Iqbal? And that's been hit firmly to the mid-wicket, who is back. Welcome back to everybody in the chat as well, wherever you're tuning in from. Lovely to have you here with us. I can see that Jules is on there. And hello to Sekender Ali. Hope you're well. And Rob Thompson as well, saying, let's go. Yeah, we're ready. And this one is going to go all the way. Shouts and catch it, but nobody's catching that. Here's six more. And uh, that one ends up close to one of the several banners that we have around the, the boundary. Uh, France cricket. And, uh, well, that's the ECN and the, the France cricket banner combined together. Let's play cricket. Yes, please. Lovely sunshine. When that sun is out, it's beautiful. And I, I know a lot of people were saying yesterday that on a day like now, when the sun's out, there's no better place to be. This ground really is beautiful. That one gets past the keeper once again. Indran, it's it maybe just standing, perhaps, just a little bit too far back. That's the end of the... Second over, they're flying. Let's have a look at the standings and you'll see what I mean about PUC. And they are just that one point behind the Greeny Vipers. So they're playing their last match today. And uh, having played this one, they would have played the same number of matches as the Vipers and can go top. Royal, they've got uh, a few matches in hand. They themselves are looking to move up the table. Haven't lost yet the Royals though, you have to remember that, they've had a win and they took two points on a match that was abandoned against uh, uh, Baby Leons and a match that they were in serious trouble in. They were 70 for 5 with I think there was about 10 balls to go in the innings and remember that uh, Baby Leons had earlier blown away the Vilna Super Kings. Super Kings made 82 and they knocked those runs off with 23 balls to go. So they picked up all the points. So that's why I say I think that uh, Royal 94 were probably a little bit lucky on that day to walk away with two points from that. So they were one team that were happy with the rain. But Neons weren't. Captain Thurun. Jesse Thurun going to have a bowl here now. See if he can break this partnership and not at the moment as that one gets carved away for four runs uh, Usman Shahid well it looked like uh, he just needed a little boot up the you know where to get him going because after having that scare and surviving and then he snicked the next ball for four after that he's looked a different player Did he get it through the field? No. Good pick up. Good throw. Well done by the bowler. Captain Theroux makes the stop, but well backed up as well. I was mentioning earlier International Pizza Cake Day. I don't think I've ever had a pizza cake. I was looking it up. I was wondering if pizza cake is just loads of pizzas that are layered on top of each other. But that's not the case. It's a, it's a proper thing, you know, pizza cake. Catching chance through the fingers. Now that's hurt. That's hurt because he hasn't got into a good position to take this. He has knocked the fingers back. And he's still on the ground, but he looks okay. It's just his pride. This is definitely an opportunity. It's not an easy one.
for a Roger Lingham. But he needs to take it. But look at the fingers there. He never really gets those fingers together. Opportunity. Iqbal. Now he goes big down the leg side. Shaba, Shaba. Well, who's that? That's taking cover. There's somebody who is in the firing line there. Well, having been dropped on 18, Iqbal. Now he wants to make the most of it the same as Usman. Remember, he was dropped for one in the last match and he ended up making 22. So once he gets dropped, if he scores 22 runs, he should be around the 40 something when he finishes here. It's a better areas from Tharun. Tries to get in the gap, and it won't do. You can see the, the dazzle of yellow and green on the offside combining together to stop that one. It is the end of the over. It's a pretty healthy power play, though. 57 without loss. So Paris University Club, remember the last match? They really struggled against the Super Kings early on. They were restricted. To at this point, they were only on 28 for two at the halfway point, 47. So they're well ahead and looking, as you can see there, on the expected score on the bottom left to be somewhere near that 160 mark. Let's see if they can continue at this pace. They did accelerate against the Super Kings. It's called 73 in the last five. But quite often, we've seen the reverse of that team start well and then fade away. So let's see if they can keep going. Of course, they've got all the wickets intact, though. Chases the wide run up in the air, catching opportunity. And he gets taken, no mistakes. So they don't have all the wickets intact now as Uthaya Kuma holds his nerve, takes the catch, and they get the breakthrough. Uses his feet well, but that ball is just a little bit too wide for that shot. Really needs to be looking to be hitting that over on the offside. Who goes for the shot, thinks he's got the power. But uh, Uthaya Kuma holds on to the catch as the new batter is going to be Gulami. Mukta Gulami that runs out there to get back in the middle. Gulami will be hoping to do better than what he did in the last match. He made a three-ball duck. And uh, Ushad, 27 off nine. So at least he does make some contribution. Remember, he... Probably should have been out without scoring for a diamond duck. All right, gets the swivel in a little bit. Oh, and Gulami, he is off and running. Yes, he will get four. It's a little bit too short. And Gulami up and running. And here we go. It's a little bit of a comic fielding for the man. <laughs> it uh, looks like that's part of the team that we're going to see later. The President's 11, they're in town. This is going to be called a wide. Let's have a look at this again. Boulder's not too impressed. Let's see what we make of it here. And yeah, clearly a wide. And uh, that's the correct call. That's a good example of what is a wide nowadays. None of that ball touching the line. And it's a good call by the umpire. The umpires with this one in Niaz and Vignesh with a shock as the third. Slow delivery. That's nicely timed. Chase is on. And there's another one for the President's 11 to field. This time it's done without any bother or any fuss. Four more. Nice shot. So nicely played this. It times this very, very well. Yeah, beautifully done. So Gulami. Two fours already of two deliveries. Oh, that's Din. Oh, that's, that's well done by the keeper. Ramanan Indran hasn't had the best of times here this morning so far, but he makes a nice stop. And the sun disappears once again behind some cloud. I think it's going to be out again pretty soon. Uh, I can see a, a break in these clouds. Clouds look very low here. That's one thing I've noticed. They seem to be very low, but they're moving pretty swiftly as well, which is a good thing. Up in the air, opportunity, same fielder again, and uh, Uthia Kuma does not make a mistake. So Ali Gulami, he doesn't make a zero this time, but he lasts the same number of balls 
In fact, he lies out there for one ball longer. It was a three-ball duck last time. This time, it's uh, four balls and out, but he does get eight runs. And uh, the same player, Uthaya Kuma, taking the catch. So we can start in the fall. Remember what I said, that sometimes after you get a good start, it, you could finish badly. Well, Punjab Uni the uh, Paris University Club don't want to be doing that. So Elliston, he has picked up his second wicket in the over. Two for nine so far for him. Okay, now, player of the match in the first match, Zika Ali, and I was reminded it was not for his fielding, it was for his batting. Well, he wants to play the Hollywood shot first up. Does Ali, he gets beaten, and he'll probably, uh, Iqbal will probably have a little word with him and say, hey, what's the hurry? We're doing well here, 66 on the board. There's only four overs that have uh, gone past. We don't have to do anything crazy. We're on course for a, a 150 score. So let's get there. Well, we are in France, so I might as well mention this. Back in 1970, on this day, France beats England in the, in the old rugby, National Rugby Championship, 35 to 13 at the, uh, in Paris to earn a share of the Five Nations Rugby Championship with Wales. That was back in 1970. And on this day, cricket related now, on 2008, was the inaugural season of the Indian Premier League. Oh, that's been here, and well, this is the sort of thing that you get to see on the Indian Premier League. And also now, more often or not, on the European Cricket Network, big sixes. Yeah, that kicked off in Bangalore, with the Bangalore Royal Challengers taking on Kolkata Knight Riders. Well, we've got our own, very own Knight Riders here in France. And it was the New Zealand wicketkeeper, Brendan McCullum, who clobbered 58 of 73 balls to start the tournament in style. 2008 on this day. Iqbal goes big. Madalingan comes again. Oh, that's a cracking shot. That is really powerfully struck. The, the fielder, for me, had very little chance to try and stop this. Augustine, this was crunched. Powerful hit. And it's an awkward one because he's bouncing almost right on the toes of the fielder who puts in a brave effort to try and stop it. But that was going like a bullet. No chance. Straight down the ground. Long on will come across and make the stop all right strike goes back now to to ali zika get a, a wild swing at his first ball Let's see if a little word from iqbal has calmed him down slightly uh, not really goes for it catching opportunity and taken three out of three from Uthaya Kuma. What a good catcher he is. And well, he was in a hurry. It was uh, Zika Ali. And he's going to be gone here. And he goes without scoring. It's a two ball duck. So Zika Ali, this time round, he's going to have to do something quite spectacular in the field if he's going to be player of the match. Just seems to be in a hurry. There he is. <laughs> Play of the match in one. Out for a duck in the other. That's the European Cricket Network for you. Good delivery. Well played. Good cricket all round. Safi, the new batter. Comes out a little bit earlier. Than what he did last time. Still not William Singh. I'm surprised that William doesn't like to go up the order. He's a left-hander as well. He just changes things up slightly. And he's a, an aggressive hitter himself. But he decides that he does want to go with Safi first. Oh, that's a beautiful pickup. Just 
When you're bowling at this sort of pace, I mean, uh, Roger Lingham is not slow. If you get it in the wrong areas and the batter catches up with you, it's going to go a long way, and that does go a long way. So it's a sweet hit at the end of the over. Three boundaries come off it, though there was the wicket. So going along nicely here as the score moves close to the 80s. Welcome to everybody around the world, wherever you are. It's good to have you joining myself and the ECN crew. We are in France. We're about an hour west of the capital, Paris. And this is Drew. And, of course, Drew is the home of the 2023 European Cricket League champions. We're loving it here. Beautiful ground, beautiful pitch. And, well, it's like uh, well, it takes me back to some of the grounds that I played at in the UK. And it's great to be here. And thank you to the... French Federation really looking after us and uh, I'm sure that we'll be coming here many, many a time now, now that we have found this beautiful oasis of a ground. Alastin gets dragged away and that's a pretty good hit. He's a powerful hitter, is Safi. We know that about him already and he manages to get balls to the boundary which sometimes surprises all. Nicely done. A nice shot there of Niaz at square. He's out there with Vignesh. The umpires, the umpires have been brilliant. A shock is the third this time. So Safi gets his first boundary. Alastin, back to him again. This time outside the off. Chase is on. On the, on the, Iwa, Iwa, Iwa. Can anybody stop it? Well, we'll have a look at this again. I reckon this is a good save. I don't see any part of the rope being touched here. We'll have a nice close-up of it, but this is just superbly well done. And uh, let's see here. Oh, where's that foot? Where's the foot? The foot? Ah, oh, that's going to be four. That's going to be four. Yeah, it is going to be four. The foot actually goes outside the field of play, and he's touching the ball when it does. So, Cuatro Carreras. Uthia Akuma, good effort, but he can't stop that one. And oh, he finds the fielder. Either side of that fielder, that probably would have been another boundary there from Safi. Great work there again on the replay from Spring Media. I was looking at the body, but, forgot, but the foot, it was that left foot that went outside the field of play and was outside when he was touching the ball as well. Edge, chance, goes down, not easy, and it goes to the boundary. Safi gets lucky. Hay mucho suerte ahí por Safi. It would have been a great take if it was taken by Indran. It really would. That would have been spectacular because he's off the ear. But unfortunately, it doesn't stick. And he gets palmed to the boundary. Scoring quickly and frantically here. It's a slow delivery. He'll play it out on the offside. He'll get a single. 97 for three. That's now six overs that are being completed. Take a look at the scorecard. So Zafar Iqbal is on his way to, well, he's hoping a half century. So his teammates. So 97 for three. They can get the wicket here, Vic Barl. They could just slow down the rate that they're going at at the moment, but they're steering at a big chase here around that 160 mark. So a man who's done no wrong at the moment, Uthaya Kuma, who will come on to bowl, has taken three catches. We'll start with the wide. That's big, and that will go all the way. It's in the slot, though, isn't it? And Safi, if you put it there to him, he'll put it away. Put it down the leg side, it's the same. 
I think he was right with his initial plan to try and keep it pretty wide. But look, Safi, just that little little jig towards the ball. Smash it away. There's uh, Deanna Oro is there with a burrito in the background watching that go over. And uh, look out for some of those spectacular shots on the social media and some of the videos as well. I hope you all like the video of Anton. And that one is certainly doing its rounds and a lot of people watched that the last couple of days. It's quite, quite interesting. That was posted yesterday. And wherever you went around this ground, <laughs> you could just hear that music. It was like in my head all day. Wherever I went, there was the music. And that video certainly is uh, on its way, I think, to going viral. Anton the umpire, looking forward to seeing him again. All right, in the air, catching chance. Got to take it and will take it. Safi will go. And that's probably the, uh, the let's just say, the weakest of uh, spikes that we've seen. So Subsakar takes the catch as this one just comes off the back of the bat. It's a shot that Safi likes to play. So he'll be disappointed that he's not able to execute that well. He offers the opportunity to Subsakar who takes the catch. And, uh, well, Uthaya Kuma is in the book again. He's doing what uh, we saw it was, uh, I'm trying to think of the name now, the do yesterday, Prachaka, who took three great catches and then with the ball to two wickets. And in fact, all the, all the wickets bar one had his name on it. Yeah, it was Prachakan, that's right. Because I remember doing the Prachakan, Prachakan, yep. And he took a great catch as well, by the way. We've seen some great catches here today already. Anwari is the new batter. And this guy can certainly clobber it as well. He made a very valuable contribution. Helping his team out of a hole. 35 not out of 17 in the first match here really against the Super Kings. He'll be looking if he can do it again. But at the moment, all eyes are on Iqbal. Let's see if he can get his half century. And he will. Well batted. He gets his 50 of 15 deliveries. This is a powerful strike. He has hit this flat and hard. And you can see there that John Mary Ellistin cannot believe that this has gone over him. I mean, this is just to the left of me. This ball just holds its height and goes flat for six. That's an astonishing strike. And you can see that he's hit balls to more or less all part of the ground. Misses out on this one though. And Iqbal misses out. Thaya Kuma gets the dot. Into the deck. We'll take the single. And we'll keep the strike. Still a ball to go. So we'll see Anwari face one. 114 for four. Okay, in the air, Anwari Kugi gone first ball. He will be gone first ball. That's well held. And I think that's uh, Loyala Alexandra who's playing his first match. And he makes no mistakes. He gets himself underneath it, takes the catch. And would you believe it? Uthaya Kuma takes another. It's his name in the book again. And Anwari will go for a golden. So time to see. We've seen the Royal Duck today. Now we can see the Golden Duck as well. And it's going to be Anwari. He's going to get it. There's Goldie. Hello, Goldie. Bonjour to you. The French, I'm told, they like a bit of duck. It's uh, on the menu, a fair number of times. It's uh, slowly cooked, is what I'm told. Confit. Confit the canard. The slow cooked duck. So tender that the meat falls off as a crusty outing. Oh, that's too high. 
This is too high for me. Let's have a look at side on this. The umpires haven't called it on the field of play, but this is too high. This has got to be, I think, for me, a no ball. We'll have a look at it one more time. It's the start of the eighth. And... Ooh, that's high. I think that actually it comes down because it makes a bit of contact on the bat. That's what you don't see there. That hits the bat, then comes downwards, gets away with it. We're not going to get away with that. It is in the slot, and that has been muscle for six. Zavikman, now that clonks into something. And this clubhouse, by the way, has taken a bit of a battering. Uh, we've seen, even though the doors have got grills on them, we've seen a, a, a bit of glass that's been smashed. We've seen some dents in the doors. Yesterday, I think it was a Sif car that got hit on the on the bonnet. That one's hit something. I heard the thud. The report will come back later. Hello to Chris Smith, who's saying hello to me. Hi, back to you, Chris. Hope you're well. Chris, you ever had a pizza cake? I'm trying to find out if anybody's had pizza cake. It looks like, I, had a, I saw a picture of it. It just looks like a, looks like a sort of giant elevated tower quiche. Speaking of Keith, Keith Lorraine, that's something that's very popular here. It's uh, just a nice little snack to have in between meals. Keith Lorraine, I do like a bit of Keith, I must say. Adios, Palota, seis mas, Iqbal turning on the style. Shaka, shaka time. Augustine coming back on the ball after that. Pretty productive over there from. Uthai Akuma went for 17, but did pick up two wickets. And now, Augustine, dot six, six. Need to give him some support here. Just loses his line. Goes back to his mark. All right, there's going to be six more. He's just hitting the ball so well at the moment. The timing is absolutely brilliant. It's, I think he's there. They're just bowling to his slot. Look at this. Gets absolutely hammered. Well, I thought Ravi was in danger there for a moment. There you go, Ravster. Taking a little bit of evasive action. Didn't fancy that one, Ravi. High in the air. Guess who? And no mistakes. His catch number four for Uthaya Kuma. So that's the fourth. He has played a part in every single dismissal. Iqbal departs on 70. Uthaya Kuma takes the catch. Augustin gets the wicket. 132 for six. And what a good knot that is. Round of applause for the batter that smashed it all over the place. And he's having a pretty good day at the moment. But, yeah, I mean, you have a look at this scorecard. So, first wicket caught by the Akuma. Second one with the Akuma. Third one with the Akuma. Now, the fourth wicket was also with the Akuma. And then the next two, bowled by with the Akuma. Bowled by with the Akuma. Quite sensational. And also, remember we talked about this yesterday. Six catches in an innings. Never been done. He's on four. We've had five. We've never had six. And I don't think I can remember one person's name in the scorebook for six dismissals. So, could be on for something special here at the moment. That was the end of that over. 133. Goes for 19, but does pick up the important wicket of Iqbal. William Singh now has gone out there. He's joining Barty. Captain gets swept. 
to the mid wicket area. Just a single. So William Singh. Okay. Captain checks the field. Bowling now to the left hander. Battle of the two captains. Smashed. Gone. Adios. Six runs. And yeah, that one is in to the area of where his team are sat. There's a good shot from William Singh. I don't, and this is why I like to see him higher up the order. You know, the left hander. Powerful hitter. Could quite easily be in the power play for me, you know. Good shot. Back to the action again. Well, he hits this one pretty well as well. And he's going to get four. So four more. This is the second ball that Singh gets. This one's a little bit short. I think he tries to go a little bit quicker here, Tharun. And it gets whacked away. And well, we're just checking this one. I think it might actually be six. I said four more. And I wonder if we get the chance to see it. Four has been signaled. Let's just watch it again. See if we can just see where this lands. We might have a chance to look at it one more time. It's a nice shot being played. Four is the signal, though. Yeah, just bounces short. Okay, Tharun makes a change to the field, but I think he needs to make a change to his length. 144. Hit hard, and he's and going to go over extra cover. And it's going to be Manos. Arriba, arriba, arriba. William Singh, the captain. Goes out there and shows just how high he is so powerful. The 150 now comes up. The battle of the captains going the way as the, the captain with the bat in his hand, William Singh. And this over now has gone 1646, 17 off it. The rune still got two balls to bowl. Singh, he's not shying away from another big hit. And well, he misses it. The keeper misses it. I, if nobody touches this, I reckon this could be a wide. Let's see. See what the umpire calls here. No, leg by, so a little bit of pad on it from Singh. Shuffles across. Yeah, just gets a little pad on it. So leg by. Barty wants to join the party. And he doesn't. Swings and misses. End of the over, 151 for six. They should be getting to that 165 score here. They'll be disappointed if they don't. Have a look at uh, the bowling figures. Two wickets there for John Murray Elliston. He bowled pretty well for me. Augustine takes a little bit of tap. But has picked up one for 37. Captain Theroux, no wickets for 32. And I suppose no guessing for who's going to bowl here. So it's like Kumar. And at the moment, all the six wickets that have fallen have had something to do with him. He has taken four catches and got two of his bowling and now he gets another well this is quite incredible so make that seven dismissals have had Uthaya Kuma's name on it goes for the reverse Malachi here tries to get funky and ends up losing his wicket so William Singh well if he pulls it off it looks good but yeah look we say this a lot of times if you see the batter trying to get funky Get the ball full and straight. And that's what Uthi Akuma does. So Singh, quick fire innings from him. But he'll go. Uthi Akuma. Now, somebody remind me if we've seen this before. I don't think. I don't think I have. I'm thinking long and hard. So he's taken three wickets. He's taken four catches. His name is in the book for every single dismissal so far. 16 of five from the captain. New batter comes out is Haras. Then they're all going for it as well. So every opportunity we'll get more. Swing and a miss. Four balls to come. 
Well, Thayer Kuman is putting in an incredible shift at the moment. Thing is, though, Paris University Club have got 150 on the board. Four balls to come. All right, goes for it. Well, make that 157 as uh, Shabir Haras smashes this one for six. It's a big unit. When he hits it, it stays hit. Uh, he'll be happy because in the earlier match, he was out for a two-ball duck. So he, like Gulami, at least this time, does get runs on the board. Uh, Kuma checks his field. We will try and go a little bit quicker here. Quicker and flatter, and it's another dot. Swing and a miss. Two balls to come. In the air, and it's another. Can you believe it? It's another. That's a four for now for Uth Kuma. So eight wickets that have fallen, and this guy has caught four, and with the ball, he's taken four wickets as well. It's quite amazing. I reckon this is something new. I know that Vinny, he had his sort of uh, wish list or dream list, or I can't remember exactly what his name was given to it, where he wanted to see things like a bowler taking uh, seven wickets, a fielder taking six catches, but this is quite sensational. A good catch from Loyola. He does well, doesn't he, Loyola? To get down to that. All right, last ball. And he swings and misses. It should just be a leg by to finish. They'll finish on 158 for eight. And the astonishing thing about this innings is, is that Uthaya Kuma has played a part in every single wicket. So he has caught four, and with the ball, he's taken four scalps as well. And, well, somebody's going to have to come back to me and say if we've seen that before on the European Cricket Network. Well, hello to Steve McVeigh. Well, maybe Steve will know. Chris Smith, hello to you as well. And Vinny Sanders probably, I don't know if he's travelling or he's got to his, his final destination, but Vinny... We'll probably look back and have a look at this as well. It could have started with disaster. This one really should have been a diamond duck, but the keeper doesn't have the ball. You'll see it just escape before the stumps are dislodged. The batter, Shahid, was walking, but then he was told to stay there. And he's lucky because when he stayed there, he decided, you know what, I'll make the most of it. I shouldn't be here. I am here. I'm going to have a go. And he scores 27 very quick runs of nine deliveries, putting a good partnership on there with Zafar Iqbal, who, of course, was quite amazing. That partnership was worth 57. It should have been worth nada, 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 nada. Iqbal himself was put down as well. It was a Roger Hingham. It wasn't an easy one, but he knew he should have held on to it. Gulami, well, he came. He had a flurry. He hit two boundaries before he departed on eight. But this is, this is just amazing. So you can see that it was... That's the one thing he didn't quite do right because his foot just went the other side of the rope. But Uthaya Kuma, four catches and four wickets. All the wickets that fell has got his name on it. And like I say, for me, that is a first, especially when you think the number of wickets have, have gone down. That is eight of them. And he's had a part to play in every single one. So an amazing performance from him. Uh, also an amazing performance from Iqbal. Zafar Iqbal hit the ball very well. Scores 70 of just 22 deliveries as well. But he had contributions there from others as well this time round. I know this time that uh, Zaik Ali, he wasn't able to do anything. He went for a two-ball dug, as did Anwari. So two men, it's quite, quite strange, isn't it? Two men that performed well first time round. I mean, uh, Zika Ali made 31 of 10, and Anwari 35, not out of 17. Those two this time made nothing, but yet it shows the depth, like I said before, of Paris University Club. When you get the batters in form, not clicking, somebody else comes along and gets a run, and that's maybe where some of the other teams are missing out on. A quick look at that, 70 of 22 there for Iqbal. Well done indeed to him. 
Usman Shahid got lucky but made it count. 20 for Safi quickly. William Singh also the captain. A quick fire 16. 158 they will finish. So they don't quite get past that 165 mark which uh, looked on the cards for most of the time on that innings. A quick look at the bowling figures there. I think the pick of the bowlers, you have to say, has to be John Murray Ellistin, 2 for 22. But, uh, well, Theo Kuma, he's just the, the pick off the, the players in general in the field. He took four catches and with the ball, four for 23 as well. So, well done to him. A superb effort. It's the first forfer that we've had here in the European Cricket Series France so far. So, we're going to have... A little break now of around about 10 minutes' time, and then I'll be back to talk you through the, the reply from Ron 94, needing 159 for victory. Volvemos in 10 minutos.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello, viewers, and welcome back. As we see, Royal 94, their batter's about to take the middle and see if they can get to a 159 target. And they're going to have to bat well. We'll get a chance to have a look at maybe what the the bonus point equation is. There you have it there. So 111. And then Nelson becomes the score. They must get to, to at least get a point out of this contest. Remember, they haven't lost the match so far. And uh, if they can achieve the target in seven overs or less, they get all the points here. But that's going to take something quite incredible. So they're looking to, well, they're looking to win and try and do it in 10 overs. That means they need to go around about just under that 16 and over. And Lolila is out there. And uh, Lo Loyola, I should say, not Lolila. Loyola, Alexandra. Played well in the field, and not Took two very good catches, including one sharp one when he's diving forward. So let's see how they fare. Sunshine comes out. Is Zafar Iqbal after a fine knock from him. He starts with the ball. Sharply fielded there in that backward point area. Yeah, Iqbal led the way, didn't he? 70 of 22. 57 run opening partnership there with uh, Shahid. But it could have been so different. And he likes it. He likes it. And I reckon this could be out. I reckon the toe is on the line. And I don't think any part is behind it. But he likes it. The umpire will check it. We'll have a good look. So let's go over to Spring Media. Show us what you got, boys. And let's see this foot. Does he get any of it past the line? I don't see it. The problem with this angle is we don't see the bales coming off. I wonder if we've got anything else on this. Let's go see if we've got any other angle that can show us. Let's see if we can see anything here. What we're looking to see is when those bales come off. Uh, I reckon we're going to have to go with on-field. Let's see it side on maybe one more time. Looking at it from there, I, I mean, I don't think, but the problem is think, I don't think he gets the foot back. Let's see it one more time side on. And let's see if Ashok, the third umpire, can have a look at this one more time. The problem is you've got the field of this Safi right in the way and you can't blame him he's where he needs to be do we see just over the shoulder there of safi that bell coming off i think we're gonna go with on field decision here the, we can't we can't think and we can't think and say we think that's what's happened it will be on field and on field umpire says it is out which i do believe is the correct call i don't think he gets any foot behind the line so that's going to be gone so indran who's a wicketkeeper himself, is going to get stumped by Barty. And that will be a, yeah, that will be a two-ball duck for Indran. So Indran will go. Well, the ducks have been busy here today. Well, maybe you've got a duck on the menu as well. Well, Derek's going to go running if I say that. I didn't say it, Derek. I didn't mean it. We wouldn't eat duck, but we would actually here in, in France. It's supposed to be pretty good. I will have it one day. But not an easy end duck. Let's just say that. All right. Indran goes. Two ball duck for him. Brilliant work by Barty. And Iqbal certainly is eyeing up a player of the match performance here, especially after he's 70. Well, they are changing the batting order a lot around a little bit. I like that. And I'm liking this. I like it a lot. As Super Zakar goes boom. Shaka Lugia. That's more like it. Yeah, so just changing things around a bit. Maybe the captain deciding that he'll make a little change to see if it works in their favour. But uh, for me, Kapil Raj has got to be somebody who's got to be up there. And uh, Uthaya Kuma, these two can make the difference, but they need a bit of a, a start. Oh, that one's gone right over the stumps. Hasn't missed the, the pegs by that much from Iqbal. He's having a good day. The smiles tell you the story. Goes for another one, and he gets it big. Gear, gear, gear. Shaka, 
Six more. Uh, two big sixes from uh, Super Sakar. Means that the score at the end of the first over is 12. But it is 12 for one. As Indran was stumped by party of the bowling of Iqbal. Okay, now we get a chance to see Loyola. Loyola Alexander. Taking guard, so left hander checks middle, checks leg, uses the chalk to mark it, has a look over cow corner, and gets ready, hopefully, to unleash Usman Shahid to bowl the seconds so again with what they did against the Super Kings, a little bit of the slow stuff to start with. And, and then they used Safi a little bit later. Safi and Anwari. All right, here we go. <laughs> Firmly hit. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Well, he's a big boy, isn't he? And uh, Alexander goes wallop. Well, look at this. Ouch, that hurts. It was there, it was hittable, and he gave it everything. Gives it. Gives it some well, he doesn't he? So, Loyola off the mark with a six. Let's take the single. And he'll. Ooh. Well, he does get there, but only because the throw misses the pegs. I don't think, I mean, he's, he's not slow. Given that, he goes for it, but have a look at this. Would have been gone. That ball is past the stunts before that bat's got in. Subasca, who has hit two big sixes already. In the air, gone. And uh, catch taken, Gulam, he's got a big smile on his face. Uh, he sort of throws himself at it, but catches it around about chest height. And Subasaka, two big sixes, or four balls, about ball number five, sees the end of him. It's clever bowling, really, from Usman Shahid. He knows where Subasaka likes it. He wants to try and hit over out on the leg side. And I think if he goes swinging hard at this, he probably clears the fielders. But he tries to guide it. He guides it into the hands of Gulami. Gulami takes the wicket. The sun comes out as uh, Subasaka goes back for 12. Sun definitely shining here at the moment for Paris University Club. Looking to win both their matches here and win here. See them go top. And just remember. And if they can restrict their opposition to less than 111, they take all the points as well. They missed out. They missed the trick for me on that in the last game against the Super Kings. I don't think they intend to do it again. Still a long way to go, though. And joining up the dots here at the moment is the new batter. Couple of Raj struggles for the first few. But not with this one. On the legs, gets picked up beautifully. And uh, every time that ball is ended up on the leg side, it has been smashed away. Well, that one goes over the Ville de Marquis set up there for the spectators and teams that are waiting to play the next match. This is the way it looks at the moment. Paris University Club, they want the win. They want to go home. They want to go back to Paris. Finishing at the top of the standings, Royal 94, well, they know that they could, with a win here, go to third spot. So, there's a lot playing on this one. Uh, Royal 94 will also have two more matches after this in the day. They take on President 11, who are going to be in action next against the Villeneuve Super Kings. And then Royal 94 will finish the day up against the Super Kings themselves. So, it's a, this is a big day for them as well. They could finish in third spot by the time the day finishes. And if things really go well for them, they could even finish right up there, sort of contesting for the top of the standings. But this one has to go their way. 
and they've got a lot of work to do. Not going to mess around with any more of the slow stuff. With the score 25 for two, at the end of two, they're going to Anwari. Bangs it in. That's a good looking shot. It's a really good shot. And looks like he's got all the shots, you know. Loyola. We didn't see him with the first time that Raw 94 play, but I'm liking what I'm seeing from the left hander. It looks like a powerful unit, and it looks like he's got all the shots as well. Anwari tests him outside the off, but Loyola shows that he's more than capable. Big swing and a miss this time. Yeah, back on this day in 1992 was a, a good day for sport, wasn't it? A good day for cricket. It was a historic day in Barbados as South Africa began their first test for 22 years following their return to the international arena. And their first ever uh, non-white team played there in Barbados. That is out, is a soft dismissal after... Shay enough, some skill. Alexandra gives his wicket away here to Anwari. That's going to be a disappointment. And he certainly is a player that has already shown just from the few shots that he played. And he's got the talent and the ability. Uh, it's not the right shot to play this time. And no mistakes in the field. To the catch taken there quite nicely by Usman Shahid. And uh, Loyola will go. Goes back to the dugout. Anwari is the man responsible for sending him back. Looking forward to seeing him again, though. Remember, they've got two more matches after today. So, after this one, pardon me. So, he certainly wants to look out for Elistin. Comes out now. He comes out before Thayakuma. Uh, not the right shot to play. You, you got to, you got to play ball on merit. I mean, this one is. You can see it's pretty short. It's going to be outside the off. You've got to be looking to, and be prepared to play this outside off. Trying to swivel this round to the leg side. That's not the shot to play. I mean, just wait for it. Even if you guide it, you might get lucky. Get it in the gap. And again, he's swinging hard. Gets a bit of luck, and that's going to go over the infield. It's going to go for four. So Elliston, once again. I suppose this time he actually is looking to at least to go in that area. He's not hoiking down the leg side. So I'll give I'll I'll give him some credit for that shot. That's better. Makes the adjustment. And Wari goes to the boundary. Hey, they're taking it on. Oh, once again. Surviving. A direct hit would have had the man. Yeah, so 1992 on this day, of course, the return to Test cricket for South Africa after 22 years, and uh, it was the first ever non, not first ever not all non-white team that played as well, and uh, what a good return it was, and it was great to to have them back playing on the international scene. 34 for three, then at the end of the third, they're losing a wicket every over. The rate they're required to go out to get the win is uh, over 17 now. Iqbal will come back to bowl his second. A little bit slow. Marde, Marde, Marde. Have a go, have a go. Well, they are. Oh, the fielder just can't get in his hand. Can you hear me? How did this very, very sappan on that? How did you hear me? Oh, he got low, he got. Parna siga, marna siga, but parni hoya. They take two. Oh, well this one. It's like a little slow bouncer from Iqbal. That one will be a wide. Just holding his shoulder a little bit. Nick Ball noticed that. Oh, 
Let's drift down the leg. That's a good leave. As the Barty causes some unnecessary work for the umpires. I suppose that's the one downside of having, though I love stumps that go into the turf, because I love the, the dynamic action when they get knocked out of the ground. It makes it difficult for the umpires, especially when, I mean, those holes that they're in just get bigger and bigger. So the stumps start to loosely roll about in them. A good stop there from the fielder. Comes across, gets the slide in. He's fielded well out there, hasn't he, Usman Shahid? And gets the slide in. Shows a good technique, good way to do it. The ground now, by the way, nice and dry. All of that early morning dew has disappeared. Down leg side, should be punished and will be punished. The fielder is uh, showing that he's keen to take the catch should he get the opportunity running hard but this has cleared him by a long way looks a bit like a ballerina there that she's i wonder if he gets another chance remember he did take two wickets but did give away 17 runs in that first over a little bit his leg spin down the ground and it will be usman does the field oh they're taking him on and they will get there that's very good running and this is created because the ball's not been hit so well. So it wasn't time well. So it took a while to get to Usman Shahid. And he says, yeah, come back. I'm going to make it. In comes the throw. Good running. Good hustle from the batters. And that's in the slot. Adios, Palota. Que guay, que genial. Que grande. Seis guerreras. Uh, they needed that, and that's what it, hustle, run hard, turn the ones into twos, and when you get the ball in the slot, put it away, 19, come off that one from Iqbal, so, yeah, it was 17 that they need, they get 19, so that rate just gets knocked down slightly, and uh, once again, couple of Raj seems to be the key cog, the 50 also came up, 53 for three then. Safi, who bowled beautifully in the last match against the Villeneuve Super Kings. And gets given the ball. To the fielder, who's not able to get it straight into his hand. So, that's Shazad again. They'll take the single. Singles are not hurting PUC, though. They know that. But I get the feeling here, this time around, that there's a, there seems to be a big effort, a big push. in trying to restrict the opposition getting to that 111. And gone. Knocks the stumps over. It's not a good shot from a couple of Raj. I think he loses his shape, he loses his head. There's a sudden rush of blood. And Safi does what Safi does well. He's on the money. Yeah, look, he tries to give himself some room. And there you see the timber going down a couple of right. Look, look where he ends up. And with a ball that's coming into you, that's going onto leg stick, that's the wrong way to go. He's got to be going the other way and looking to clobber it over the leg side. So a couple of Raj and disappointment. We've seen two batters now, Sir Loyola. He gets out in a disappointing way when he offers Usman a catch, when he looked good. And a couple of Raj is very much the same. Gets to 20. He's looking okay. He's got a good strike rate. Then plays a horrible shot to probably one of the, the better seam bowlers that we've seen here in France. And Safi says, thank you very much. Uh, well bowled there by Tassinula Safi. Good start with the Yorker. It's a leg stump Yorker. I'm liking that. I, that's one thing I do like. I do like it. Well, it's a midfield. But will they get back? They do. Yeah, they, I'm denied about it. And Indian said, go on then. Let's take it. Yeah, I love it when, uh, you know, if you're, if you're a good bowler and a new batter comes in, you've got to attack the stumps. You've got to want that wicket early. Try to get the batter while he's nervous before he settles in. That's exactly what Safi does with that Yorker. He'll be disappointed 
that uh, Uthaya Kuma gets two there, though. But he gets another chance at him. I wonder if he goes for that Yorker again. Yeah, he does. Full. Uthaya Kuma gets bad on the ball. What a start, though, Uthaya Kuma had with, uh, with the ball, whether he was catching it or bowling it. Four catches, four wickets. Shows all his stumps. That is quite a remarkable hit, but a very dangerous one just for one run. Let's see this again. I mean, he's, he's played this, Elliston, showing all his stumps. And Safi is not the bowler to do this to. If that was a little bit fuller, Yorker length, he would have knocked them all over. Slow ball, well bowled. Another very good over from Safi. He's a, he's a delight to watch. Is uh, this young man, Tassin Zola Safi, a good bowler, and he's certainly done some good things here today. And we're certainly enjoying the day. Welcome to you wherever you're tuning in from as our adventure here in France continues. Vinny Sandy is uh, going to be away for the remainder of this week. He will return next week. So I'll be giving you all the ins and outs about this series so far. And thank you to everybody on the chat as well for all your interaction, loving all the, the, the gossip and the chat there so far. And remember, you can find out all the information that you want to know by going onto our website as well at europeancricket.com. So find out more about not just this series and about the players that are going to feature here, but you can find out about where we'll be on our travels as well and uh, what's coming up next. That's a good-looking shot. I think he's going to clear, clear the fielder. He does clear the fielder. So, Uthai Akuma, who's uh, had a good good morning so far, continues to go well, this time with the bat, as William Singh gets hit for six. And well, William Singh says, Koina, mera shakata maara dita, teri tasme mein ban dunga. Meno koi fikr ni. I like that. Good sportsmanship, even though he, he gets smashed for a big one. He still says, come here, I'll do your laces for you. I had a nice chat with William this morning, telling me a little bit about where his family was from in the Punjab. That he's been here now in France for some 18 years. All right. Thayakuma, after having his laces tied back up by Singh, faces his second ball when... All right, it's high and it's mighty. It will go all the way as well. William Singh just loses his shape, so, well, it's two sixes on the spin now. Well, Thayakuma, everything going his way so far today. Could he be the player that makes the difference here? So in the 70s now. They need to go at 18, so they are looking to be and needing to be hitting at least three boundaries and over. Well, that's two of them already. And this is going to be a chase. The fielder gets down. A nice pick up. The slide and pick up as this one comes in. All right. Alistair has to play his part here as well. But even if in this over he's just taking the singles, that's giving his leg by. Even if he's taking the singles and not two nut dot balls, that'll do nicely. Sing. Ooh, that's bat. I don't think there's any. Oh, he's given. It's given. All right. So is that the, was that the sound of the bat on the ground? The other thing is, I thought it was drifting down leg, if I'm honest. Let's see. He does shuffle across. Yeah, that's. Oh. I, I, I'm still, I still think there might have been some bat on this, but I do think this one. I think this one may be. Let's have a look. It's great work from Spring Media. I mean, it's definitely not hitting the stump. It actually hits. Yeah, there's the sound that you hear. It actually hits the left foot and then goes back onto the bat. So that's why I heard bat. Ah, it happens. It happens. It's not easy, I suppose. We'll see it one more time here. It comes off the toe of that left leg and goes back onto the bat. So that's why I heard the bat, but not the best of calls. But look, it happens. We're all human. The umpire gives it the way he sees it. So a little bit of bad luck there in the end. And this one. He's straight to the fielder, but that's bad luck as well for the batter. Regan gets the Gundy ball on the legs, uh, plays it quite well, but straight to the fielder. Uh, Regan is out there, but yeah, that's really unlucky. That LBW decision. 
it does happen. But sometimes you you get ones that go your way, sometimes you don't. Holds all the pace of that one, William Singh. He'll finish with one for 14, 74 for five at the end of six overs. So that over looked like it was going well. Yeah, so Elliston, yeah, quite unfortunate. I suppose the thing is, Elliston, he was going a roundabout run of ball. So maybe if Regan come out and smash it about a little bit, it could be something that works in their in their favour, you know. Funny things can happen. Gone past the twenties now required per over. So this is where now I think that Royal 94 have to start thinking, right, yeah, there's the equation there. Let's try and get a point. You need to go at just under 10 and over for that. Hits this pretty well. It's a little bit of a full toss. So here's Shazad who picked up two for 17 in one over. Bowled the last over in the last match. This time he's been given an opportunity a bit earlier. Let's see if he can get it right. Nope. This was the issue that he had. In the first, this does catch a little bit of the pad of Barty. So they still take it on the, the throw. They could go again if they want to. And I think one batter is keen. The other doesn't see it. That'll be three wides. He says that when he gets it right, he's pretty useful. He's obviously, I think he's a young man who's learning his trade. Now that's where he wants to be. That one gets played down the ground. Just a single. Oh, that's well bowled. You see, when he's, when he's getting it in the right areas, he's pretty useful. So he's, you've seen him bowl the, the full one. This one is uh, sort of the flatter one out of the back of the hand, the, the wrong one, if you like. So this is that. Yeah, that's well bowled as well. Much better over. So he does spray one down the leg side, but not as bad as what he did last time. And this one just a little bit short. Will he get a wicket? Yeah, he will. So well done to Shazad. Nice catch there by Gulami. So the, the young 18-year-old picks up another. So one of the under-19s that is coming through. So City Killer Shazad, well done. Well bowled. He takes his third wicket in that. And this is a much better over. I suppose when you're a leg spinner, the more you bowl, the more you get over there and turn that arm over and get that wrist going, then the better you'll get. Good catch. Nicely taken. He's a good fielder, isn't he, Gulami? And I love his smile. He's got one of the best smiles uh, here in France, Gulami. So, a Royal 94 lose another. And that's the Oregon that will go for two. Gulami takes the catch. And Shazad takes another wicket. 18 year old leg spinner. All right, can he finish his over well? All I say to him, just get it out there on the offside to the new batter, Roger Lingham. And he does, well bowled, good over. The, remember there were three wides in that, but other than that, nice and tidy. This is what's coming up next, as I mentioned earlier in the intro, that Villa, Villeneuve Super Kings, they've got three matches today. The first one against the team that you see out there at the moment, the Paris University Club, they lost that one. And uh, managed to get a point, though. But they're still searching for their first win. And they're taking on President Eleven, a team that did win their very first match. Won it comprehensively. And scoring big runs. But then after that, well, they lost the next two. All right, in the air. But I don't think he's got the distance. But fortunately for him, mid-wicket was brought up. And it makes a good, good chase and good save there, Abdul Anwari. Yeah, so we saw. The President 11 first time round. I'll tell you, 182 for four they scored against Paris Zami, and they won that by 71 runs. So they made a great start. But then after that, all right, there weren't easy matches that they had. They had to take on Drew and also Paris University Club, and they ended up losing both of those. But they'd be disappointed with the 
the last one that lost. That's well hit. That's going to be four runs. So nice hit. Nice way to get off the mark from Rajalingam. Yeah, so against Drew, they only scored 101 after scoring, like I said, 182 against uh, Zalmi. So they lost that one by five wickets. Nabi performed for Drew to get that win. But then they did restrict the Paris University Club to 94, but didn't get there. It was a two-run victory. What a good slow ball that is. Very cleverly bowled by Safi. The more I see of Safi, the more I like him. He's turning. He really is a good bowler. I'm liking the work that he does. Back to his mark. What next for Tessi Sunna? Safi, well, he goes to the slow one again. Overpitched. Fielder's got work to do and fluffs it. And one man who is not having the best of times in the field is uh, this guy. And uh, Zaik Ali, or Zaika Ali. It's another misfield from him. And I just get the feeling that he's probably not one that you want on the boundary. He knows I'm talking about it. because Let's just say I gave him a little bit of a friendly ribbon last time. Uh, we can talk a little bit more about him as there's a bat break. Well, there he is, Zaika Ali. He was the player of the match in the win against the Super Kings. But uh, let's just say this time round, he doesn't score any runs. He went for a two-ball duck and in the field. Well, the fielding hasn't improved either. And uh, choice of three bats. He does pick one. So, okay. Let's see how this one works for Roger Lingham. Good delivery. That's that Yorker length ball that gets fired in by Safi. Well dug up by Raja. <laughs> Dave is saying the sun has left you again. You're right, Dave, but I think it's about to come out again. The clouds here moving pretty quickly, and there are breaks in the cloud. All right, catching opportunity. Gets who? No, he stays out of the way, and the catch gets dropped. Oh dear, this could have turned out nicely because, well, we had a good look at Zika Ali. We know that he's not having the best of the time. Now Zika Ali is giving the boot <laughs> to Usman Shaheed. Shaheed, I think he had this until he hits the ground. Let's watch this again here. This would be a good look of it. Zika has to stop. He almost slides into him. Well, that was a red card offence from Zika. And he goes sliding in and nearly knocks over. Usman Shaheed, this could have been nasty, but he manages to stop. Then Usman Shaheed, he thinks he has it, but when he hits the ground, the ball pops out. So a little bit of luck. And that also brought us to the end of the over. So 94 for six. 12 to go. That will help the course of Raw 94 big time. That brings 100 up. So they're needing just 11 to get a point now. There's Anwari comes back and he gets smashed down the ground a good hit so well the change in bat for Raja Lingam or working well no run this time takes the glove off Pretty quickly, there's Barty in case the batters do decide to take on his arm. Well, it is International Juggling Day, and I think Zika Ali is definitely the juggler for the Paris <laughs> University Club. He's been juggling that ball around all over the place. Now, this one will test the umpire. It does signal the wide. And there he is, Niaz. And if you need anything doing... Mm, Gonna say, I don't think that is a wide though, Niaz. But what I will say is Niaz might get that one wrong, but he's been spot on here around the ground. He's been superb. All right, big, high keeper wants it this time. He needs to get the gloves on. Needs a dive in here. Oh well, what a good catch this is. That's a tremendous catch, Gulami. Give us that smile again, Gulami. And Gulami is saying, where did you get the jaria? Get me in, I'm in Well, Barty almost spoiled the party this time. Well, Barty. Gets excited, running. I'm, I must admit, I'm watching Barty, who now gives Galami a little friendly kick up the backside. 
Glami, this is a good catch. And look at Barty here. Good job he puts the brakes on there. I, I must admit, I don't think Barty's getting there. And that's why I was getting ready to see a dive. I was saying, if he's going to get there, he's going to dive. But who comes in from nowhere? Gulami takes the catch. Both uh, And then he said, Oh, yeah, get there, Jaria. Kigal, up and up. Play in the part of that. Get there, Kigal, Hogi. Good catch, Gulami. That's the end of Roger Lingham. 15. He'll go for. So Gulami, he's showing that he's got good safe hands. Anwari, after being smashed with a big six of the first ball, gets the wicket of Roger Lingham. All right, now this one gets away. Does it get to the boundary? No, just slows up. Oh, back up is the shout. It has been backed up, and yeah, guess who? Gulami is there again. So you can see they're needing run a ball here to get a point. They should do it. And this one will be just a single. Gulami is way back on the boundary, so they'll take that single. As long as they don't get any dot balls in here, they will and should get that but it's going to be a nervy one look seven of seven if this is just a single or maybe even a dot here certainly put some pressure on Tayakuma though is still there and he's set goes for the Hollywood shot doesn't get there I reckon this is okay it's a fantastic take from Barty it will be a dot and the worst thing about this is well hang on a minute I think that is the over not sure what the umpires are discussing yet over has been called as we see this again, really good take. That is swinging viciously. It's not a wide. It stays inside the line. Good take. And I think the only concern is that the new batter, Logesh Augustin, will be on strike for the last over. They are needing um, seven. Needing seven to get a point. Seven off the last. 104 for seven. So Augustin has to just get bat on ball. This is, I think, what uh, Thayakuma has probably said to him. Just get bat on ball. We don't want any dots. Bat on ball, at least. We walk away with a point. Ali to bowl. And, all right, now, do they just stay with a single? I wonder. Yeah, that would be the smart move for me. And I reckon... He, that uh, Uthaya Kuma is keen to come back, but Augustine says, no, stay there. That's fine. You're the set better. You should be able to get the six that we need here. Into the ground. They do take the single. Will they go for the second? They think about it. Now, it's a good throw, actually, this from Usama Shahid. He throws to the keeper's end. I think if this was going to the bowler's head, they would have taken it on. All right, Augustine, back on strike. Five or four required for a point. Zika Ali with the ball. And it's a swing and a miss. Does he get the wicket here? And the umpire, I think, has given this out on field of play. Niazi puts the finger up. So they're going to sweat here. Goes for the big shot. Misses it. Yeah, no doubt about it. Gets the bails off before the bat goes down. Watch this. Yep, he's a goner. Great work. And a good decision given there by Niaz. Ooh, it's going to be an interesting one. Sajith goes out now. And he knows what he's got to do here. Oh, well, three balls to come. Three balls to come. They're not, we're not talking about win here. Talking about trying to get a point here. Hits it well. Could be catchable. It is catchable. It will be taken. Anwari comes across. And it's going to be a golden duck for Saji. But worst case scenario is that the set batter stays at the non-strikers end. And when that single was taken, I thought that was dodgy. There's the uh, golden Derek. Good catch. Really well taken. And Wari makes no mistakes. Well. 
Zaka Ali now on a hat trick. Nothing's gone right for him in the field. He's missed everything. But with the ball in his hand, once it's there, he now could take a hat trick. No, he won't get a hat trick. They're running hard. Could be a, a team hat trick. It should have been a team. I told you. I told you. Anything, whenever he's got to try and feel the ball along the deck, he can't do it. Oh, Yarki, you hold it. They came in up with that. Zakalin in a prone, they got there. Oh, Gee, Gee, Lagi has a new Gee Safka Look at this. Look, he's, he's not even watching. He's, and then I think that would have hit the stumps. That would have hit the stumps. All right, they get, a, they get one. They're needing four of one here. And he hits it pretty well. Will he go to the boundary? It will go to the boundary. They will get a point. They will get a point. They get to the 1-11 of the last hit. And really, I have to say, even though Zika Rally... He bowled a pretty good over. He took two wickets, two for three, and two that one there, two for seven. If he wasn't worried about what happened with that ball, if he was concentrating, there would have been a run out, and <laughs> that they wouldn't have got the run, and then they would have got the point here. So the lack of concentration, once again, from Zika Ali does cost them. Uh, Royal 94 have to thank who? You know who? Uthaya Kuma who could be even given play of the match for being on the losing side because remember in the field, every wicket that went down, he played a part in it. Four catches, four wickets, and then he gets the runs needed. He finishes on 29, but he gets the four to give his team a point. He's my player of the match. It'll be interesting to see what uh, everybody else thinks. This is what's coming up next. The Villeneuve Super Kings will be in action against uh, the President 11. So that's going to be a good match as well. Yeah, I'm waiting to see what the decision there is on the, the player of the match. But my player of the match, I have to say, is Uthai Kuma. I think it was a fantastic performance from him. Uh, let's, get, uh, let's get ready to have a look at the highlights. Well, it started with this one. Well, it had to be the decision given by the umpire in the field of play. And it was it was given out, so it was a disastrous start, really. Indran would get stumped by Barty. Uh, he wouldn't get off the mark. And then that could have been out. That could have been a disaster for Loyola, who did play some nice shots. I like the way that he played. But, uh, well, Gulami, got to say, he was on fire. As that was a really good catch to take the wicket of Saka, who played some nice shots, two big sixty before he went. Then this was a little bit of mix-up. That one also could have been out. So many close calls there in the field. And thunderous shot there down the ground there from Kapil Raj. Kapil Raj will be disappointed. He gets to 20, then literally plays the wrong shot to the wrong ball. And he allows the wicket to be taken there by Safi. That one, well, that's bad luck, really. It's bad luck. But then I will say, though it's bad luck for Elistin, I think him getting out of the way meant that a new batter could come out and made the difference. And I think uh, Roger Lingham and uh, at that time, Uthakuma did make the difference. They got the slight acceleration in that was needed. Remember, Roger Lingham made 15 of eight. And that, I think, in the end helps them eventually get that one point that they needed. The balls were being thrown all over the place. That was a really good slow ball. Uh, good bowling by Safi. I like what Safi brings to the occasion. This one is one that got through. Now, <laughs> you got to say that uh, Zika Ali, he's fielding sort of, he's not the best. This one, Zika almost takes out Usman Shahid with a two-footed lunge as well. That could have gone nasty. So those little errors in the field, I'm not picking on Zika. I'm not, promise. But that could cost him the point. So this, for the second time, it is the Paris University Club that do win the match, but I feel... For the second time, they lose a point. I reckon there's two more points that they know they probably should have had on the board. Excellent work there once again from Barty. Quick hands. And then, well, this is when it was getting a little bit tense. There's another wicket foul. New batter goes in. This here, you see, he's so he's so worried about what happened and what could have happened with that ball. He's not even looking. And then he gets a hand to a ball that I think would have hit the stumps and would have been out. And then the next ball, because... Uh, you get uh, Thea Kuma will get on strike. He, uh, Thea Kuma, he plays a lovely shot, gets the boundary and gets a point. 
for his team. So Royal 94 do lose, but they do pick up a point. Quick look at that scorecard. And uh, I think a couple of rides, 20. He'll be disappointed the way he gets out. But uh, once again, with Ayakuma, 29 not out. And just keep an eye on... Well, they give player of the match to Zafar Iqbal. I can understand that. He makes 70. But when you look at what happens in that match, me, as, uh, you know, I'm not looking at giving it to somebody who's on the winning side. I think that performance there from Uthaya Kuma, involved in every single dismissal, picks up a four for, what was his bowling figures in the end? Four for 23, and then scores 29. Then helps his team get a point of the very last four. He's my player of the match. What are you thinking, folks? Anyway, going to leave you with a mid-match summary. The next match coming up in just under 20 minutes' time. It's going to be another exciting one. Runa Super Kings still searching for their first win. They're up against President Eleven. President Eleven, remember, a team that started well but have lost their last two matches. And maybe this one is the one that the Super Kings will be thinking is going to be their one. They fielded really, really well in the first match against the Paris University Club. If they can put that performance in again, then maybe, just maybe, they could get a win against the President Eleven. Coming up in about 18 minutes' time, join me, Riga Full, and the rest of the gang here on the European Cricket Network. We'll be back in about 18 minutes' time.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello, cricket lovers, and welcome back. Match number 18 sees the return of the Villeneuve Super Kings. We saw them earlier in the morning. They took on the Paris University Club. They needed a win, couldn't get a win, but they did get a point, so they're still searching for a win. They're up against the President 11. Now, when we saw the President 11 first up, they were very impressive. They scored a lot of runs when they got that win over Zalmi. But then after that, well, they lost that to Drew, then also to the Paris University Club. So they're looking to come back with the bang. Let's see what happens at the coin toss. Okay. President 11 to call. Heads is the call, Heads. and it's a tail. Uh, Feeling best. Gonna have a ball. Super Thiran off the Super Kings winning the toss and electing to go with what they're doing well, and that is to be in the field. I think the bowling and the fielding against the Paris University Club was sensational. They restricted them to 120, but it was the first five overs that they were really good, particularly keeping them to just 47 and taking five wickets as well. Their catching was superb. They would have been a little bit disappointed, though, that they did let uh, PUC get to that 120 mark, but the batting has been the issue for them. Can they get batted? that stand up and fight. One thing that we do know about the President 11 that these guys can bat well. Um, Zayn Ahmed was absolutely sensational. Remember, he scored 97. Kenasane has been in good form as well. But it has to be said, if those two are not clicking, then they do also struggle themselves. So the Super Kings are looking to get those guys out early. Watch out for Stanek Syed with the ball. I think it's going to be an exciting one. Join me back in the cube and I'll tell you a little bit more about these two teams. And we're back at this beautiful ground in Drua. Doesn't it look absolutely sensational? I'm loving the area view, surrounded by this uh, a wooded forest. And we've got a, a little stream that runs alongside as well. That's where all the ducks are. We've had plenty of ducks here. And I think one team that's hoping they don't see too many ducks is President 11. It's nice to see them back. We saw them get a good win the first time up when they scored 180 plus on the board so they did show what they were able to do 182 for four they were Zayn Ahmed who became so close to being the first batter to score 100 here in France but fell short by some three runs but the thing was though when we saw them again they struggled with the bat against Drew and then they struggled big time getting a score of 95 against Paris University Club so they're looking to come back well they are 79 percent favorites here against the Vuna Super Kings, who have a 21% chance of a win. They did themselves a lot of credit, I think, the Vuna Super Kings, with the way that they, they bowled and particularly fielded against Paris University Club in the very first match. They'll be hoping that they can continue in that form. We saw some incredible catching, and I think the one from Robin Sansiva Kuma that he took, well, that one would definitely go viral. It was a sensational catch, but... Uh, can they do it again? Can they restrict the President 11 to a score around about, well, no more than 110? That's what they've got to be thinking because their own batting hasn't really been clicking. They did manage to get their highest score so far in this series, 98. They looked like they could get to the 100, but it wasn't to be when they were chasing that 121. But getting better bit by bit all the time. So they're hoping that maybe this time around they can get that win that they're really searching for. So we are getting ready to go. It looks like that we will see the Peter Bakaran with the ball first up. And he starts on the leg side to the left hand. That will be a wide. And Zayn Ahmed, keen, I suppose, to show what he did in that match number one. First time that we saw President 11, but he wasn't able to find that form again against the Paris University Club or against Drew. Well, this one's outside the line. will be made to run hardest. Oh, this one is not one an umpire needs. It's dif different when the ball hits them or it's a genuine attempt to try and run out. But those stumps are taking a battering. I know that Charles Crouch the uh, tournament referee, was out there. Uh, just uh, stabilising those stumps and maybe getting a little bit more turf put in the holes for the stumps. So the last thing you need is that. Uh, just have a look. We'll have a look at it here. Those stumps get mullered. So 
In comes the throw, and this is as a wicket keeper who smashes into him. Doesn't even have the ball, does he? Proper current. Oh, well, didn't he? I think he was the pick of the bowlers. Two for 15 earlier. And uh, made a good contribution with the bat as well. It's a good hard hitter. Okay. Kunasane gets his first. And drags his out under the leg side. Chases on. You can see how the outfield has quickened up. And they will come back for a couple. One thing that we'll certainly notice is how quickly the grass grows. And I remember back to my days in the UK when you got this weather like this, sort of proper spring weather, sunshine, showers, sunshine and showers, and the grass grows pretty quickly. So I'm pretty sure that it will probably be due a bit of a cut uh, pretty soon. And when there is cut, I think this, uh, especially this time of day, once that dew is totally burned away, this outfit will be super quick. Slight field change, this left and right combination. Trying to get it through the gap, doesn't. Good fielding. Bowling to a plan at the moment is Peter Buck Curran. He's got uh, long off on the boundary and mid wicket. And that's uh, a really good take. Not a good delivery. Well, Thiruk Kumaran. Good footwork. Gets into good position. Takes a really, really good take. That's quality. That's a quality take. It's not a good delivery from Peter Bakaran, But the take from the keeper, quite outstanding. Slower ball, goes for it, is high. Nobody back there. This will go all the way. Bolle, 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 ginna zona. Shaka lagia, Zain Ahmed. He opens his account with a maximo. Six runs. The first boundary. Nicely hit. This hit straight down the ground. Fielder comes across, makes a stop. That's uh, Gunarasa. A few Gunarasas in the side. That was uh, Pira Heap. And we've also got Rathurashan Gunarasa in the side as well. Bit of a current. Looking to finish the first over well. 13 have come from it. There's been a lot of extra deliveries bowled. And this one is okay. And he has a nervy look at the umpire, so finishes with a dot. Let's have a look. Oh, well, I reckon that wasn't okay, if I'm honest. I think that's a wide. I think it gets called, actually. It does, it does get called. Up. Then the umpire was checking on the walkie-talkie, and you can see why. He couldn't see... The line, so wide was called. They left the ball again. And this one is down the ground. It's going to be a test for the fielder who can't get there. I reckon this probably just goes over the rope. We'll have to look at this. You can see the fielder saying, I have no idea. Let's have a look. I think we're going to need the help of our spring media to see where this ball finishes. And have a look at the shot first. Now keep an eye on the ball. Where does this land? Four runs. Cuatro Carrera just bounces just before the rope. So the over goes for 18. It was a long over, 19 in total, because there was a leg by in there as well. A long over. That's taking some time, isn't it, as we have a look at uh, a 2024 calendar. Gives you an idea of some of the places that we will be visiting. I think I got as far as Cyprus Encore last time, so... Czechia, Romania, Hungary, Bulgaria. Nice to be going to Bulgaria uh, outside of their rainy season. I reckon it'll be super hot in July there. 
I'm looking forward to seeing not just old familiar faces, but some new ones as well. Okay, crunches it high in the air. Chance doesn't look too comfortable, the fielder. And yeah, he never looked like he was catching this. He never looked like he was catching it. And that's uh, Mohamed Azim. He's like pitter patter, pitter patter, arms all over the, the place. It was like he was doing the wave, the Mexican wave. He's going to get moved out of that position straight away. It's uh, interesting why you don't have your best fielders in the right place to start off with. That's definitely a chance. All right, goes for another one. This one is not going to get there, is he? So living a little bit dangerously is Zane. Spider attacks again. This time he's right on the microphone. I think they like the furry bits of the microphone. They like to get stuck right in there, and make it home. The good old outdoors, don't we love them? Well, we love this shot as well. That is going to be six runs. That is a powerful hit, hard and straight. And uh, this is what you'd expect from uh, Lingus Warren Kanase. He's a powerful hitter of the ball. The more time these two spend out there and they they start to get going, the more they're going to hurt you. Powerful shot. So six more. And this one is going to be one bounce for so Gunarasa just needs to get the ball a little bit fuller. At the moment, it's too short. And Kanasane is enjoying himself out there. And why not? It's a beautiful afternoon. It's a good time to be out there having a bat. Yes, coming up to 22 local time. Wants to change the angle here, Gunarasa. And that one is going to be a chase for the fielder. Can't get there. Goes to the Giti, a cheap field in it. There's there. Well, one Gunarasa tries to help the other. And this is uh, Ruthu Shan. Can't get there. It's going to be four more. Looks like debating where he wants to be here. So the wicketkeeper deciding here through Kumaran that he's going to put the lid on and stand up to try and keep to try and keep uh, Kanasane in the crease don't mind that but the bowler's got to make sure he gets the ball in the right area otherwise this could also end up bad with buys or maybe even wides and okay here we go so up to the stumps here now through Kumaran up in the air and, oh, goes for it one hand. And remember that fielder? They just made the change, didn't they? As uh, Subhan Thiran, the captain, dismissed uh, Azim from this position when that catch wasn't taken. Now, he tries to take the Statue of Liberty catch. They're just not getting into a good position. A team that were outstanding with their fielding earlier on in the morning when conditions were very... Difficult against Paris University Club. They have two opportunities that they haven't taken. And both batters have been given a life. Zane was put down on seven. And now we see Kenasane. He gets a life in the 20s. And it's the captain who doesn't take the catch. And I think the standards that Suvathirant applies he'll be very disappointed he doesn't take that catch it's the end of the over as well so 37 without loss that over going for 18 the one the very first went for 19. we have a chance to have a look at this last one again so that was the not the best of starts. 
but he manages to keep it inside. Oh, it's another. It's another one that goes down. Oh dear. And now he throws it away in disgust. And they'll take a single. Dear, oh dear. It's all going wrong at the moment. Has a go, gets it wrong. And once again, who? The captain, Super Thiran, and then he throws it away and they take the run. Up in the air, right. Where's this one going? Is it going to go to hand? It does, but that doesn't get taken either. Not easy. This is uh, Sarith Naran. He can't get there either. Oh, it's... Uh, chances coming, but not being taken to Zane now. Remember, he was dropped earlier on seven. He's now dropped on ten. They're just starting to get... A little bit panicky here. The vibes are not good. They need a wicket here pretty soon. They need something to go their way. Otherwise, I can see this. Going from bad to worse here. Bonjour to Terry Richmond. Hello. Uh, thank you for joining us, Terry. And, uh, earlier I saw Dear Maria was also in the chat. Hello, Dear Maria. I hope you're well. And Julian Dawson. Was joining us too. Hello, Julian. And that's going to be four runs. Gets past the fielder. It's a nice shot. Just starting to feel with those chances not taken. Just to repeat, we saw Zane drop from seven and ten. And uh, we saw Kanasani drop from 20. The captain involved with two of them who put himself in the position. That was the thing. That's the worst thing about it. He dismissed. And Mohammed Azim from that uh, mid-off position say, you're out of here because you can't catch a thing. And unfortunately, captain doesn't fear any better. That's well bowled. Good delivery. Sneaks that inside. That'll be the end of the over. It's not a bad over there at all from Azim. But he knows it should have been better. There should have been at least a wicket in there. So... 44 without loss. Power play score. Yeah, just having a look at some of the, the vibes at the moment from the Vilna of Super Kings. They look a bit down. They look a little bit flat. I think they need to. Captain's trying his best there. Super Theron is trying to, to raise the morale, trying to keep them motivated. I think this is where a good wicketkeeper has to play his part as well. Thirup Kumaran has to G up the players. He's standing up again. Have a good look at the field there. That, uh, so that the inner ring has got three on the offside, one on the leg side. I'll give you the outfielders in a minute after this ball. That won't be a run as one of those players does come in and make the stop. Okay, Ghost lofted. Now, one of those fielders is out there, but can he keep this in the field of play? No, he can't. It's another one that is agonizingly out of the reach of the fielder. I wonder if he gets fingertips to this. That's uh, Sirikuma Jathruashan. Let's have a look. Keep an eye on this. Does he get any fingers on it? I think he does, you know. And uh, question is, where does that ball land? Get the feeling it might be four. We have a look at the field there. So you got... The three out there on the offside, two on the leg side. Gets played out by Kanasane. They'll take the single. So interesting field. I mean, more protection out on the offside now. Obviously, now has to change here to Zayn Ahmed and this is where the captain's job gets difficult left and right combination got to make sure that the fielders know where they're going and he's got to make sure that they don't mess up 
hit hard. That will go all the way as well. Manos arriba, 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 and it will go all the way. Well, he's got the hoodie on, so I don't know who that is. He drops the catch. There's no hiding. The camera is on you. And, uh, well, I think catches are being dropped not just on the field of play, but outside the field of play as well. It's catching, everybody. It's catching. The boys aren't catching. But uh, the catch is being dropped. Is catching. That was a solid hit, of course, from Zayn Ahmed. These two have put a 50 partnership up at the moment. That expected score around that 150 mark, but it could quite easily go beyond that. That gets dragged to the fielder. No run this time. Over comes to an end, 56 without loss. Once again, not the worst of overs there from Mahadevan. Need to find a way, though, to get a breakthrough here. And I wonder if they think that maybe a little bit of spin is the answer. Rithu Shuran. Gunarasa. Starts at a short one with Zayn Ahmed. Doesn't quite get the timing on. Starts with a single. And there goes that field again. So, often they have two this time out in the off. So, they put the extra man out on the leg side. And, well, though he's there, can't do anything about it. This one is going to clear the marquee. And end up on the border fence. Well, that's that sign. We were showing you these signs before, actually. The danger keep out sign. So we're still wanting to know what's in the woods where these signs all around this fence say, don't go in there, don't go in there. You know, what is it? Is it wolves? Is it bears? I don't want to go and find out. Somebody should tell me. Firmly hit. Good stop. Attacks the ball like that. And that's uh, Peter Bakaran. Nice work from him. So Ritush. Tidy so far. That's well timed. To the fielder. Makes a stop. They're yeah, trying to find a way to find that little bit of Midas touch that they had when they were in the field earlier this morning against the Paris University Club. Bangs it straight down the ground, and that's nice and straight. That's six runs. So, Kanasane takes him into the 40s. We know that these two are the key batters. We saw it before. Zayn Ahmed, 97 to 32, player of the match, and Ganesane made 42 that time. As this one's been hit pretty hard. And just be a single, so he moves to 43. Then the next time with the bat, it was Ganesane made 31. And once again, Ganesane made 49, so he was the main contributor. So they've got to get these two up because no other batter really has clicked for President 11. Let's have a look at this. The uh, European Cricket Championship starting on the 23rd of September to the 19th of October. Happening, of course, in the beautiful province of Andalusia, Spain, Malaga. As we go to a bit of spin. And it will be taken apart. Six of the first. This partnership. Looking very rosy, Mahadevan coming back on to bowl. He's first, and he gets mashed away. And we'll go back to that graphic throughout the this afternoon. We had a little look at Group A, where we know that France will be playing. Goes wider. It's a nice change up on the bowler. Uses the all of his crease here. 
He's got to be careful that he doesn't plant any of that. He's foot on the return crease. Yeah, he looks like he wants to come through the umpire and the stumps. So trying different things here, Mahadevan. And that one is taken. So finally, they do hold on to one. They get the breakthrough. It's Zayn Ahmed who will fall first. 24, he'll go for a nice catch held. Finally, they'll hold on to one. And then finally, something to celebrate. And that is uh, Ruthu Roshan Gunarasa who holds on to the catch and makes it look pretty easy. It doesn't quite get the height in it. It's got the distance, it's got the legs, but he gives the opportunity to the fielder. And catch, finally taken. So they get the breakthrough. And a warm applause for Zane as he comes back. So Mahadevan keeping the pace off. Seems to have worked. The new pattern that comes out is Afzal. Left-hander for left-hander, and that is big. That could be going into the danger area. Does it go through the fence? And be careful going in there. And luckily for the fielder, it's just on the edge of it. Now that's a big hit from Hussein. And gets his first ball just where he likes it. And Hussein Afzal pumps it to the boundary. My Devon, maybe a quicker one. It is quicker, but it's short. And this one will get thumped as well. Back-to-back -back sixes. Boom. Shakalagia. And uh, it's all the daisies there. It reminds me of when we were in Portugal. Plenty of daisies in the ground there as well. You can always tell where the ground has been mowed and where it hasn't. And the daisies camouflaging the grizzly pretty well as it goes to that part of the ground. Two balls, two sixes for Absal. The over. Well, they... It has been a wicket, but there's been a bit of pain here for the bowler as well. He will get through the over. And at the end of six overs, it's 91 for one at the end of six. A good partnership worth 90 there between the two openers. And a pretty healthy scorecard at the moment. And with four overs to go with uh, with uh, Lingas Warren Kanasane well set in his 40s. They are definitely looking to get beyond that 150 mark. Expected score at the moment, 149. But depending on how Kenesane gets going and if Abzal can keep hitting sixes, they're looking to put a big score on here. Firmly hit. Should be stopped. It is stopped. Good bit of fielding. So, Prihatip Gunarasa makes a nice stop. So... Now back to the left-hander. Abzal checks the field. He's got two men on the leg side. One straight down the ground as well. And he's made to reach for this one. Let's see what the umpire thinks about it. He'll have a look at it one more time. And I think he just sneaks this in. He wants to give himself a lot of room, doesn't he? So, yeah, that's perfectly fine. But it is a... I'm going to say... And they're not easy, but I think that's another stumping opportunity, you know, for Thiru Kumuran. Uh, genuine edge. And this will go all the way down to the boundary. And applause, a warm applause. Rolls the wrist at it and gets it away. Meanwhile, at the other end, Kanasana, he has bought up his 50 as well, that 50. Came up in that 20 delivery, so he's looking to keep on going here. His work is not done. Floated up, hit well and too well. It's going to get over the fielder. I know that the fielder does come in here. I think that is uh, Kathianthan Sivakuma. I get the feeling, though, even if he's on the line, this is going over him. You see him, he gets sort of caught out of position. But look where that lands. I don't think that's catchable. So that's six more. And uh, who's name Afzal has certainly come out with the long handle and he's using it well. 
And that one I think is a wide. The umpire is giving us a pre-signal and he calls a wide as well. Yeah, good call. Trying to sneak it in, but not able to. This is Peter Bakaran, who has been brought back here to try and get something to happen. See if you can break this partnership as well. All right, up in the air. This is a genuine chance, and it gets taken. No mistakes once again from Ruthrushan Gunarasa. He's good. He's a good catcher. So that's the wicket that they, they def definitely wanted to see back. So Gunasana is gone now. So the two batters that have made contributions for the President 11 are both back. Kanasane finally does get a 50. He had a very good first day. Like I mentioned it before. We saw him score on the first day that they played day two. He put 42. He scored. He also scored a fine 31 and a 49. So he does get to a half century. Right up there is one of the leading run scorers now. Of course, Zane Ahmed not that far behind. So those two are back, Zane and Kanase. So now it's an opportunity really. But you got to bowl well. You can't bowl badly. This is probably going to go all the way as well. It does. He pulls this away beautifully. It's a Nasiri. And a jump shot Nasiri. He opens his account with a six as well. That over goes for 19. So even though they get the wickets, the runs are still flowing. Hundred and ten. Two wickets down. Short. Will it carry? Yeah, great catch. Brilliantly done. Well, they're back. They are back. And this time is uh, Kayanathan Sivakuma who takes a good catch. Diving forward. So Husnain Absal. A quick fire twenty-two. But he now has to go back. Good catch, Sivakuma. If only they had held the ones earlier. He yeah, gets the dive in, takes it. The Gunarasa bowling, he's second over. Gets a valuable wicket. Arun Rama. Now, Rama, last time we saw him, wasn't really somebody who was scoring quickly. Throws the bat at this one, and he will looks like he's going to be back for two. In comes the throw, and they'll get the two. Well backed up. So this is where the issues started for the present 11. So the Syrian Rama, let's see if they can make a difference today. Something they weren't able to do when we saw them on day two. When the openers went, Kanasane and Ahmed, the the runs eased up. So remember there was that expected rate was around about that 149 and when the two openers were there, I was saying they're looking really and Kanasane was still there to get past that. Okay, that's hit firmly and oh, just out of the reach of the fielder. This time Peter Bakaran, once again, it's fingertips. He's about half a metre away from the line. But once more, I don't think it would have made too much of a difference. It is a full toss. It gets clubbed pretty well. You can see that it's not that far off the line. The, the batters just basically frame the bat and everything is what they've got to do. And you don't want to slow things up here now. Already you can see that expected rate. Score is still staying around that 149, so it hasn't changed too much, even though batters have come and gone. Nasiri on strike. Hits this bell, and that will go all the way. Well, that is hit beautifully. Nice and sweet out of the middle of that bat. That is sweeter than a bottle of Rasmalai. Six more. Finishes the over well. President 11 
125 on the board. Three wickets down and already you're starting to feel that this could be just too much for a team that has struggled with the bat, haven't got to or managed to score 100 yet. And they've had uh, three opportunities to do so. Oh, whips this outside the off. The batter doesn't like it. Once wide, we'll get a chance to look at it again. I think uh, let's have a look at this. Yeah, then that's fine. No issues whatsoever. As we go back live. And now he's out. Well, I think this is probably where the umpire said, use the bat. Don't look at me, use the bat. Uh, I think the batter gets the wrong idea, though, because uh, Ramar uses the bat only to knock his own stump out of the ground. So Azim, he comes back to bowl his second. And after getting a good dot ball in, he removes the batter in quite emphatic fashion. Well, that off stump has seen better days, doesn't it? It is whacked out of the ground once more. Well done to Azim. And Ramar goes for nine. But at least this time, he didn't hang around. He's gone out there. He's had a go. Swung at a few. He's got runs quickly. Not chewed up too many deliveries. What was the issue with him the last few times that we saw him? Okay, it's uh, Iqbal Hussain who almost pulls his shoulder out trying to hit this one. He's trying to send this to the moon, is Iqbal. Huge swing. And misses it. He'll have another go, I'm sure. And well bowled. Clever bowling. Good areas from Azim. His bowling spell so far has been pretty decent. Just the seven runs off the ten balls that he's bowled. And well, he's asking the question here. There was a sound, you know. There definitely was a sound. Now, was it bad on Paul? Look again. It's definitely heard something here. Let's see this. Uh, nothing that's going to be conclusive on the camera, but it was definitely something the wicketkeeper likes it, the bowler liked it. The umpire doesn't see anything and says not out, so we'll continue. Still, though, it's a dot ball, and that's a win at this moment in time. No runs so far off this over. And there won't be. That's quite incredible. That's going to be a wicket maiden. We often say it all... Ha oh, well, what have they done here? And that will be in the end. They will give a run away. We always say all oh, happens in the ninth. Well, nearly nothing happened in the ninth there. But they eventually will get something of the last. Let's see, just see what happened here one more time. It gets played. They don't run. They go back. In comes the throw. And they then say, right, let's go. Yeah, the wicket keeper. I'm not sure why he's trying to play this onto the stump. So the wicket keeper spoils a wide there. Even the scorers had that down as nothing. We had to see it again to believe it. There is a single. One come off that over. It's 126 for three. What a cracking over that was from Azim. Cracking spell from him. One for just eight. Should have been one for seven. That should have been Wicket Maiden. Go into the last then. They're just checking that there's no issues with time. And everything seems to be fine. All right, launches into this one. They want a big finish, don't they? This one is going to drop short of the boundary. The batters, they will come back for a couple. Now, this is a plugger on the leg side. But Hussein being egged on by the President 11 and say, come on, we want some big hits here. It's another dot ball going nowhere. The non striker is uh, Nasiri wants to get on strike, but he can't. Just remember when 
Lasani was out there. They were still expected to get to that 149. And I was saying then, when he was at that point, he was on 43. That if he keeps going, it could be more. And he's, well, let's have a look at this. He's been given out. He's running nowhere. So, off he goes. What a good finish this is from the Super King. It's just a shame that they're, they're doing all of this good work towards the end of the innings. We'll have a look at this again. So, starts to run, has to get back on the, on the Iba Iba, doesn't get back. Good work there from Tiruk Kumaran. There's another batter has to go. Hussain departs for three. Three of the seven balls, he gets run out. Firmly hit in the gap. Oh, no. Ay, 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 ay. It's a man who's done very well in the field. He's taken two good catches. But this time round, I think that's a Rathurashan Gunarasa. Doesn't get down, does he? Doesn't block it. All right. It's back to him again. And this time, the batters, surprisingly, are not trying to run too. Yeah, it's the end of the innings. You've got to be running too. You've got so many wickets in hand. They're just just idling along. You've got to push on. If you get run out, well, you get run out trying. And maybe Nasiri just wanted to get on strike. Mm, he's going to miss out on this one. So, this is a good finish. Really is. The last over from Gunarasa only went for one. And now here's the captain. Don't often see him having a bowl. Subhan Thiran. He's only conceded just eight so far. And that should be just a single. They will keep it to just one. So good finish. Just ten coming off the last two overs. And that means that the score will be 135. So they finish, they finish about 15 short of where the expected score was while Kanesane was out there. It is a good finish from the Super Kings. But unlike the earlier match against the Paris University Club, where they did a lot of the good work and hard work at the beginning of the innings, this time around it was almost the other way around. The first five overs do go for 72. But the, the second five, much better, 63. So good fight. You expect them to fight. But once again, is it too many runs? Well, unless somebody can really click. I said the same thing when they were playing the Paris University Club. Unless one batter can score a half century, then once again, they're going to be up against it. As we saw... Plenty of hard hitting earlier on, but also plenty of catches going down. That was the issue. Remember, Zayn Ahmed was dropped on seven and also on ten. Uh, we saw that Kanesane was dropped on 20 as well. And that partnership in the end was worth, it was worth 90 runs. I'm just going to go and double check what the partnership was. No, 79. 79 is what the partnership was worth. So they needed to find a way to break that earlier. They had the opportunities and couldn't do so. Uh, but Hussein Afsal, he came out. He certainly gave it a good clobber, didn't he? And he did what uh, President Eleven weren't able to do in the last two matches that we saw them play. After Kanasane and Zayn Ahmed got out, they just weren't able to get any sort of rhythm going with their batting. But this time around, they did show that other batters can come out there and have a hit. Well, Avtal certainly showed that he could. And uh, I suppose we saw a little bit there from the the bat also of Nisiri. Well, there was, once again, they're playing and missing from the other batters. Iqbal Hussain, three of six. And uh, Ramar this time, slightly better from him, nine of six. So good fight, a good comeback uh, from the Super Kings. That over there from Azim was absolutely fantastic. It actually should have been a wicket maiden. It was just really uh, a little bit silly right towards the end when, for some reason, you saw the wicketkeeper, Zira Kumaran, here, just trying to throw this one back into the stump. It doesn't work. And the two batters say, well, okay, 
why don't we spoil the wicket maiden and take a, a single? And that's exactly what they did. The last over, it was uh, Sivathi Ran who bowled it. We haven't seen him bowl too much. And he bowled a pretty tidy one as well. And uh, only keeping it nice and tight. So good finish. But uh, they've got a lot of work to do. Is somebody from the Villeneuve Super Kings going to be able to go out there and get some good runs on the board? Little things like that hurt you. So there were a few disappointments in the first four overs in the field from the Super Kings. And that mistake there coming from somebody who fielded really well, actually. That's uh, Ruthu Sharana Gunasarara. He was good, made that mistake, just allowed that one to go for four. 135 it is, though. Remember, at one point, it was expected to be a lot more than that, certainly 150 for sure. And I was thinking if uh, Gunasarana at the time stayed there, it could go beyond it. So they do well. They restrict it well. There's the bowling figures there for you. There's no no argument about the pick of the bowlers there. Mohammed Azim, one for eight. Quite sensational. And uh, the likes of uh, Pira Bakaran this time and Pirathip Gunarasa, they were just a little bit too expensive. And the captain there gets a good over in towards the end. So we're going to leave you with that mid-match summary. 136 will be the run chase this time. For the Vilna Super Kings who are searching for their first victory. Will it be lucky match number four for them? Or will again they have to try and settle for just a point? Join me, Rigaful, when I come back in about 10 minutes time to talk you through the second innings.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello folks and welcome back as we get ready to see once again the run chase of the Wilna Super Kings searching remember for their first victory they did pick up a point against the Paris University Club this morning and they managed to get to 98 chasing 121 just saw the bonus point equation there so once again they're gonna have to be getting into the 90s to get something from this match of course against the Paris University Club they needed to get to that 80 score of course they will be looking to see if they can click with the bat now I would say this is just just above that what we could the par score it's at about 126 at the start of the day and the one batter gets going it can make all the difference here comes the first the bowler just practicing his run and it's going to be Iqbal Hussain No such issues for the bowlers here today, especially this afternoon. As everything is nice and dry. So here we go. We are ready. So it's going to be the captain. So with Iran, remember, he got out disastrously in the first match against Paris University Club. But this time he gets off the mark. And that's key. He is key, really, to them. If he can get going, if he can get a big score, get some support there from someone like Peter Bakaran who gets elevated up the order. Don't mind this move as well. He can certainly can hit the ball. Oh, well, it goes for it but gets beaten. Beaten by pace here from Hussein. And that sparks a wave of applause and cheers from the players, his teammates. Just checking this field for you. You've got the three men on the leg side, mid wicket and long on his back. 45 inside the circle. Everybody else out on the, the offside. You see a sea of red. A walk in from the 30 yard circle. It's, uh, it's great to see. That's the bowler Hussein is charging in. You see all of them walking in. There we go again. Look at them coming in. And this time, though, it's a nice looking shot. Just a little bit pitched up in Peter Bakaran. Doesn't try and hit this one too hard. It's almost like a little chip using the pace. That's coming his way to just help this along. Good seam movement from the bowler Hussein. You can see that ball is swinging away quite nicely. And uh, straight away, he wants to make an adjustment in the field here. I mean, it looks like he wants the mid, mid wicket that was on the boundary to come inside. And looks like uh, the captain will put himself on the boundary. Quite interesting. I thought he'd give him some, some cover on the offside. And, well, this is uh, this is the issue. I've said this many a time, I think. When you've got a bowler like Hussein, who's getting that ball to swing and swing away, and he's bowling with genuine pace, my field quite simply is you get that third man back, and then you... I would, with the swing here, I'd get a backward... Uh, Backward point on the boundary. My two men back would be in those areas. I wouldn't be too worried about uh, long on and long off being back because he's not really giving you that ball to drive. So something that I think the bowler here could be thinking about when the field gets set for him, Iqbal Hussein. But he does finish the over well. Just the one streaky four that comes from him. Nine without loss after the first. He beat the bat a few times as well. A good start from him. Come on, 
Three dot balls, a single, and two boundaries. One you'd say is a, the authentic one from Peter Bakaran. 17 matches now since the golden ball. The number starting to slowly tick upwards. All right, here we go. Next bowler is going to be Zahiri. Oh, that's a good in swing in Yorker. Gets a fair chunk of this, though, and it will get over the rope. It's going to be four runs. Cuatro Carreras. Not a bad delivery, though. First up, gets it full, pretty straight. Just slightly over pitch, perhaps. That's why Zahiri is just able to get a bit of bat onto that. But uh, don't mind that. Full straight, maybe a little bit unlucky. It's not where the batter was looking to go. Wants it, just drops this down and single will be taken once again. I think the, the President 11, they're not going to be too disappointed if they see singles. Singles don't really hurt them, do they? It's got to be boundaries that the Super Kings are, are looking for to get the win. Not just get the win, even to get uh, get a point from the contest. Slices it up in the air. It's a comfortable and easy catch taken. That will be the first wicket. And uh, Piro Bakaran, who gets given an opportunity at the top of the order, he will hoit this one out. And it'll be eight of six for him. Nice catch held there. I think that was at Stanek Zai. Such as Stanek Zai. That takes the catch. And doesn't make mistake. Comfortably done. That rewards Zahiri with the wicket. And now it's uh, Kajan Sivakuma. Comes out in the number three position, but I think it's important for Super Kings to not worry too much about the wickets that are going. Oh, well, that is just a beauty. He saw that he gets this ball to come in, Z Zahiri. The first one that he bowled, actually, was one that I think he was pretty unlucky with. It went to the boundary, but he got a lot of swing on it. it you know, I was saying a bit earlier, if you were listening, when I said, I just love it. When the new batter comes in and you get a good full delivery. Now, this is an absolute jaffer. It really is. If we see that again from the bowlers, now first let's see the batter goes back. It's going to be, unfortunately, a golden duck for the batter. So there's Goldie. Kajan Sivakuma gets a golden. But just look at this ball again. We get time to see it one more time from behind the bowler's arm. Look at the way it comes in. It's an absolute beauty. It really is. Comes in and... They don't get any better than that. The golden duck cleaned up by Zahiri. And I tell you what, if he bowls the same ball again, he could have another. And this is carefully watched by Thirak Kumaran. A lot of noise being made by the President 11. Egging the bowler on. One more. Come on, one more. Two for five so far in the over. And this one just gets dragged out onto the exciting. It's the throw. And if this hits, I think this could have been out. You can see the captain, Dawood Amadzai, applauding. And liking the fielding here. I think once again, it's Stanek Zai, the youngster, gets the throw in. Doesn't miss by much. Super Kings looking to try and put a bit of distance between them and Parazalmi at the bottom. President 11, remember they here get a chance to get up into that third spot. And 
They will play again, of course, in the next match. They take it on a Royal 94. So they've got two matches here. Looking to win them both. Good delivery. Look at this one go. Perfect length, isn't it? This is Malakzada. Perfect length, short of a length, outside the off. Well bowled by Amidullah Malakzada. Ooh. Swinging and missing. Hoping for the best here. Here's Thirukuma. And almost loses his stumps as well. Under the cosh. Needing an answer. Needing something. And that's well hit. That will go all the way. That's going to be six runs. That's a very good hit. And, yeah, why come charging down when, well, you can just stay in your crease and hit it on the up, and that's a good hit. Combination of good timing. Out of the middle of the bat and using the pace of the bowler against him. Nicely done, well struck. Oh, bangs it inside edge onto his own own leg. They'll take the single. And Malikzada now gets a chance to have a go at the captain. Suvan Thiran. And that walloped into his own leg. Thiruk Kumaran gets to the other end. Malakzada searching for his first wicket. And he might get it just here. He should get it. And he will. Captain makes no mistakes. No win Ahmed Zai. And he's happy about it. Mr. Universe. Yeah, he is. He may be little, but we still call him Mr. Universe. And all to do with the celebrations that we're often used to seeing from him. Disappointment from the captain. Sivan Thiran departs for just six. Six or four deliveries. And he's caught out by the, the opposition captain. And Malik Zada does pick up his first wicket. So that's three down, the top three all back. Gunarasa. Here comes that. Now the clock is ticking here. It'll be interesting to see. He's got to be ready to face his first ball by 60 seconds. This is going to be pretty close, you know. It's going to be pretty close. Of course, the umpires always get in their earpiece the time the batter takes. I think he only just makes this, you know. Oh, well, there he is, Mr. Universe. He recovers well because this one hits the deck and deviates away from the angle he's coming in at he has to react pretty quickly and he does makes a stop keeps it to no run Malikzada bowls a good over one for seven and it's 22 for three and you can see the difference in the power play and they were double this score were present 11 at the same point once again a big thank you to the federation for the lunch that was provided today I know that uh, the ECN crew were gobbling it up. Some meatballs, rice, some white beans as well, and a nice sauce with a bit of potato. And, of course, there's always a little bit of salad just to make you feel that it's healthy. That is very healthy. You get a very good, healthy meal here. So, well done. And thank you very much to the Federation for looking after us so well. And a big shout-out to some of the guys around the ground. Of course, Asif, who is... The president of Drew Cricket Ground, he's uh, been doing a bit of umpiring as well. Also one of the national selectors. Also to uh, Savannah, who is the CEO, and uh, Prabhu, and uh, Pritev as well. Thank you for looking after us. And always plenty of warm drinks around when the weather gets cold. Taking it on, and they will get there. The thing is, though, Singles just don't cut it. 
be interesting to see. I mean, you can see that they're needing, it's coming up to, I think it will be past the 16 mark by the end of this over that they'll need. There's, this one just gets dragged down again. It will just be a single. Captain Amatai says, leave it to me. I'll do the fielding. He always looks busy, doesn't he, Amadzai? He always looks busy. I know he's little, but he's always... Might be little, but he always moves fast. He's always doing something. I reckon he's a, he's a nervous, twitchy sort of guy. Taking it on, this one. Oh, it was a better throw. He would have been in trouble. They're still asking the question here because he actually does extremely well, Galasane. Now, let's have a look. It's not the best of throws. They are having a look at this. I will have a good look, thanks to Spring Media. So, it's straight to the fielder. There's hesitation. Now, he's got a lot to do because the throw's not good. If it's over the stumps, I reckon he's gone up. But from here, let's see. Ooh, we'll have to just slow this down frame by frame. Let's just see when that bat goes down. There you... It's down there. Keep it going. It's down there. Though, so, is it down... Yeah, I reckon... Ooh, it's close, isn't it? I reckon he just makes it. I reckon he just makes it. It's a great shot of Kanasana getting there, but I think the, the shot that we want is this one again. So... All right, this is the one we want now. So can we see when the bat goes down? I think we just want to go at this point here. So let's go forward from here. Oh, I reckon. <laughs> Problem is, once again, you've got the knee of the fielder in the way. And we've had this a couple of times. You're going to have to go with the on-field umpire. On-field umpire is positioned beautifully, by the way. So that's great. I think that's a Vignesh out there. And he decides not out. And that's the call from the on-field umpire. And I can understand that because the the footage that we have on camera are really not conclusive enough. Short. Just be a single. Double tie can be a little bit short sometimes, but the thing is, he does skid the ball through. And because he skids it through, it doesn't really come up, so batters have to wait and time it right if they're going to go after him. You see that one there as well. He sort of skids it through. They they don't get as they don't get the time that they believe that they are going to play the shot. So only ten of the over, so the rate will keep going up. Thirty two for three. Four overs now completed. And you can see that they're well behind the rate. And see the blue line that's appeared now as well? That's line for the, to just get a point. So if they're going to get the 95, they've got to be up with that line and above it. So they, they're below that as well at the moment. 17. It's the right they need to go out. That's well hit. That will help. It's a nice, solid shot from Gunarasa. A little bit too short from the bowler. And it gets clubbed away quite nicely. So Stanek Zai coming on to bowl now. I liked Stan Xai, first time that we saw him. It's a little bit short again now. Where's this caught him? Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ooh, la, la, la. Well, I don't know if he's bowled the googly. He might have hit the googly, though. Oh, dear. Yeah, I reckon that's clocked in you know where. Ouch. The furniture has been rattled. Ay, ay, ay. Mama. Mama, I'm in a lucky. Yeah, it hurts. We know it hurts. And the Stanix eye. Well, luckily, he's not the quickest of bowlers. But that's still going to hurt. And I think the batter is saying, yeah, A little bit of water might do the trick. Stanix eye. Another under 19. 
All right, wants to go after this. Try to get his revenge, but he'll just take a single and it'll take, take time to get to the other end. Yeah, 17, I make it. Got a birthday coming up in May as young Stanek Zai. And I like the look of him. I like the way that he bowled when I saw him for the first time on day two. Gets the ball in the right areas. He took two for 15 uh, against Drew. Got good control. All right, that's well hit though. The batter takes a gamble. Who thinks he's going to get it wide, he does. And uh, the gun, Gunarasa, he fires and he fires six. Powerful hit. So taking on the young man. And I reckon that's, uh, has that caught a bit of the tower? I reckon it has, you know. Let's have a look. We don't probably won't see it. That's hit pretty straight. Charges again. This one, it should be fielded. It will be fielded. The throw comes in. That's Zayn Ahmed. Left-hander patrolling the boundary. End of the over. Not the worst. And still looks high. And even though there was a couple of boundaries, they started with a six. And the two sixes, the rest were just singles. Gets to the 15, but not the 17 that they want. And we were having a look at this before. Let's have a look at Group B. Germany, Hungary, Denmark, Austria and Romania. Of course, we will see Romania and Hungary both here. So we'll have a good look at uh, what they're all about this time round. They're playing the ECIs here. But that group for me, I mean, most people are probably saying that Germany perhaps uh, the favourites going into it. But all of those other countries are playing some very good cricket at the moment. So another group that for me is very wide open. And that one, I think, could possibly provide us with a bit of upset. Excellent effort from Dawood Amantai again. Flying through the air as a little man. Yeah, here we go. As we go back to the live action. All right, he's up in the air. I reckon he's going to clear the fielder. Well, cease mass. Got to be brave. you got to take it on. you got to hope that you're going to get there. So a nice hit. Wax it away. Take it on the spin. you got to take on the spin. This time, slightly shorter, so it doesn't give it... Doesn't get it pitched up on Mazai. Cleverly bowled because he's basically wanting the batter to come down and get uh, Kanasane San behind the stumps in play for a stumping. New batter now this time. And let's see if he goes for the floated delivery again. Oh, loses his balance, but I think manages somehow to keep his foot down. Well, I get reckon here that Thuruk Kumaran is probably pretty good at playing twister. As he goes for the big shot. He does lose his balance, but falls over. And let's just see this here. Just gets the heel down in time. Not this time, though. And I reckon this time they're going upstairs. I reckon it could be Curtains. Survives the last one by just getting his heel down. But I reckon that uh, Kanazane has got his man this time. That could be the, the last of Thruk Kumaran. Well, it's not the first time we've seen a bit of uh, wicket keeper to wicket keeper action. And uh, one wicket keeper to another. Let's have a look at this again. Let's see. Let's see here. Does he get it down? Oh, it looks like he does make it, you know. Looks like he does make it. Yeah, so he does get the foot down before he loses his balance. This is the latest ball. So he survives. Two very similar 
Once again, he just gets his heel down in time. So 56 for three. We go back to pace and hit firmly in the gap. Six runs. Shaba, Shaba. Manos, Riva, Riva, Bidro, Iqbal, Hussain. We're just having a word there now with Malik Zada, who comes back on. Probably saying to him, hey, look, you've got to be fuller. Don't bowl it in the arc. You can see he's saying, yeah, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Shakes his head. Luxada, once again. Oh, well, he goes shorter and he's going to get the wicket. The short ball does the work. Gunnar I can't believe it. He thinks he's played another shot that's going to be going to the boundary. Well, it does go to the boundary, but it doesn't get over the boundary because the catch gets taken. He's hit it pretty well. And that's when, as a batter, you're uh, going to consider yourself pretty unlucky. Thumps it pretty well, but straight to the fielder who takes the catch. Smiles all around for the President 11. And Gunarasa, unfortunately, will have to make his way back. Mohamed Azim will be the new batter. Who comes out into the firing line. Alexander takes the wicket. And Gunarasa will go for 30. Off 13. Good catch. Taken by Rama because that was hit pretty well. So Malik Zada just saying, no, I don't want to pitch it up. And he pitches this one up, but it goes down the leg side, so that'll be a, a wide ball. So Azim. Through Kumaran now, have to try and get something going. Let's go back to the dot boards. You can see what's required here. 32. It's all there. Off the 20 deliveries just for a point. Edge. Oh, great effort. Great effort. They either stick or they don't. A superb effort. Malik Zada. He says, it's all right, don't worry, I'm used to it, I'm a bowler, it happens. Gets it in the right ear, this is a big swing, gets the edge, and I think there's good reactions actually there for Kanasane to get a glove onto that. He just doesn't want to stick. And this one should be taken, it's straightforward, nice and easy. And Iqbal Hussain, who was giving the advice to uh, Malik Zada, now helps him out by taking the catch. So after Azim got a little bit of luck, no luck this time for Thirk Kumran. Finally departs. He had a few scares with the stumpings, didn't he? So another one goes. No issues at all with the catching. Hussein makes that look easy. And Malik Zada picks up another wicket. So three for 15. We have seen one four for today. That was, uh, of course, in an amazing fielding performance from Utakuma playing for Royal 94. It was quite amazing. Not only did he take four for 23. He also took four catches in the same. I was quite surprised. In fact, I'm still amazed that he didn't get the play of the match. Gone. He's backing away and he gets cleaned up. So there you go. We do have another four for. And Malik Zada will finish his spell with four for 15. So two four for in the day. One from, uh, as I said earlier, with Ikuma. And now we see one here for Malik Zada. He just never really got in line with this one. Gets cleaned up. It's full. It's straight. It's going to be another golden duck for uh, Mahadevan. So, gets cleaned up. Really, really well bowled there. And I'm quite surprised that's going to be given. It's been given court. That's definitely bowled. 
So not sure what uh, what the scorers are seeing. It's, that's bold. Cleaned up the bales out the ground. That's left to be updated. It's been bold there. It is the end of the over though. So Mahadevan he does go without scoring. Gets played along the deck. It will be Zane does the stopping. He loves to throw it in, doesn't he? Yeah, we'll have to get that updated. And it has been updated, just as I speak, so. This is Zahiri, who's the new bowler. Zim. Uh, it's up in the air. So Mr. Universe under it and takes the cat. Dawood Umadzai helps Zahiri take a wicket. So now Zahiri, he'll pick up his third. There's the Villeneuve Super Kings. Well, they're just falling like flies here at the moment. That is the seventh that goes down. Nobody able to really get anything going. I'm going to ask Samay, 30 of 13. He was unlucky to be caught on the boundary by what looked like a good shot by Ramar. And after that, well, it's just wicket after wicket. And that's another first baller. That's actually... Another golden duck for Risa uh, Thiharan. Mm, that's well bowled, full and straight. <laughs> Have they got any chance to try and get to this 95? 29 or 15 they need. I mean, the rate isn't an issue, I don't think. But it's the wickets that have gone that are. I suppose extras will help. Can somebody, can somebody give them something? Azim can hit a ball. We know that. We've seen that from him before. Does he hold the key? Can he be the one that gets him the runs? 28. Just needs one batter to get going. Couple of sixes. All right. Now that is going to be four of us. So that's what you need. Just be... Right, I know there's seven wickets down, but you've got to believe you can get there. Got to believe you can get there. You've got to play your shots. And get this one over the, the infielders. It'll get four here. Tahiri, three for 13. Two more balls to go. He'd love to get another. Oh, that's pretty well hit, and he will get another. So he now has taken four, and with a ball to go, we could see a five-wicket haul. So another batter departs. Oh, they just keep on falling, and it's another catch taken. And this time, it's Mr. Universe again, Umadzai. None of them have been particularly difficult. Another batter bites the dust as uh, Siri Kuma Jathuroshan comes out. Well, this is the Hall of Fame of five wicket hauls. Arafat Afghan. We saw him take five wickets there in the ECL. And they're taking five wickets against Hornchurch. All right, let's see if we're going to see a, another five wicket. Ball here. Are we going to see a Michel Pfeiffer? He's got one ball to do it in. He's. So here he. And he comes. Oh, and he beats the bat. But it'll be a dot. The batter survives. But fantastic spell of bowling. Four for 13. So we two lots of four wicket hauls in this innings. Three in the day. This is. The next match that's coming up, President 
11 will be taking on Ron 94. Ron 94, remember, well, they've got the, sort of the Nelson on the board themselves. They've won one. They've had uh, one match that was abandoned, and they lost their first match here earlier today as well. So, well a big wild swing. Hussain coming back to bowl the ninth. Searching to try and get this 95 for a point. The Super Kings in the air. And it's another catch taken by Umadzai. Now there he is. There's the, the Mr. Universe. Sort of, I would say it's a it's a mini Mr. Universe celebration. So takes another one. Right, how many catches is that now for Amadzai? I'm just counting them up now. I think that's... I make it four for Amadzai. Yeah, he's taken four catches here. Nine down, so he can, he can equal the record of five, but he can't break it. 71 for nine. Super Kings. Remember... That they already on one occasion ended up with no points for nothing. Oh, that's so close to the edge of the back bat. And remember, it was Balbinions that uh, rattled off the 83 they needed in 23 balls, or with 23 balls to go to get all the points against them. And they're facing another nada nada here. Sivakuma. Rubin San Sivakuma. Playing and missing another one. This guy gave us an incredible highlight, didn't he? In the very first match this morning against Paris University. Took an incredible catch. Let's see what he can do with the ball, number 11. Oh, well, what is this about? What is this about from Hussein? And he's been so good. And then all of a sudden he fires this one way down the league side. This is an... Yeah, wait, what happens here? Look, you're bowling to the number 11. And well, that one... It's worth just having a look at the height of this. Is it, is it going to be called wides or a no ball? I'd like to see the height. Let's just see the height on it. Because that was pretty high. Yeah, okay. He's, a, he's coming down, so I think... Height-wise, he's okay. It will be a wide. Five wides, a minimo. Well, that certainly helps a little bit, I suppose. Oh, he's stepping away, isn't he? Needs to stay still. Is there any way they can get this 19? If they're going to, they've got seven balls to do it in. Siva Kuma, can he get one out the middle? Well, he has a go, he's not out the middle. It's the toe end, oh, he could be a run out. He's thrown to the wrong end, needed to go to the keeper. And Siva Kuma wants to run, and uh, I can see that the Kumar Jathushan is saying, what are you doing? You're the number 11. Why do you want the strike? I should want the strike. In the end, he does go, but he's lucky the ball's not thrown to his end. And I think bits and pieces of his protective equipment we're trying to get and uh, roll down his trousers at the same time. How about that? Two lots of fours. Four for 13 for Zahiri. And then a four for there for Milikada as well. Well bowled from those two. Walking sticks for nine at the moment with six balls to go. Oh, wouldn't they love three sixes here from somebody now? Could you imagine? I think they go wild if it happens. It looks very unlikely because uh, Sivakuma doesn't really look like he's got it in him. Um, this one will go through him as far as the dot ball. There's uh, Dewood Zai. Gets the ball the last over. So it's going to be a comprehensive victory here for a President 11. It's more swinging and missing. They will take all the points. 
And remember, we were talking about the tables. President 11 here will go straight to second spot if they get this victory here. And all right, four runs. So 14 or three if they get a point. And we'll see Vakuma. He wants uh, another highlight or two to go on his name. And this time, just defensively played. Well, oh, would have been out. Would have been out. And now they will run. He still may not get there, you know. And a better throw. We're going to have to have a look at this, I think. But a better throw to the keeper. It could have been out. I'm not really sure <laughs> what... Uh, what uh, Surikuma is up to here. Let's have a look. A good throw. He's, he's not in the picture. Have a look here. He could still be gone here, you know. And yeah, he's gone. That's it. They'll be all out. They'll be all out as uh, Surikuma Jethroshan is going to be run out for zero. So done and dusted. And it's uh, not a good performance once again with the bat for the Super Kings. This time they will be bowled out with one ball to go in the innings 81 all out they will get nothing for their efforts in this one and the president 11 is a thumping win for them and they're going to do it quite comprehensively and i think that win because they'll take all the points here will take them to the top or not to the top well almost to the top they'll be behind the greeny vipers there in second position and remember we're going to see them in action again in the next match. Again, taking on Raw 94, who earlier today I lost to the Paris University Club, trying to chase 159. They got to a 111 for nine. So that's the match that's coming up next. You can see that you got uh, Constantin coming into the side. He'll play his first match for Raw 94. And a uh, comprehensive victory. And the Super Kings, it's another loss for them. So played for, lost for. And what will hurt them more so is that on two of two occasions, they've not been able to pick up any points at all. So they stay just a couple of points ahead of Paris Zalmi. But of course, Paris Zalmi will have games on hand over them. Super Kings, though, is not the end of their day. It's been disappointing so far, but they do have the right to come back and maybe finish their day on a high when we'll see them play match number 20, the last one here today on day four when they take on Royal 94. But you look at the highlights here, and they never really got going. I mean, that was a great delivery from Zahiri, and I said then at the time, he's unlucky because if he goes a little bit fuller, he can make something special happen, and that's exactly what he did. That is a superb nut. It really is. What a delivery that is. And uh, joyful scenes as your stump comes out of the ground. Then there was a little bit of a fight back, I suppose. And uh, that one could have gone anywhere. But I think the pace bun was good. The swing of the bat and everything. And there was Amazai. Not only did he take one, but he took four catches in the end. And there uh, was able to take his team to a good victory that was a nice looking shot gives himself some room but once again the hesitant and this one this was the one that was knocked on to the bales had a good long hard look at this in the end he had to go with the umpire's call as the the camera angle wasn't decisive enough and once again one of the players got in the way but it was good work though for Kunasane. there was a good knock from Gunarasa, he played pretty well. This one, oh, it hurt me, it hurt me, because we know where that one went. But uh, he did recover. And Pratif Gunarasa, he recovered to keep on going and try to keep the fight alive for his team, trying to get them to the 95. But he would soon go. These were a couple of close calls as well with uh, the stumpings. The batter on two occasions, just managing to keep his foot in the line is... Uh, with Thrikram Kumaran, but eventually he would depart and it would be Amadzai that takes the wicket. And speaking of wickets, there were four wickets, two lots of fourfers as well. And Malik Zada was uh, the first to do it. Ebal put very, very well. And uh, creating problems.
for the batters. That's what he did. So four for him. And then this one, well, nobody saw the bells coming off straight away. They thought that was caught behind, but it wasn't. It was straight through, knocking them over. So, yeah, Malexada, four for 15. And then Zahiri, four for 13 as well. Up in the air and catching, particularly from Ahmad's eye, very good. So the captain certainly played his part. That one was a strange one as it came badly out of the hand there from Hussain. And always a run-out candidate. I'm not really sure what Siri Kuma Jathushan was doing. He could have been run out at one end. He would get run out at the other end. As a Kanasane, he doesn't miss from there. They had a look. They had a check. The umpires then said, yep, you've got to go. And that was the end of that. Let's have a look at the scorecard here. So we saw 18 from Thiruk Kumaran, 18 of 15. So he stuck around there for a while. And it was uh, Gunnar Rasa who scored 30 of 13. But once he was gone, you saw what happened. It was a collapse. And they ended up being bowled out for just 81 with two balls to go. And a victory by some 54 runs for President Eleven. That will serve them well also. And not just on the fact that they picked up all the points there, but the net run rate as well. So we have a look at the match summary. President Eleven, it ends up being an, a pretty straightforward victory for them. They'd be a little bit disappointed, I think, if they wanted to be really finicky. They'd be a little bit disappointed that they didn't fifth finish on that 150 mark. They will still have concern that uh, if the likes of uh, their key batters, Kenasane and Zayn Ahmed, don't score runs, are the other players able to get them to a score that could win them a game? So that's something that they've got to keep an eye on. So they'd be disappointed they don't go on to the 150, but they'd be very pleased with the way they responded in the field. I think they bowled well, their paces are good. Well, that's been demonstrated with those two lots of four wickets, four for Zahiri and four for Malik Zayda. But then they've got some good spinners in there as well. Stanek Zayda is good. The youngster, 17 years old. I think I love his bowling. And then you also have uh, Dawood Amadzai. So they've got some good balance in their side. And I think they're going to they're gonna prove to be a difficult team to get over when we start to see them getting better and better. But at the moment, the concerns for the Super Kings, we will see them later. Another team that we're going to see, and we're going to see them in about 23 minutes' time, is a Royal 94. They'll be on the middle here at this Drew Cricket Ground as they take on President Levin again. So we're going to take a short break here now. It gives you a chance to put the kettle on, get yourself a cup of tea, or make yourself a hot chocolate, whatever it is that tickles your fancy. But join us back in 23 minutes' time.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello and welcome as we get ready for match number 19, the fourth in the day. Well, the President 11, they got a good win there over the Super Kings, picking up all the points, bowling the Super Kings out. And uh, they'll hope to continue in this power. They've moved right up to the top of the standings now, haven't they? They're only a few points away from the top team, and they're looking to take the points away here as well. They're up against Raw 94, who themselves lost their earlier match in the day. Let's see what happened earlier at the coin toss. Royals 94 to call. Head. Heads is the call. And it's a head. Field first. Raw 94 electing that they will have a field first. It didn't serve them well against Paris University Club earlier when the, the boys from Paris put 158 on the board. Zafar Iqbal scoring a fine at 70 or 22, which earned him the player of the match. But uh, let's see how they can reply here all. They were 111 for nine. And losing by 47 runs. The batting once again and really not clicking. But uh, one man who did click was uh, Uthia Kumar. I think he was a pick of the players. He was my player of the match because he was involved in all eight of those Paris University Club dismissals. Four catches, four wickets. And then also he scored 29. And what was important about that 29 of the very last ball of the innings, he scored a four to at least get a point for his side. So he's going to have to be at his best. I think somebody like uh, Logesh Austin also has got to perform well. No real surprise that the President 11 are favourites to win this 74% to 26%. But, uh, well, one thing we did see in a lot of the days here uh, at the Drua Cricket Ground in France is that uh, teams didn't necessarily stay on a winning run. They may have won a game, but then they were brought back down to earth in the next. Will the same thing happen here to President 11? Remember, the first time we saw them, that was exactly what did happen. They won their first match very comprehensively against Zalmi, and then they were beaten uh, by Drua and also by Paris University Club. So they're looking to stay in touch and stay on winning ways. And picking up four points in that last match is certainly going to serve them well. But what about uh, Raw 94? For me, I think Kapil Raj has to stand up. And also, well, we've already seen uh, with Yakumar. I don't think he could have done it anymore. But something like Kapil Raj and maybe the captain as well, Joseph Haroon, have to make uh, some adjustments to their play and trying to get them a big runs. And maybe somebody like John Mary Elastine can also put a good performance in with the ball. And we are ready to go. Hello and welcome to everyone. Hello to Croom, Terry Richmond. And uh, nice to have you with us for the start of this match. Number 19, well, Augustine. Man that I mentioned starts to run in and doesn't feel right and pulls out at the last moment. He's going to be bowling to Zayn Ahmed to start off with, and of course, Zayn Ahmed and Lingus Warnet kind of sign it are the key batters. You want to try and get them early and taking this on, and a great bit of action there. Augustine was sort of racing, kind of signing to the other end. Well, it's like it's like Bean. At the races, isn't it? Andre, Andre, Iba, Iba, Iba. And I just get the feeling here, if he was to hit, let's see if we can see this again. If he was to hit, I think he would have been gone. He would have been gone. There you go. That's the shot for you. The photo finish, maybe. Let's see it again. He goes, it does run right across him, which means that the batter has to take a wider run. If that ball hit the stumps, that would have been the end of Kanasane. And uh, we've already been close to a a diamond duck already today and that was pretty close as well high in the air well it might not be a, a diamond but it could be a gold and the wicket keeper is going ring a ring of roses and he puts it down oh my oh my he's gone all the way around this has Indran and not for the first time early on in the innings he lets his side down just watch him here he literally does the 360. He ends up, he does, I mean, he's out the camera, he goes all the way around and then puts the catch down. You can see the disappointment from the bowler and understandably so. You'd expect the keeper to take this. I'm not saying it's easy, 
But you got the gloves on, and that's a routine catch you've got to take. Down the leg side, it will be a wide. And the wide will turn into one. So, Kanasane living a charmed life. Could and sh maybe should have been run out on zero on a diamond duck. Definitely should have been caught there by Indran. Who puts the catch down. Disappointment, really, there for Ramanan. And also for Augustin, the bowler. Beats him. Goes the wrong way. We've seen a lot of this from the batters today. Just trying to give themselves some room down the leg side. Goes the wrong way. This ball beats him outside the off. Not that far away from the off stump. They seem fired up for this one. The Raw 94. We've got two more matches. This and one more. They will play the Villeneuve Super Kings. They want a good performance here. All right, that's hit powerfully down the ground. That will be six runs. Good, firm, solid here. This time is a little bit too short and doesn't get as much swing. And Kenasane hits the, the first one. A real proper strike out of the middle. That's the first real runs, if you like. And now, looks like he's having a chat with the umpire there. That's umpire Vignesh. And looks like he needs a new bat. We've seen a lot of bat breaks here. Day four, and I reckon already we've seen over double figures in the number of bats that have been broken. And he doesn't have too many options that's coming out to him. Usually we see somebody, well, he's saying, Oh, yeah, Ikilianda, Ikanamaki Kana, Ohorni Hagi. Well, that's all you got, <laughs> and uh, that's what you're going to have to have to survive with. Question is, if that's all they got, if that breaks, what's going to happen? They're going to have to play with broken bats. You're going to sign it. Gustin wants the wicket. He's disappointed he ain't got one. He's not going to get one here. That's going to be a couple of bounces and four. And this is when Kanasane says, see, I need another bat. This one only goes for four. I need it to be going for six. An interesting start. The buzz around. The ground as well. Oh, oh. what has this come off? Is this an H as well? And let's have a look what the signal is. So it's definitely off the bat. It's been banged in. And four runs signaled. Let's see. Comes in. Gets the edge. And oh, I've got to say here, I think this is, well, you can't call it a wide, can you, if it comes off the bat? You can't call it a wide. It's def that is, well, and maybe they're saying it doesn't come off. Uh, I don't know what the two umpires are having to talk about here. That's umpire Niaz and Vignesh. I think you, umpire Niaz is giving four because he feels there's an edge on this. Let's wait and see what they decide. And still, I still believe that's one that Ramanan Indran does need to stop. Let's see if we can pick up anything here. I think it was back. And there's that movement, it goes away. So, what will they decide here? Wide, I think, in the end, being given. And also one for the over. Oh, that one gets blocked out. So, it was changed to five wides. It wasn't the bat in the end. I think when we look at it again, I think you see that it actually does avoid the, the bat. We get a chance to see the last ball. That's the York length delivery. Good block hold delivery. First over comes to an end. It's uh, 19 without loss. So a good start from President 11. Though, let's just say it's not gone all the way. There could have been a diamond duck. There should have been, probably should have been a diamond duck. Augustin missing the stunt from close range to get Kanasane. And then when he bowled to Kanasane, he should have had him first ball. Dropped by Ramanan Indran. So not helping their cause at the moment. Uh, just outside the line of leg, I think. 
We watch this again. I think this is good umpiring. A shake of the head from Vignesh. We'll have a look at this again. There's plenty of movement. It's a big appeal. There's John Murray Ellestine. Let's watch this one more time. Let's have a look at impact. Yeah, that's starting to move back into the batter. So he's going to go on and miss the leg stump. Not out is the correct call from the umpire. A lot of movement around in the field. Good movement from the bowlers as well. They are getting the ball to move around, but at the moment, they're not having too much joy. Wide ball called. Just goes a little bit too wide. Teams have mixed starts to the day. Raw 94 played match number 17, the second of this day, and they lost out to Paris University Club, 158 to 119. President 11. And there you go. That's the way to do it. Go for the stumps and knock them over. So, Alistair saying that could he be the one that makes a difference, John Murray? Well, he does get a wicket here. Well bowled. Plays it back onto the stumps. Uh, wild shot. Loses his shape. He's not looking at the ball. He'll be disappointed to get up to that. Once again, you've got to be looking to hit. You can't be looking to hit every ball on the leg side. And Kanasane is a good player. And he'll look at that and wonder, well, what am I doing? Why am I trying to hit this ball on the leg side when really I should be looking to play the cut shot or the uppercut on the, on the offside? It's a disappointing dismissal for somebody who had... A couple of lives. He doesn't make the most of them. He'll go for 11. Six deliveries. 1-4, one, 1-6. One, and he gets cleaned up there. Well bowled by John Mary Ellistone. Slower delivery up in the air. Doesn't carry. He take the single. Doesn't carry. This is Avsala that comes out. Now remember I've said before. Get... The wicket of Kanasane and Zain Ahmed early. And then you get a chance to get into, really stuck into, President 11. But you got to get him out. And Zain Ahmed, well, remember when he scored that 97 the first time we saw him? He needed at that point a three sixes in the last over to get to his century. He scored, he hit two of them. And then he needed to hit a six of the last ball and it would have been a century for him. They ran two. And he was out running for the third. Not that it was his call, but he was out on 97. But if he gets in, he can hurt you. Absal also, a hard-hitting left-hander. Better areas, outside the off. No is the call from Ahmed, and it's a good call. Absal, when we saw him in the last match, came out and he hit the ball pretty well. But this time he's got much longer to bat. Down the ground, and it's going to be four runs. Cuatro Guerreras. Goes for that same delivery again, Alastin, but this time it just a little bit shorter and a bit too close to the batter. It allows him to have a good swing at it, and of the over. So they do lose a wicket. But 32 for one. There's those standings now, so you can see... Paris University Club with their earlier wins, top five per second. But look at President 11 where they've got to. And another good win here. Could see them joint at the top. Or at least if they get a win, even if they lose one of those points, if they don't take the bonus point, they're still finishing second. So things changing quite quickly at the top of the standings. Oh, here's an, a guy that's playing his first match. Is uh, Konstantin. And he's going to start with a pretty wide delivery. And straight away, he's, he wants to push a player back. And, well, I'd concentrate on getting the ball straight first. Konstantin, rather than changing the field. Dinesh.
Mm, it's better. He does get it straight, and the fielder nicely walked in to keep it to a single. So he's given himself some protection out on the the offside to the left hander. Of course, both left handers now, so he shouldn't really want to change the field. He's got backward point back and deep mid wicket. And this is a toe end. It's going to go all the way to the boundary. Four runs. Beautiful sunshine here at the moment. The sun blessing us with its appearance and, uh, on a day. I don't know how many of you remember this. Back in 1994, the day Brian Lara made what was back then the, the highest score in Test history. So this day in 1994, he started the third day of the fifth Test against England in Antigua, unbeaten on 320. Of course, the crowd were going wild because they know they sent something special. All right, up in the air, Fielder, who was put back there, will he take the catch? Yes, he will. So, credit to Constantin. He put the man back there. He wanted him there for a reason. He wanted him there catching, and he takes the catch, so they get a wicket, an important wicket. And that is the wicket of Zayn Ahmed. So, they've done what they need to. They've taken the first two batters pretty cheaply. Ahmed goes for 15. Caught well out there in the deep. That's a really good catch. And Constantin is taking the wicket. He's bowling that big heavy length outside the off. So Ahmed well caught there by the captain, Tharoon. So now this will be interesting. Let's see how President 11 go with both of those key batters back in the shed. So Nasiri, he's the new batter, Jamshid. Oh, that's been well hit, and that's going to be four runs. He doesn't get it right, Constantine to the, the right-hander. Remember how when both these batters that are out already, Ahmed and going to sign eight. When they got out, how the rate really fell from what was the expected score to what it actually finished up with. So always it was expected to be over 150 in that last contest against the Super Kings, but it went down. They eventually finished in the 130, 135. And now the same thing could happen here. So they still need President 11 here a good knot. And this is going to be a good test for them, I think. Because if you lose those Openers early. What can they get up to? It's nicely played. They're taking on the field. In comes the throw. Goes for the direct hit. Is really well backed up. Is not. If that's not backed up, that could have gone all the way to the boundary. Yes, I was talking about this day back in 1994. So Lara was on 320, and the crowd, of course, were getting ready because Gary Sober's record 365 was at stake, and and of course. Uh, Gary Sobers actually was at the ground as well. That's a big wide. In fact, it, does it get on the pitch? It only just. And uh, there was a manic pitch evasion when he got past that record. Sobers himself also made his way through the melee to congratulate him. But six runs later, Lara did edge the caddy and was out for 375. And he played a lot of shots like this, did Lara, of course. Famous lefty himself. Well, that's been smashed. That's a biggie. Nasiri, good shot. And uh, that innings, that 375 was 538 balls and was over 766 minutes, including 45 fours. That's the end of the over. They finished 50 for two after three. Of course, Lara made plenty of other records. And uh, just six weeks later, remember, batting for Warwickshire against Durham. Lara made 5-0-1 not out, the highest score in first-class history. Then a full decade later, after Matthew Hayden had beaten that 375, once again against England in Antigua, Lara posted 400 not out. And uh, the first test cricket quadruple century. Yeah, Brian Lara, wasn't he an incredible athlete and player? That's a miss. Mistake, and that will go to the boundary. So they've got to 
They've got to back up the bowlers here now. Deraw 94. They, they've got themselves in a good position in this match. Couple more wickets and they can really restrict. They don't want to be leaking runs, especially boundaries. Out to mid-wicket. will just be a single. Fielded by Constantin. I wonder if they go straight back to him. Manus is saying, I'm back. Hello, Manus. Good to have you back as well. Just flicks that away. That's a good shot. Good awareness from Afzal. And this is where uh, I think I was disappointed with Kanasana getting out to this ball. He was trying to whack the ball over the leg side boundary. You don't have to just step away and flick it over the infielders, whether you're playing the cut or the uppercut. Uh, cleverly played by Afzal. Gets an opportunity, gets time to be out there. Let's see if he can make it count. Augustin, still wicketless. Well bowled. That's nicely bowled. Well, it's a bit unlucky. It doesn't make the stop here. Not sure why. Abzal after me, complimenting him for the way he's played his few shots. He's starting to move around in his crease there, trying to get funky, trying to put off Augustin, who does the right thing that keeps it nice and straight. And it gets blocked out. Shot, gets a wrist involved, and that's going to go a long way. But Nasiri liking his input so far. Marnas is saying he likes his technique. Looks like one of the better techniques in this tournament so far. Hasn't had a lot of time out there, Nasiri. A lot of the batting from the present 11 has been courtesy of Zayn Ahmed or Kanasane. So, yeah, I agree, Marnas. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, but let's see if he can make it count. Let's see if he can go on and put a good score on the board. And that uh, will sneak in. That will be the end of the over. A good, good finish for Augustine, but he does go for 35, a little bit expensive. 66. Two wickets down. Some other things I can tell you is that on this day, back in 2017, Portuguese superstar Cristiano Ronaldo becomes the first player to score 100 goals in the Champions League with a hat-trick in Real Madrid's 4-2 win over Bayern Munich. I think a few of the uh, Sky Blue supporters won't appreciate me talking about football or the Gunners either. As both Man City and Arsenal are lost out in the semi-final state of the Champions League. A disappointment, I think, for both of those guys, especially, I think, for City, who dominated most of that game. But Real Madrid... They always find a way, don't they? They always find a way. The same way the spiders here always find a way to get into the headset, get into the, the microphone and everywhere else. Uh, taking a little bit of the pace off. And a man who was sensational earlier today, Uthaya Kuma. Sensational in a losing cause. Not often that you say that. And uh, we've had... Three bowlers today that have taken four wickets. Uthaya Kuma was one of them, took four for 23. In the loss to the Paris University Club. And in that last match from President 11, it's a nice looking shot. Fielder's got work to do here and deals with it nicely. Yeah, from President 11. I'll watch out for, the, for, uh, for them. We saw Zahiri and uh, Milkizada. They were in fine form, both taking four for so. I think we'll think Dan Oros, the ECM photographer, has got a nice shot off all three bowlers. And who knows, there might be another one. Gives himself a bit of room and misses out on the shot. I think, I've for what I'm seeing, I 
When he stands still, and we can say this about a lot of cricketers on the European Cricket Network, when he stands still, he's pretty effective. When he's doing things like this, he's not effective. And he's, I mean, why is he doing that? What's the need? Why, you know, we're not, there's no need for it. Go, stay out there, enjoy yourself. The sun is shining. Why would you want to get yourself out and then be sat on the bench watching when you could be out there playing? Because you're in no trouble at all. Just stand still and play each ball on merit. Just like that. And that gets clobbered many a mile. Manasiri. Big hit. Shaba, Shaba, Kinna, Zona. Shuka, lucky. Well, that one's ended up in the marquee. And with some of the gear, I would imagine, of the, the Super Kings who are probably there somewhere. Probably sorting out some tactics for their last match today, their third. Remember, them and Royal 94 play three matches. This one is going to be a bit lucky. They're going to go for two here. And though it's a very good throw, it's worth having a look at. They will have a look at it. The keeper likes it. So let's see this time if Romanan Indran has managed to get his man out. The two batters don't seem too worried. We'll have to slow this right down. Let's see if this bat is down in time. I don't... Okay. I th it goes down, then up. Now, this is an interesting one, but that tells me he doesn't make it. That tells me he's gone. That's a really, really good throw. That's going to be out. That is out. So there's silence and shock to the left of me as the President 11 can't believe that they've run themselves here. They want to take the two on. He wants to get back on strike. And Nasiri, who is batting so well, I have to say, he gives his wicket a go. I'm going to say this again. There's no need for it. There is no need at this point when you are batting so well and so far ahead to be taking a risky second. So he gets run out with a really good bit of fielding, though. That's a good bit of fielding. Good bit of fielding, gets the throw in, and Roman Anindran doesn't have too much to do apart from just getting, knocking the, the stumps over. All right, so another good batter makes his way. That means that Arun Rama goes out. Rama's probably good at okay technique. It's not the not a, a hard hitter, but you don't particularly need that. 76 for free halfway point. Avzal is hitting the ball pretty well. Right, what's going on here with the umpires? I don't know. I've missed something there. Something's happened. All right. So Avzal has to stay there now. He doesn't want to do anything silly. And Ramar can certainly stick around and support. All right. He hits his high, hits it big, and hits it for six. There you go. Stand and deliver. Avzal. And, uh, that's a nice shot. That is Avzal. That smashes it away. And Ramar just watching on the other end. This is Joseph Parun, the captain. He's coming on to have a ball now. Same area, but doesn't quite get this. Oh, almost a catch. And without knowing, yes, the throw comes in. Without knowing, he does save the boundary. It's a very good effort from uh, Kapil Raj. We'll see this again. Throws himself at it. And what he doesn't realize is that his leg just there, after the catch gets spilled, does save the boundary. And Abzal gets a life. Now he swings this one away. I, I think Abzal is a sort of batter. We have him, we all have him in our clubs. He's a sort of batter that if you said to him, Ram then are Ram Ram, you don't have to go crazy. Ask the, ask the. He don't listen. You can tell him, take it easy. You can tell him, we don't need to do this. I think he's the sort of guy when you need a runner ball of 10, he's still trying to hit sixes. And that's the way he plays. 24 of 11. Rama Arun getting ready to face his first. He hits it in the air. Fielder comes across. Holds on to the catch. So it's going to be a first ball up for Arun Rama. I suppose 
If nothing else, he doesn't waste too many deliveries. It's either hit out or get out. So he goes. Nice catch taken. And the captain, Tarun, takes the wicket. Let's have a look at this catch again. Coming in, is dipping in front of him, gets the safe hands to it. That goes right into the palm of the hands there from John Mary Alistin. Another one bites the dust. And it's in the golden. There's been a lot of ducks here today, haven't there? Yes, uh, well, one of the four wicket heroes, Zahir Zahiri, gets an opportunity with the bat. And he goes for a big swing. The wicket keeper asking the question. Let's have a look, shall we? Why is uh, Ramanan Indran is pretty excited about this? Let's see about this foot then. So, is it, are we going to see another golden duck? That means he could be in a hat trick. So, does he get the foot and the heel down here? Let's see. And for me, is there any part of that behind the line? I'm saying no. I'm saying no. I'm saying there's nothing past the line here. I don't think he's made it in. That shot for me says out. And let's see what they decide here. But I don't think there's anything past the line. I think this could be out. Let's see. Yeah, he's gone. Well, there you go. Now, there was an appeal. There was only the appeal from the keeper. Nobody else too excited about it. And you can see there, once again, brilliant work from Spring Media. They show you the conclusive evidence. That is gone. So this is now two in two. So Zahiri goes first ball. See the foot? There's not, nothing past the line. So I think that's the right call. Zahiri now goes. He goes for a golden. So he's going to go. We saw Champtez Singh in that European cricket in Portugal. He took a hat-trick for Marlow. Are we going to see another here? So this is a hat-trick ball. Joseph Tharun, the captain. Bowling to the captain. Amadzai. So the, the two captains. And Amadzai gets beaten outside the off. 85 for five. So we're seeing President 11 once again struggle. Scorecard tells you the story. Kalasane, who scored a half century in the earlier match, gone. Zain Ahmed hasn't really clicked yet today, gone. Nasiri run out unnecessarily for 24. He's still got Afsal out there. Now, Afsal has to bat sensibly now. He needs to be thinking, I've got to bat at least for a further 18 deliveries. If he gets out now, I reckon that Raw 94 will really fancy themselves to try and contain to a score about 110. All right, here we go. Uthi Aikuma. Gets this one through. Tense. Tension. In the air. And doesn't carry. Good stop. From Kapil Raj. He's been good, Kapil. It's not quite there for the catch. But he makes sure that ball doesn't get past him. Captain. Back on strike. Dawood Ahmadzai. Oh, well. Swing and a miss. Another dot. Uthaya Kuma. Quality from him. Push that. No run. Dot ball. Things are changing. The last over started with a six, but then Tiki Taka, two wickets. This one. Tiki Taka, Tiki Taka, Tiki Taka. It's another dot. Just a single from the over so far. So once again, President 11 
Showing they have trouble when the wickets go early. And there's another one as Dawood Ahmadzai, the captain of President 11, will make a five ball duck. An easy, straightforward catch taken. And once again, it's Uthiakuma that makes the difference. What an over. What an over. He's not going to drop that, is he? I'm not dropping that. Raja Lingam. Now we'll take a break from the proceedings for a moment and have a look at the, the Premier Division of the, the European Cricket Championship starting on the 23rd of September in Spain at the Cardamova. Speaking of Spain, Spain, Switzerland, Belgium, Malta and Finland. Group C. What are you thinking, people? What are you thinking? I think... Any one of those top three there, Spain, Switzerland, Belgium, could go through. Anyone. Absal is still there. All right, but for how long? Is he going to get lucky here? Yep, Bermuda Triangle. They're coming back for two. Here's the throw. Ooh, they'll get two. Absal has been joined there by Malik Zada. Can they get Absal here without him scoring too many more? Firmly hit. Just be a single. So Alexander now goes on strike. That expected score coming lower and lower and lower with almost every over that's being bowled. Almost with every ball that's being bowled because they're not going to the boundaries anymore, are they? Nick is saying, no, it's called Nick, that Derek is kind of busy, maybe looking for overtime payment. I think it could be right, Nick. Goes for the big shot. Malik Zada misses it. And stumps get knocked over again. Pressure, pressure, pressure. This time the foot stays down. Ramanan Indran. Also has got better and better as this match has gone on. Started shaky early on, didn't he? Mm, there's another dot. Uh, just let's just have a look. The last, the last over, of course, only went for one, and it was a wicket there as well from with the Akuma. This one so far has gone just for three. That one might be a wide. Yeah, it will be. And I think uh, the captain. Tharun saying he just uh, lost his lost his footing or something there where he landed all right crunched and that's a great catch it's taken uh, yeah you're out he says oh yeah get there he got out of Kapil Raj takes the catch uh, he's been very active in the field as Kapil Raj we've seen him make some good stops and goes for the big shot Malik Zada, he too will go for a duck. He's going to go for a three-ball duck. Oh, dear. Well, just have a look at this scorecard. We've seen a duck from Rama. We've seen a duck from Zahir. Both of those were golden. We've seen a five-ball duck from Ahmadzai, the captain. And Malik Zada gets a three-ball duck. So another duck. <laughs> President 11, they are falling like flies. Of course, we know that duck is very tasty here. Uh, the confit de canard, slow cooked duck with the meat so tender it falls off the bone. Okay, this one should be okay as it bubbles away. Three for 14. Tharun, well polled. 91 for seven. Alexander Kapil Raj removes him. Tharun takes another wicket. And just look at that. It's like a it's like we've been well we mentioned Switzerland in the European Cricket Championship. That's like a, a sea slope, isn't it? It was talking about the Confit de Ganard, which was once a method of preserving meat or vegetables before the existence of refrigerators has become one of the most famous French food preparation methods. The confit process produces juicy tender meat with crispy skin. 
which is flavoured by salts and herbs. All right, well, this one, there's no danger of anybody catching. Has been hit pretty well. And a nice hard hit by Rahula Mangal. The Rahula Mangal, one of two of the Mangal brothers. Well, that's what I left. Be a wide, a stint coming back. They say it all happens in the night. Will it happen in the night? 98 for seven. Rahula in the side. No Ramatula though, not available today. Backs away. Yeah, backing away, he's got to go to the ball. Get to about, can you get to about one? Say you expect to score at 117. Get to that 110, 115. Oh, well, are we going to have a game on our hands here? Once again, backing away. How many times do we see for this from batters? Always going away from the ball. Look where he's standing here. Look where he ends up. Got to go to the ball. Got to go to it, not away from it. All right, high up in the air, catching opportunity. Well, somebody's got to call it, and wrong choice for me. That's the wicketkeeper's catch, but the wicketkeeper has to pause, has to stop because he sees the fielder charge again. I think that gets called by a super scar, and he goes for it, but puts Mangal down. Mangal dropped on seven. The keeper, I think. Would you like that? Yeah, it's a good stop. Acrobatically done by Elliston. 100 is up. You delivery this, the final. Off this over number nine. And hits it. And it's going to be six. Bolle, 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 brrrr. Kinna sona ke wa ke henia. Lisa golpe muy dulce, mas dulce de tarta de chocolate. And Rahula Mangal, well, he's living dangerously. He's had a life or two, but he clobbers that pretty well. Six runs, end of the ninth, 106 for seven. All right, we're in the last over. Can they have a push on here and say get to a 120? President 11. Or will it be a good tidy finish from Royal 94? Constantin. To bowl the last. This one is going to be a wide. Wide ball to start off with. So Constantin playing with that line a little bit. And that's going to be another wide. So Abzal has been there, but he's sort of been kept off the strike a bit, hasn't he? Well, that one's okay. One thing that, yeah, you can see the umpire just having a chat there with the bowler saying, no issues with you coming that way, but I don't want you standing and finishing in front of me because I can't see a thing. Dot ball after two wides. Get the feeling there'll be a huge swing here from Upsal. That's okay for me. And... You can see, yeah, Mangal is going over to Absal and saying, Yar, ki kar da tu? Ki kar da? Eh, mi hili janda, mi turi janda, ki kar? Stay still, stay where you are. Stand still and deliver, get bad on ball. So two wides and two dots, so make some ends. Does Constantine. Well bowled. Well bowled. Three dots. And I think he's being told one more time here about Winfield. Let's have a look at this. So, Pauls 
And yeah, he just stands right in front. The thing is, though, there's actually no need for it because when he actually bowls, he's actually where he needs to be. If he just carries on running, he'll be fine. And that's going to be a wide, and they will also rotate the strike. So that could work out in favour of President Eleven. I think he's going to now change his angle. I think he's signaled to the umpire, I'll try coming over the wicket because he's a bit, because he's wary of ending up in front of the umpire, he's going to come over the wicket. So 110 on the board. There's still three balls to come. Um, Rohahula, Mangal. Let's see how he deals, says Constantine. Oh, does the right thing, gets bad onto ball. I think that's probably what he was trying to say to his partner, Absal Hates. Don't just swing and miss. If anything, get bad on ball. Oh, this one. It's that sort of score, everybody. It's golden ball territory, you know. Golden ball territory. Oh, absolutely. You remember the way he started? Made a few good shots, and then he just, oh, he's fallen asleep. Has he got a big shot left in him? 111. They're not going to get to that 120, are they? Expect to score 112. I reckon they get more 112. What do you reckon? Go on, I'm taking on the computer. And they will get more than 112. He'll get four runs to finish with. 100. And a 15, I win, I win, na, 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 na. Well done, good hit, 115. Is that sort of score, everybody? I'm excited about this match. I reckon this one is going to be a humdigger. It's that sort of score. We're in golden ball territory. Raw 94, though, once again, have exposed the weakness of President 11. Get the earlier batters out, and then they struggle. Remember at one point, they were on course with the... Expected score to be once again around that 140 mark. But as soon as that top order went, they struggle and get well short of that. They don't even get to the 120. And this was a bit of explosive action. Wrong shot there play by Kanasani. And he'll be disappointed with that because he can play shots all around the ground. That was a good catch. Well taken, well judged. And that was the wicket there of Zayn caught by Tharoon, the captain. And there were some big hits. And then there's some important moments coming out. That one there was one that we first had a look at. And he was gone. There was no need, really, to go for this. And yet he's dis disappointed in the series because he was batting well. And a few people in the chat were saying that he was looking decent. Uh, Manus liked the look in the series. Gives his wicket away. And then there was, there was that uh, the stumping, wasn't there as well? That was a great catch, by the way. I really like the work that was done out there by all the fielders. A couple of Raja was good. And this we had a look at a few times. That was a couple of Raja again. Look, going for the catches. If it's not on, he was stopping them. And this was a disappointing five-ball duck for Amadai. But the ducks did line up. When you have a look at the scorecard, you'll see it. There was four ducks on the spin until Rahul Amanga came out here. This one should probably have been the keeper's catch. But he goes with the fielder that calls it. That's running in. And unfortunately, though, it was a sub Baskar Couldn't hold on to it. This one was a nice hit from Rahula. He gets a six. And then there, right there towards the end, it was Absal who did manage to get another boundary. He'll finish on 32 to the highest scorer after Nasiri. And uh, Rahula Mangal, he put a good show in there as well. But finishing below par but there's those four ducks on a spin two of them golden a five ball duck and a three ball duck and the other thing about that is is that's ten balls ten balls that get chewed up and when you're not scoring with ten balls mm, now that hurts you and that's why i think you've seen that score 115 three wickets there for the captain joseph Tharoon. i also think that uh, once again no surprise with ayakuma bowled very well again and watch out for him with the bat giving themselves an opportunity here to register their first win in the day president 11 though will want to make it two wins out of two for them this one is wide open and i don't know about you folks but i have got a little bit of a tingle going on here join me back in about 10 minutes time to see how this one finishes match number 19.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello and welcome back, cricket lovers. And I'm expecting a very exciting finish to this match, number 19. President 11 have been restricted to a score of 115 by Royal 94. So the Royals really have an opportunity here to notch up a victory. Are we going to see the same from President 11 as we did the first time we saw them? When after a comprehensive win on that day, they then lost the next two matches where the batting didn't click. And today could be the same story. They batted pretty well against uh, the Villeneuve Super Kings, 135 to 81. But uh, in this one, they've struggled. Just 115. Just saw the bonus point equation there. That'll always be on your screen in brackets after the actual target. One thing that uh, President uh, 11 did do well, they bowled very well, didn't they? They had uh, two bowlers, Zahiri, who took uh, four for 13. And also, Milik Zada took four for 15. So, this... Bowlers to have to contend with straight away for Raw 94. But if they can get off to a good start, then they're always in this constant, in this uh, contest. Uh, Ramanan. Indran is the opener. And a uh, guy that I liked the look of earlier. Loyola, who played some nice shots in the last contest before Loyola Alexandra got out. You're hoping that this time he can stick around and not give his hook it away. So here goes. It will be Hussein with the first bowling form umpire. And he has his end. And white ball first up. For Hussein. So first runs on the ball without any effort at all. Welcome to everybody in the chat and uh, lovely having you with us. And that's up and that will go. I think this goes all the way, you know. That's six runs. And gets a good chunk of this. A good start. Gets a wrist involved. Uh, Roman and Indran. So first runs off the bat. Six of them as well. Very quiet and composed at the moment. Royal 94. Not that far away from me. Sitting to the left of where I am. Okay, goes for it on the leg side now. And this one also will be, I think, another six. Yep, six more. The umpire, Niaz, yeah, just getting confirmation from the square leg umpire who follows this all the way around and over the rope. Six more, back-to-back -back sixes. So, Iqbal Hussain, who gets given the ball ahead of Malik Zada and Zahiri. Having it all his own way. Ooh. Catch goes down. It's a drop. Should have had the wicket of Indran. Gets put down. It's not a bump. It's in the air and down it goes. And look at uh, Umadzai. Holds his head. That's Zahiri. Ooh, how important is that one going to be? Indran gives the chance. Doesn't get taken after hitting two sixes. And now he rubs it in. He says, where's the salt? Let me rub this in nice and proper. A little bit of masala. And that is six more. Three sixes in the over. And Zahiri will be feeling this. As I just noticed there, as Dawood Umadzai just took a little look at Zahiri and says, see? Okay. 19. Two balls to go. What a start. And he goes after this one and gets caught a wide. Ooh, Niaz stretches his arms. Let's have a look. I think it's close. 
And how close? Not a wide for me. Not a wide for me. I think that's going over the line. So the second wide. Over has gone magical. Still two balls to come. And that's it. Ooh, let's have a look at this one from Niaz. See here. Oh, they're not wides, you know. That's that's disappointing. That's two now. That really, I think, catching the line. Tough calls going against the President 11. And that one goes through the hands of the fielder. It will go all the way to the boundary. And then the fielder suggesting it goes over him. But uh, I reckon we'll see this again. I think it goes through him. Let's see. Yeah, that's not over. But it does go quickly. And whether that's a chance or not, I don't know. But this over has now gone magical. There is still a ball to go. It's the perfect start for Raw 94. Oh. This one is straight at the body. It feels that he's missed out on this one. Ramanan Indran, and I would say he probably has 25 off the first. It's a magical start. We haven't seen too many good power plays, it has to be said. But that is a good and 80 matches since the goal of the ball. There was me saying that I felt a little bit of tingle about this one with that score on about 115. But with that start and the rate, this goes to just over 10 and over. So definitely in the driving seat. And I was having a look there at Umadzai, just wondering whether he was going to go change it straight away, maybe put a bit of spin on, but no, he doesn't. And what he does do, he says to Zahiri, Ale, do you want to catch short here? Ale ball, or the wicket le? So Zahiri, be nice to get the wicket after putting the catch down. Let's see, he's going to be starting bowling to Alexander. And he gets played away, that's going to be four runs. Goes for the Yorker, just over pitches it. He still had to get bad on this, Alexander, because if he doesn't, I think he would have been absolutely plumb, because he's right in front of his stumps. He survives, he gets four, he gets off the mark. Loyola Alexander hits his first ball for six. Zahiri. That will be wide, there's no doubt about this one. Gets a fair bit of swing. I don't think he should shy away from going full at the stumps. I mean, I know that Loyola got that one away. I think you can set a field for that. Loyola will be looking to go that way again if he's full. He's got two men straight at the moment. High in the air, gets it over the fielders to chase his on. And makes the stop. It's uh, the captain, the winner Mudzai. Liking the start this from Raw 94. They've decided they're going to go for it. They're not hanging around there. They're going out there like they're not chasing 115, like they're chasing a 130, 140 score, and I like that approach. Down the leg side. Another wide. You don't want to be bowling wide. You don't want to be bowling extras here. I think if this doesn't work, does he go to Malixada? Or does he say, right, my seamers are letting me down this time. I want to go for a bit of, bit of spin. Perhaps himself, perhaps Stanek Zai. Okay, miscue, but he gets enough of this. And well, that's enough. That will go to the boundary, four runs. Cuatro Carreras Mas. Nothing going in the way of the present 11 at the moment. Well, I'll look at that one more time. Let me see where this lands. Four is signalled. Let's see where that lands. Okay. I think it probably lands just before. I don't know if it touches the rope there at all. I think four probably is the right call.
Firmly hit. Nice pick up from Fro. He just not being able to get the Yorker just right as he's here. He's overpitched both of them. All right, let's see how he goes here now to to Indran. No third back. I think Indran is not he's not going to stop playing shots. I think he's going for this. Uh, yeah, I'm a die. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, good. He spots that. He had too many out. Backward point now comes in. Sweeper on the off and long on back. No run this time. Dot ball. 13 off the over. 38 with that loss. Need a breakthrough. Need it quickly. The rate has come down below the, below the 10 mark. Fura can't get there. It's a Gundy ball down the leg side. That's going to be four more. That one go for 17. So we've had a 25 and a 17. Score moves into the 40s. 42 without loss. And it's keep going like this. Who knows? Maybe they're eyeing up not just a win, but all the points here. And this is the way the team starts. So as I said, present 11, good opportunity to go into second and maybe a big win for them. They could have gone joint top. But uh, look what could happen if it's a win that goes the way for a Royal 94. They go to fourth. And remember, they also have one more match to play here today. That is against a team that's been struggling. Uh, Villeneuve Super Kings. So they'll fancy themselves here. Fancy if after starting the day with a loss against Paris University Club. They'll fancy coming and finishing with two wins, especially if they get this one. Loyola Alexander just checks his guard. And they will try the other pacer, Malik Zada. Oh, that is right in. Oh, they're taking it on. And that's really sloppy. That is really sloppy. And he's asking the question. I reckon it's always going to be too high anyway. But you got to feel the ball. So that's always going to go over the stumps. He's appealing. And there's no point having a conversation. Pick up the ball, man. Pick up the ball. And the batter say, well, if he wants to have a conversation, well, pull up a chair and have a chat with the umpire while we'll take the leg by. Alexander now has to bowl to Indran. Plays to the the offside. No run as Amadzai charges in. I need to fight back to get into this match. And get the feeling that he himself may take the next over after giving each one of his seamers a chance. I was saying didn't work, went for 25. Zahiri went for 17. Malixada. Uh, there's no third back there. And if you don't have the third back, you're going to be leaking runs. There's a little bit of vortex. He's going to go <laughs> suck the ball in. Bowling pace. And bowling ball that's moving around outside the off. Got to give the bowler some protection, otherwise you're going to leak runs. I just don't know if two men straight down the ground is the right field to these guys. All right, here's that move now. So long off comes in. A wide third being put, put in. All right, here we go. And can't get there. It's a matter of inches. And everybody's heart was in their mouth. Will he take the catch? Won't he take the catch? It goes, it goes, it goes. And yeah, six runs. Nothing that the fielder can do about that. And you can see Amadzai warming up. Minixada. It gets straight to the fielder. And that's out. Is this out? Is a direct hit. 
And they say, come on, let's feel the ball. This is going to be so close. Watching it live, I'm thinking he might be gone. Watching it live, I think he might be just a little bit slow. Let's wait and see. It's a direct hit. My first response was that he's gone. Let's have a look at this. He starts to go, gets sent back, and gone. Yeah, I was right. I just had the feeling that he doesn't make it back. Sometimes a moment of magic can make the difference. Is that the moment of magic that gets President Eleven back in this contest? They needed something. It should have been put away, really. He hits it straight at the fielder, Indran, and that fielder then fires it in, knocks the stumps over. That is out. It's a magical bit of fielding. Great work. Really good work. And uh, that was Zahiri. Wow. Uh, how big a difference could that make? The first wicket goes. Zahiri's direct hit removes Indran. 36, though, of 12. Well batted for him. He's put his team in top position. With Yakuma, it's the batter who comes out now. High in the air, could be two and two. All the pressure on the fielder. Who puts it down? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Rahula Mangal, who normally, he and his brother, the two Mangals are probably the safest fielders in the side, and he puts down an absolute sitter. Well, well, well. Down it goes. And how do you can't believe it? Look at the captain Uman's eye. He wants to say something. He decides. No words needed. That is huge. That's it. Uthia Kuma, you give a life to. Gets dropped on zero. Barahula. Ooh, la, la. Down it goes. What a sitter. Well, after what a run out, after some brilliant fielding, we see some sloppy fielding. And just look at the captain there. Doesn't say a thing. 54 for one. Don't forget that uh, they themselves had a great start. As that gets that's nudged away, they will probably be thinking about two here. And they take it on, and they'll get there quite comfortably. Yeah, the line for light power play scores probably had them on your screen there. 54 for one compared to 50 for two. So you can see just how the innings of the present 11 slowed down. But we know that's the case when they lose their top top two or three. The same could be the case here for the opponents. That's uh, played away to Zahiri. But they're not going to take him on again. He's already shown what he can do. No run this time. Steve Bush is saying, how can you drop that? Steve, tell me about it. Okay, straight down the ground, but doesn't really get the power on the shot. It will just be a single. I mean, nobody drops them on purpose, and I think those of those of us that have played the game, and myself included, we have dropped some sitters. You don't mean to do it. Maybe sometimes they're the the harder ones, the ones that you think are so straightforward and so easy. Captain, I would say, trying to get his team back in this it's hit pretty firmly but once again it's a single so every time that ball is not going to the boundary then I think President 11 getting himself back in this Ahmadzai just checks his field This one through, dot ball, well bowled. So just four off the over so far. It's a huge comeback. Remember, the Akuma was dropped. Taking it on. Take the single. 
but they won't mind that. It's just a single, just a five off the over. Amadzai, the captain, fighting, fighting hard. 59-1. Plenty of wickets in hand at this moment in time. They themselves, President 11, was 66 for two. The halfway point score was 76 for three. And then things went badly wrong. Scoring just 39 in the last five. Doesn't quite get the middle of the bat. I suppose this is where now, with the pace off and the field back, you could get yourself back in here. The young Stanix eye gets given the ball by the captain. See if he can spin his team another wicket. Oh, winds up hard. And looks like he prefers a bit of pace in the ball, doesn't he? Loyola hasn't quite got going yet. 13 of 7. And Xay again, this time. Just a single. So, look at Amadzai. He's the forever moving the captain, moving around, sprinting around. Well, bold son, he says to Stanek Zay. Ooh, there's the traditional, authentic French cut. Good bit of team fielding. Nice flip back. Good throw. He'll take the single. Few changes again. His left and right combination. Remember, one more match after this one. It's played nicely along the ground. And remember, we also have a special guest who will be doing the honours of the, the coin toss. Uh, Maria Helena Kornu, who is the General Secretary of Cricket in New Caledonia. It's obviously a French state. It's a big throw. So, oh, this is how evenly poised. Probably for me, just still ahead are uh, the Royal 94. As I take the opportunity to welcome you once again into the queue, wherever you're tuning in from around the world. Well, this is going to be a tight one. Trying to get themselves back in the match here, our Royal 94. But, yeah, I mean, look out for the, the coin toss that will be coming up. We do have a special guest, Maria Helena Kornu, who is the General Secretary of Cricket in New Caledonia. It's uh, obviously a French state where I think here the uh, everybody in Drew are very keen to get cricket started there as well. So uh, Helena will be out there for the coin toss. I'm doing the honours with Charles Croucher. I'm a tie. Trying to get another good quiet over in. Just moving his field around here. Time-wise, just keep an eye on the time. They've got about 15 minutes to get the, the four overs in here. With that one being a wide, that doesn't help. Look at the percentages here. Firmly hit. But well fielded. And in comes a hard throw from Zayn. Zayn Ahmed. He'd be disappointed that he hasn't been able to click today with the bat. He's only really had one innings worth talking about so far here. And that one is in the slot. He gives that all the leverage. So... It's been a time coming. Remember the way they started the first three overs off the seamers. Plenty of runs, plenty of boundaries. 
Well, that's the first one that's come in a while. And you can see there, Alexander gets down on one knee and gives it a good old thump. I'm a die. Let's see what his reply will be. Probably the quicker one. It's shorter. Gets worked away. Doesn't quite carry to the fielder. Will just be a single. Now, once again, field has to change. For the right hander. Edge and the chase is on. He's going to go to the boundary. That's unlucky. Really unlucky, Amadzai. Bowls a good delivery, finds the edge. Hay mucho suerte ahí. And uh, with Taikuma, more luck going his way. After being dropped by Rahula on zero, very first ball. Place this into the ground. We'll just take the single. They don't have to go too crazy, and that's the thing here. And uh, they deal with Amadzai pretty well. Amadzai will go for 20 without taking the wicket of his two overs. 80 for one. One thing, though, unless this over goes crazy, he will at least be picking up a point. So that's something. But 36 in 24. Royal 94 looking to come back strong after that defeat in their first match here on day four. And then they uh, will be eyeing up another victory against Villeneuve Super Kings. Floated up by Stanek Zai. So sticking with the spin here at the moment to see if he can just get the breakthrough. You can see that they're feeding. They want to get this breakthrough here. Stanek Zai may be the one that's able to get that for them. It's a bit of a full toss. It will bounce once on the way to the fielder. One more. They'll take this at the moment, I suppose. If they're just taking singles off the spinners, even once Stanek Zai is done, the rate required will be around 10. And then you can go after the seamers again, which these two seem to be more suited to or prefer and the seamers uh, even though all three have had an overreach none of them really impressed that much chance taken what a great catch from the young man 17 years old that gets absolutely thumped back at Sajid Stanek's eye and Uthiya Kuma who survived her first ball drop from Rohula they will depart. I suppose the, the thing about that is, all right, I know he was dropped, but he hasn't really hurt them, has he? He scored only runnable 15. So let's just say he was out first ball. Another batter could have come in and blasted it all over the place. But that's really well bowled. Really, really well bowled. So Stanek Zai, nicely done. Gets the wicket. Oh, that's well bowled. Look at the spin on this. Watch this spin. That's really well bowled. That one's too short, but he gets away with it. Gets away with it. Gets a dot in. Look at this. This is outstanding figures. And well bowled. Sajad Stanek Zai, 17 years old. And when his team are up against it, he produces bowling figures like that. One for eight. Really well bowled. Get a chance to see. A bit of fielding off his own bowling after a, a great caught and bowled. So just the two off it. 82 for two. 34 of 18. And who does he call upon here? So he goes with Rohula. Mangal. So, doesn't want to go back to Hussein Zahiri or Malikada. He'll go with somebody new. Rahula to bowl. 
Okay, that one's good areas to the lefty. Gets a bit of bat onto it. He'll just be a single. The rate, by the way, remember it was around about the nine. Well, it's gone. It's got, what's that? Eight one point. It's gone from eight to 11. But you have got the seamers back on now. And that means that you're, you might get just a little bit more on the bat. A little inside edge or an edge. That would help. And if you do hit the ball well, it will go. Mangal. And it's in the air. And oh, no. Never. Never. What is going on out there? Now this time is Arun, Arun Rama. This is straight at him. It is straight at him. He doesn't have to move. And he gets it completely wrong. Worse still, it goes for four. So Elastin now gets a life. That. Now, is it outside the line of the stumps? The umpire says it's out. Oh, well, the umpire's got it. it. There's nothing wrong with the length. The umpire has to decide here if it's hitting the stumps or not. It's a tough call. And the umpire has to make it with the use of no technology. Let's have a look. And he's saying that that is going to go on and hit. I must admit that I'm going by the angle where the bowler's coming from. So I'm having a look. He's coming from look, around the wicket. I reckon it has to do an awful lot from around the wicket. For me, that ball is going on to miss off stump. That's, that's my, that's what I'm seeing here. But of course, the umpire out there in the middle has to make the decision. He takes a long time. So credit to the umpire. Umpire takes a long time. He processes it in his mind. He believes is out. And so that's one that could go in the way of the present 11. So after getting lucky and being dropped to an absolute sitter, Elistin will go. And goes for that one lucky four that he hit. Four in four balls. LBW to Mangal. Are oh, they getting back in this? Oh, that's high. It gets hit away. Now let's have a look at the height on this one. Let's go over to uh, our production partners. Spring Media, have a look at this. Let's see. Is it on the way down? No, that's a no-y for me. It's got to be called. It's a no ball. It's too high. There she go. No ball. So free here coming up. And it's going to be the set batter that's going to have a crack at it. You've still got a good batter that's come out there, by the way. Kabul Raju is at the other end. Smashed. Four runs. That's been absolutely clobbered. <sighs> Just when you think things are going to go back in 50-50 uh, territory with that uh, LBW's decision game, President 11 way, then Rahula Mangal bowls no ball, and uh, the batters cross, and then a set batter, Loyola smashes it down the ground for four. 93 for the three. He drags this out to the field on the leg side. The thing is, though, with the catches that have been dropped, the other problem's been there, especially with that one there from the man who was out there on the field. Who was it? I think it was, yeah, Arun. The ball also goes for four. It's, it's you know, if you, if you drop it but stop the ball, it's different. But to give four away as well, especially in a game tight like this. Rahul Mangal, can he finish well? And the answer is no, because he'll get carted for a big six over extra cover. Bolle, bolle, bolle. Boom, boom, boom. Shakalagia. Oh, yeah. Boom. Shakalagia. And that is exactly what was required there for Royal 94. They bring up the 100. So needing just 16 runs. So that over, it looked like it could have been the ideal result for a present 11 but it goes for 18 in the end and it's the no ball that hurts you the no ball batters change a recognized batter hits a four and then the extra ball also gets smashed for six so 10 runs really that should never have happened
All right, Hossein, who started poorly, gets another chance. And he'll start with a wide. And also, he's got to start running in front of the umpire. Mm, the umpire, Niaz, will have a chat with him. Yeah, there you go. Niaz is saying, now look, I'm not wearing special glasses. I can't see through yet. A wide. 15 of 12. Look where he's standing, by the way. Uh, Calves is away. It will be just a singer. Now, this is where they have to walk hard now. I know that Kebel Raj is a pretty decent hitter of the ball, but I think you've got to try and maybe think, let's try and save the sing. I would, at this point, be tighter. I would have more bodies inside the 30-yard circle because I'm just thinking, all right, they need 14. So I've got to try and save every run I can. They're still keeping three out on the leg side of the boundary. There's no short mid-wicket. There's nobody in close on the offside to stop the single. They don't necessarily need boundaries. Now, what's this going to be? Wide signal. That's not clever bowling. So, it's uh, short over the head of the batter. Wide. They're just losing it here. President 11, the same way they lost it with the bat when they were batting there. Only scoring 39 in the last five overs after a good start. There was 76 for three at the halfway point. Okay, fielder coming in. Can he take the catch? No. Or does he hold on to this? No, I don't think he does. I think it bounces. It's another drop. And who is that? Is that, is that Rahula Mangal again? I think it might be. It's another drop. So Kapil Raj gets put down. Yeah, it drops. I thought for a moment he picked it up cleanly on the rebound. He doesn't. So Kepo Raj drops another. Swing and a miss, stop ball. Got to try and take it in the last. Can they take it to the last? 12 required in nine deliveries. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Another miss. Now, why is the wicketkeeper just rolling this way? Hold on to the ball. Hold on to it. All right. Now, you'll see Kapu Ra just having a chat there with Loyola and saying, Loyola, you do realise that we're needing, or we got to a point where we needed about seven and over. You swinging and missing has taken that up to nine. Play smart cricket. And he does play smart cricket. He does get bad on the ball this time. He takes a single. And I reckon here now that is the last ball of this over. 11 in 7. Kapil Raj is going for a big hit. He's got nothing to lose here. He'll still have the recognised battle on strike for the last over. He's got nothing to lose. Go for it and go for it big. And he does, and he won't get there. That, no, 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 no. Oh, that's a tight call. That's a really tight call. I have to say here that I think the umpires have got this wrong too many times in this innings. This one is not a wide. This is going over the line. Oh, that's In fact, that might even be inside. That's a really tight call. In a game like this, that hurts you. In a game like this, this has been tight. There's been about three calls that haven't been good calls. There haven't been good calls. I think the umpires have had enough time to get this right and they haven't been able to. Not a good call. Yeah. 10 in 7. And, well, maybe that's a little bit of justice. Gets a dot ball in there. I would have hated that extra ball to have gone to the boundary because ah, there's been too many of those. It's something I know that uh, a lot of work is being done on. So, we go to the last. Ten off six. Ten off six. A big conference on who's going to bowl it. Who's going to bowl this last over. Now, they've got options. You can go to Zahiri or you can go to Malikzada. And looking like they're 
going to Zahiri. Both Zahiri and Alexander, remember, did bowl and take four wickets in the last match. Good over that, by the way. That last one from Hussain. Because he's entering his first one for 25, only six from it. All right, in the last 10 of six. Oh, that's well bowled. Is this Pat? Is it Pat? They're asking a question, and he's gone. And if that was Pad, then I've got no issues with this one. It's full. It's straight. And I reckon that's going on to the stump. So now we, it's a real twist here. Ten still required of five deliveries, but a new batter will go on strike. And, well, Loyola will go. He gets a little jabeard as well. Interesting to see this again. It's definitely, it, I reckon he's gone here. There's no bat. I think that's out. And then watch here in the appeal. Well, the batter gets a little, 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 little unintentional slap, kind of a send off. No complaints there from Loyola. All right, here we go. Roger Lingham. Oh, it's another dot. It's another dot. 10 now off four. Got to be getting bad on the ball. Got to be getting bad on the ball. You've got to be thinking about this. Got to be thinking about this. And really, if they lose this match, they will go back to even when you have a couple of Raj out there and uh, Loyola, and they were trying to smash the ball for six when they could have done it in singles. And now he's gone. Oh, what a finish we're going to have here. Zahiri knocks the stumps out of the ground. Another one bites the dust. He's still trying to smash the ball for a boundary. So it's going to be a two ball duck for Roger Lingham. And now it's 10 required of three. The off stump has been rattled once more. And Zahiri smashes the stumps out of the ground. And look at this. What a match. What a finish. 10 Runs in three balls. Pressure on the new batter. Uh, it wasn't quite a golden, but it was a duck. It was a two-ball duck for well, Ingham. All right, here we go. Who's come? Okay, now this guy, hey, this guy hit two sixes, his first two balls, by the way, in the last match. So it ain't finished yet. Let me tell you, it ain't finished yet. As uh, Subaska comes out. Hit it well. Gone! And it's Amadzai takes the catch. Mr. Universe trying to stop him if you can. He's still going. Under the, under the, under the, under the, under the. Well, what a finish we're going to have here. There's three wickets in this over so far. Wicked dot, wicked, wicked. And now Zahiri, the man who took four wickets. In the last match, four for 13. He's on a hat trick. There he goes. Let's go with Amadzai. <laughs> stop him if you can. Eventually, he does stop. Oh, well. Now, this next ball just has to go to the boundary. It has to go to the boundary. This is a golden duck. <laughs> so, Subasco so will go. Hat trick ball, by the way. In the air, chance, hat-trick opportunity, take it, we have a hat-trick, we have a hat-trick. Zahiri has taken a hat-trick, he's taken four again, this time four for 17. I can't remember the last time I've seen a bowler that's taken back-to-back -back four wickets. Well, it's happened here, you've seen it here for the first time on this European Cricket Series in France. And just like that, Royal 94, who look like they had this win sealed, have thrown it away. They have thrown it away. And full credit, though, to President 11. Somehow, somehow, they are going to win this match. I can't quite believe it. There was 15, 16 runs needed off the last 12 balls. Golden Duck.
And you know what? With a ball to go, Zahir Zahiri has taken four for 17. In the last match, he took four for 13. He's on for a fiver. Oh, he gets played away. But it is going to be an incredible victory. Just look at the scenes out there. This is an incredible victory. And you know, I tell you something. To all of you that watch it, especially all the youngsters around the world, the moral of this match, the moral of this story is, no matter what, never give up. Even when it looks like it's not possible, even when you think it's impossible, never give up. Because that is quite incredible. That over has gone wicked, dot, wicked, wicked, and then one. It was almost a quadruple wicket maiden, but they will get one right there at the end. I mean, I'm saying they will get one. I was so excited to see what was going on. I don't even know if the bat has actually bothered to complete the run. It's not come up on me scorecard just yet, but what I can tell you is the next match is going to be the Villeneuve Super Kings taking on Royal 94. Royal 94, though, they're going to have to brush themselves down and find a way to come back from that. They're going to have uh, under or just about 15 minutes to do it in. That is going to rattle them. That is going to shock them. And maybe that is something that's going to work in the favour of Villeneuve Super Kings who are searching for their first victory. What a match, everybody. What a match. And you just thought that they had it in the bag all the way, Raw 94, going into the last 12 deliveries. They only needed 16, but there was still, that's the thing, they were still trying to belt the ball to the boundary. You didn't have to do that. And they just lost wicket after wicket after wicket. And then that last over from Zahiri, well, quite sensational. Just the one run, but four wickets. So they finish 107 for seven. A win by eight runs. Can you believe it? Well, I've been watching this game for a long time and it never ceases to amaze me some of the things that you see. Well done to uh, President Eleven. I also want to say, look, a big shout out. I mean, obviously, I think Zahir Zahiri probably will be the player of the match. But for me, you know what? A lot of people are going to say, Rico, what are you talking about? For me, the bowling of that young man there, Stanek Zai. Remember, he did it when they were on top. He did it when they were looking comfortable. He picked up, I think Stanek Zai in the end, I'm just checking here because I know uh, Zahiri will be the talk of it, but I think he bowled two overs and only conceded eight runs or one wicket. That was at a time when they were well on top. So Stanek Zai certainly could be the player of the match as well. And they will go for Zahiri, I understand it, because that last over was quite exceptional. I don't think you're going to see things like that again here. But I think if it wasn't for that spell there from Stanek Zai, 17 years old, only conceding eight runs when they were well on top. And he and his captain also, who went for 20 of his two overs, just meant that they were going to take this game deep. But Raw 94, what can I say? you got to play smart cricket. you got to play smart cricket. If you don't play smart cricket, then you will lose your way and you lose the match. Well, you, we almost lost uh, Amazai as he kept on going, going and going. He finally does give the ball back to the umpire. But how about this? Just great cricket, great excitement, cricket entertainment. That's what we bring you. It's a frenzy of action, entertainment and excitement and unbelievable stuff. Remember Zahiri, his first over went for 17 and he comes back and bowls that one when he takes four wickets for just one run. Also, don't forget, Iqbal Hussain, he came back and bowled the ninth over and only conceded six after his first over went for 25. What a match. What a bit of excitement for you all here. It's quite incredible as we have a look at that scorecard. And we've seen a scorecard like that before, though, haven't we? Uh, Raman Indran, 36 of 12. Loyola Alexander, 32. And the other thing I, I want to say about that is that President Eleven it didn't have things all go their way. Don't forget, there were some some wide calls there that didn't go their way. You know that could have changed the way the match went. I think uh, 
Iqbal Hussein held his nerve when that wide was called and he had to bowl an extra ball, but he got the dot ball in, didn't he? So he, I think fair play to them. Even when things didn't go their way, they held their nerve and got a win. What a win that is from President at 11. So congrats to them. They will win both their matches here today. It'll see them move to towards the top of the table. Next match now becomes quite an important one. I think both these two teams are going to be feeling it. Royal 94, they did lose earlier to Paris University Club. And then when they thought they had that win against President 11, they lose again. So they're not in the best of form. And if you know Super Kings, you know about them. They've lost four of the top, but they will be feeling, look, if we're ever going to get a chance to get a win when the team is down, this could be it. So that one coming up in under 15 minutes time. Well, I'm going to take a short break now and probably uh, get a few uh, lozenges down my throat after that excitement and come back to talk you through the final match of this match day four. Match number 20 coming up in around about 15 minutes time. Hasta pronto.
This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello and welcome back. I hope you've recovered from that last match. What an incredible match when we saw a Royal 94. They looked like they were going to win. They needed just uh, 16 runs, didn't they, of the last 12 balls. But they didn't get there. They lost four wickets on the score on 106. Thanks to an incredible bit of bowling from Zahir Zahiri. Now, we know that Zahiri took four wickets in the last match. Well, he did it again. He took another four, including a hat-trick. So we have a hat-trick here in, uh, in this beautiful ground in France in Drew. Exceptional match. And that means that this one now really becomes a must-win match for two teams that we know we're going to have three matches here today. The Villeneuve Super Kings up against Royal 94. One of them will get a win. Which one will it be? Remember that the Super Kings haven't had a win at all. The coin toss is coming up here. And I want to invite Maria Helena Cohen, who is going to be out there. Now, this is the General Secretary of Cricket in New Caledonia, which is, a, of course, a French state. And they're looking to introduce cricket there. So it was great to have Helena here. And she was out there with Charles Croucher. Let's join them in the middle for the coin toss. Royale's 94 to call. Heads is the call, and it's a head. Well done there to Maria Helena Konu, of course, the General Secretary for Cricket in New Caledonia. Lovely and a pleasure to have you here, and uh, thank you for doing the honours for the coin toss for this, the final match on match day four. Uh, Villeneuve Super Kings are taking on Royal 94. Question is, I mean, the Super Kings have had time to adjust to another couple of defeats for them. Raw 94 haven't had a lot of time, just about 13 minutes after they lost that incredible match. I mean, what do you do? I mean, things like this happen in sport, don't they? In all sports, you have shocks like this. But how do you get over it? And how much time do you need to get over it? And anyway, they need to get over it pretty quickly as we get ready to go here. Now, this is what the win predictor is saying. That it's going to be a pretty close one. But it is Royal 94 that are only just 54 to 46% the favourites to go on to win this match. So, we're getting ready to go. The umpire's out there. We've got uh, umpire Ashok and Vignesh uh, in the middle. Captain will open the batting again. Two teams in yellow. We've got the yellow and black and yellow and green. And it starts Augustine with the dot. So Royals winning the toss and wanting to field. They want to want to chase first this time. I suppose they wanted to try to limit the Super Kings to a low score. Okay, what can Subantaran do here? Oh well, is he going to get lucky? Yeah, he is. It could be. I don't think he's quite a Baximo. Yeah, it is a Baximo. It does go all the way. So Baximo to start. Uh, Subban Thiran gets going. Can he make a difference in this one? We know that both these teams, it's probably fair to say, both these two teams have struggled with the batter, especially going well at the top of the order. So Thirik Kumaran has joined... Super three run out there. That's a glorious shot. That one will go all the way. Monos Arriba. Arriba, Arriba, Arriba. Well, get under there. Go on, get in there. And uh, do it uh, doggy style. Sam Williams to get underneath the, the little platform over there to get the ball. They come on down on all fours. There he goes. So, big hit. Six runs. On all fours. This one swings away viciously. Augustine. Yeah, Sam Williams is up there with our scorers. Doing a grand job. We've got Nilkesh there and Marzi. And Ravi. Joe Foster and a day off today. And Andy O and Alistair who were with us at the beginning. I have already 
made their way as well as Vinny Sand. It's a little bit high, but we'll see it side on. Might be, might be just dipping as this one comes back. A lot of people coming back into the chat after that crazy match. Well, what do you make of it? And what a match is what Trip was saying. Nobody gave him a chance. Let's face it. Come on, nobody gave him a chance. And that's a beautiful shot. Timing. Timing is everything. What a great shot. So, Subban Tiran looks like he's uh, saving the best to last. Hits beautifully through it, doesn't try and hit it too hard, holds the pose, and uh, six runs. Good start. It's, this is all about character now, isn't it? It's all about trying to adjust. 20 coming off that first from Augustin. When you lose a match like that, it takes a lot out of you because you, you need a lot of positive people to try and to try and forget about it. And, and sometimes it takes time. These guys haven't had any time. They've got right back out there again. They're still hurting. Okay, that one is going to drop safe. As uh, Thiruv Kumaran gets off the mark. He's quite happy probably just to take the single. So Thiruv Kumaran hands the strike back to, to Subban Thiran. Just got a nice, nice warm cup of, I think it's the old, uh, the green mint tea. And have a little, little slurp now. Maybe after this ball. All right, doesn't really know too much about this. And he could be in trouble. He will be in trouble. Catch, catch taken. So the captain makes a start, plays some nice shots. But Subantin Ryan goes, doesn't have to go charging here. Doesn't have to do this. Why does he want to play the Hollywood shot? It's not the ball to do it in. It's a heavy ball. You're never going to make good contact. I, I, I understand wanting to be positive, but uh, positive and kamikaze doesn't quite go. So it's going to be the end, especially when you know you haven't got too much depth in the batting. I think if, you, if you're a team that is stacked with batters, you could probably turn around and say, well, it's okay. I you know, haven't chewed up too many balls, scored 20. Somebody else will come in and take over. They haven't got that depth. So Kepil Raj holds on to the catch. Well, that's a good delivery. Nicely bowled by Saji. Walks back to his mark. Sivakuma is the new batter. Okay, works this around. Fielder's giving it chase. Will he get there? No, he won't. So, Cuatro Guerreras. Kianthan. Sivakuma works that away nicely. Gets four more runs. Having seen Raw 94 struggle in that run chase, I get the feeling here that they're probably feeling if they can get to a 110 sort of score, that much gets played away. I don't mind that. and I'd rather you play the ball like this rather than charge down and swing hard and hope for the best. As uh, Subban Thiran did, the least he plays that, he guides it down to third, takes a single. Mariathas. That one probably is too wide and well called. Good call by the umpire. Straight down the ground. Chase is on now. Won't go to the boundary. You can see that uh, some of the some of the the batting signs shining two 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 two. I think lead the calling up to the men in the middle. How many times have we seen the uh, the team bench shouting something out and the batters doing it and then getting into trouble, getting themselves run out? 
If it comes to an end, 28 for one after two. Have a look at the standings. Look at the difference that makes. Royal, they lose the opportunity to get into the top three. And look at President 11. They do go second. So their work in the day is done. Winning. And winning both their matches as well. Against the Super Kings. And now against Royal 94. Nice shot. Nicely played. Thiru Kumaran. We know he can do it. That's the thing. They know they can do it. Maybe they're just taking the time to adjust to this format. But that's a nice looking shot. All right, time for a sip of my tea. Keep talking about it. It's getting cold. That's nice. That's nice. The sun just disappeared for a bit. So a nice little sip of cha. That's what you need. Constantin. Bowls a good heavy ball, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he's one of those bowlers that likes to bang the ball in hard. That one's angled in, but it's going down the leg side, and that's quick hands from Siva Kuma. He works that one away. Four more. And uh, oh, I'm not sure what's going on over there. Well, I reckon that uh, the President 11, they're just enjoying themselves over there at the moment after that quite crazy win. This one will be four more, not quite where the batter Siva Kuma wanted, but it's a little bit short. Uh, swings hard and gets it away. So, cuatro más. Constantin. Has to try and get that ball pitched up every so often as well. Edge got oh, puts it down. Ramanan Indran, he's had a very mixed day. And let's just say he's put more down than he's held. This one is a straightforward catch for a keeper. Got to be taking those. Look at the way he tries to snatch at it. Goes through, goes down, and at a, a dismal period out there in the middle. For all, 94 continues. That one should have been should have been taken. It gets dropped. And more disappointment for the Royals. The catch goes down. I suppose does finish pretty tidily. 14 come from it. And Siva Kuma gets dropped and gets dropped on 13. Nice shot of the ground. If the sun starts to come down, sort of comes down around about, if you were looking at the screen and the eight o'clock there, around about four o'clock. It's more luck, more suerte. It was Siva Kuma. He's been dropped. He's played a few shots like this where he's found the edge and it's flown over. But they're just not deploying the third back. And teams are reluctant to do that here in France, I've noticed. If you've got bowlers that are bowling fast and getting the ball to seam around, and Roger Lingham is another one that likes to do that. Give them protection. Get that man back. Oh, it's worked away nicely. That's going to be four runs. Bangs the ball in. It's short of delivery, but this time he's a little bit straight. He's right at the batter who is plays quite an exceptional shot, actually, Ziva Kuma, because he's batting outside his crease. So this gets banged in. He's right at him. But he just works it away. 50 comes up now. That one might be a wide as it's not taken by the keeper who, well, the body language to me says it all. He looks like he's just fed up and had enough. 
Yeah, he's uh, walking around just trying to motivate himself. He's uh, pretty disgusted with himself, really, if he watches again. This is not the easiest one, but look, it comes out and look, just tells the story, doesn't it? The way his shoulders drop and he walks away and saying, ah. And now, we we'll back backs away. Not sure what's happened there. Looks like he's been attacked by something. He says, oh, Macharagia, Machar. Maggie got a Macharagia. And the bowler is saying, Mirata, look, Asura Macharagia. Well, he said, I'm more worried about the Machar than the, the, the Grizzly. So that one will have to be bowled again. Umradalingam. And doesn't quite carry. Just drops short of the bowler. They'll take the single. So Sivakuma gets to the other end. And Tirukuma Ran gets a chance. And uh, back on this day, we, I mentioned earlier about Brian Lara. On this day was the day that in 1994 he scored a 375, breaking the record of Sobers to their joys of the crowd there in Antigua, where the Sir Gary Sobers was actually there to congratulate him as he passed his record. But also on this day, but in 2017, is the day that Krista Gale became the first to break the 10,000 run mark in T20 cricket. Goes for the shot. Nobody back there. This one will be one bounce. Four runs, cuatro carreras. Oh, they are at the power play, but they're leaving that part of the ground to uncover the body language. Not good, really, here from Raw 94. I think they just, they're feeling the hurt. It's hurting that last, that match. And if you, if you missed it, you've got to go back and watch match number 19, President 11. 115 on the board. Never thought it would be enough. Royal 94 were on top all the way through. Then they needed just uh, 16 for the last 12 balls. It was a good over from Hussein. Kept it nice and tight. Only gave six away. So they needed 10 of the last. And then what happened is that uh, we saw that uh, Zahir Zahiri took a hat trick. Took four wickets for just one run in that over. And that was that. It was no win. And they are still hurting from it. Raw 94. And the Villeneuve Super Kings are looking to make the most of it. Yeah, so Chris Grell is the was the first batter to break the 10,000 run mark. T20 cricket. He did it when he scored the third run off his 38 ball 77 against the Gujarat Lions in Rajkot. And, uh, what a character. He was Chris Gale. Right, 58 for one. Once again, nice day. It's been a lovely day today, actually. I know that sun's not been out all the time, but when it's out, it's been very pleasant. And uh, it's made a change from some of the sort of the, the rain and the consistent showers that we've had the first few days here. You never know what the weather's going to do. Full toss, but catchable if you can get there. And, oh, no, never. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, all right, it's great, great effort on the catch. But, well, Logesh Augustine, look what happens next. So the catch goes down, but then he sort of slaps it over the boundary. Look. I oh, no. You know when it's not going to be your day. And that sort of sums it up, really, doesn't it? It sums it up. This one is playing with a line, and wide has been given. A wide ball. That's better delivery. Good comeback from Uthi Akuma.
Moving the field round one, he wants an extra man out there on the leg side in that short mid-wicket area. Still leaving square leg vacant. And all right, teaser again. And this another one gets dropped. And this one, I think, gets dropped over for six. We'll have to check this on the boundary, though. This is Constantin, who's coming across. Not easy. Once again, it's not easy. Same as the one that Augustin puts down, but... Yeah, six runs. So another one gets dropped. So batters having some luck at the moment. 69 comes up on the board now. Goes for it down the ground. Surely this time it's taken. Yeah, it is, finally. And you can see hardly any celebration at all. Sivakuma does depart 33 good catch taken right in front of us here by Kapil Raj takes his second catch actually Kapil Raj so he's certainly holding on to them it's a pity that the other guys are not he earlier took the catch to remove the captain Suvan Thiran and now he gets a, another decent grab uh, Sivakuma he parts with 33 or 14 balls. Thaikuma flights is up and <laughs> doesn't fancy getting hands onto this himself. He sort of dances all around it. I think he does well not to put a foot on it. So, Pira Bakharan who comes out next. Oh, how's this miss? How does this miss? Indran doesn't make the stop. It gets past him. He's having, he's having issues, isn't he? If he looks like a guy who's about to give up. As once again, it's on the fingers. He doesn't make the stop. I think he's expected it to hit the wickets. That's why he's not making the adjustment. Five overs completed now. 71 for two. And a beautiful picture as well. A lot of people still saying, where are we? Where is this being played? I can tell you, we're in France. And uh, this, we are about one hour away from Paris. Uh, west of Paris. In the area known as Drew. Of course, many of you will know the Drew Cricket Club because they have played in the European Cricket League and back in 2023, they were the champions. Skies it. Catching chance. Down it goes. Another one that's straight in and straight out. This time it's Roger Lingham who puts it down. No, oh, it's just not happening, is it? It's... A big hard swing. You can look at the batter. The batter knows he's gone. He's not expecting to get a chance. In and out. So, Taruk Kumaran. Oh, he gets a... It's lucky 13 for him because that's what he gets dropped on. Need a break, don't they? They need something to go their way. That's firmly hit, and that's not going to go their way. That's going to be four runs. Cuatro Guerreras. Nice, positive hit. Well, he's been given a few chances, says uh, through Kumaran, and he's thinking, well, might as well try and make the most of them. And that one gets smashed away as well. We're in the, the last match as well, and quite often here we talk... We have some random questions as well. Any random questions you have, you can fire them away. And we have some food chat as well. Nice stop. Nicely done. There's, uh, that's all you'd expect, really. Boom, Uthiakuma. Captain. Tharoon 
Picked up three wickets last time. All right, this one should be another, and it will be. So, once again, very flat out there. No real celebrations. Nobody really coming together, not coming in a huddle. It's almost like they just don't want to be around each other at the moment. The, the captain's got to try. You see, when a wicket like that happens, the captain who's bowling here just got to get them around. Say, come on, everybody. Come in, quickly. Come in. Let's have a chat about this. We're feeling bad. How do you feel good? Go out there and win a match. Win the next. And that's what he's got to do. Joseph Theroux took 3 4 17 against the present 11. Let's see if he can do it again. So. Fifty fifty here at the moment, according to the win predictor. Just not interested, is he? Have a look at the wicket keeper here. Just not interested. Head is down, he's walking around. It's almost like he's uh, I think I mentioned before, it's almost like he just doesn't want to be there. So this one is just head goes down, he's just I think one of the fielders is just having a chat with him, say, Hey buddy, what's up? Come on, head up, head up. We can do this. As we look at the ground once more as the sun starts to come around. There's the scorecard there for you. So the first three batters are making an impact. Remember that uh, the Kumaran is still there. 19 not out, going strong. New batter, uh, Gunasara, has just come out. Had, have had troubles themselves getting to schools in the, in the 80s and 90s. So... Verna of Super Kings are looking to make the most of this rather flat and deflated Royal 94 side. And that will help down the leg side. Would have probably been a wide. But uh, the Kumaran says, I'd rather have the runs. Thank you very much. And it's sort of like a, a one handed slog sweep that will go to the boundary. Listing. He used to get it outside the off, doesn't it? John Mary. Short gets the swivel on this and gets the out. Oh! Ooh, and gets a hook shot in. Four more. Wrong areas completely. From John Mary. He's going down the leg side. And he's playing and bowling it to the strength of the batter. So, Tadek Kumaran says, yeah, I'm liking it there. He moves on to 29 of 13. And just look at the expected score here now. For the Super Kings. It's another one that he picks this time right off middle stick. A little bit too short. It's another boundary. In the 90s now. The Villeneuve Super Kings played for, lost for. Two of those four they've lost. They've picked nothing up from it. They're smiling. They're happy. They're looking to capitalize at the moment for a dark place that Royal 94 are in. And all 94, they're not coming together as a team. And as a result of that, they're allowing the opposition to have the upper hand. One-handed shot. Gear, gear, gear. Shaka. Look here. Six more. And this over he is going magical. Four, six, four, six. The Rukumaran. He joined himself. And this one's a tease. That's a long way up. They haven't caught well. And there's another one that goes straight in, straight out. They think about going back for another. Decide not to. And that's Kapil Raj. Well, he has been catching well. He's taken two. But he doesn't take this one. It's another drop. And, uh, well... Tarukumaran, he's had some luck. Now he's dropped from 39 by Kapilaraj. 
Michael finish with a dot ball almost catches that off stump. Well, we've seen that off stump fly out the ground a few times. Uh, if that got hit, that would have gone out the ground as well. Right, 99 for three. As we take a look at what's happening tomorrow, Parazami, a team that are sitting at the bottom of the stat. They get an opportunity to come back tomorrow. Three matches for them. We will also see Drew Drew play three. And Sussell is a team that excited us yesterday. Are going to be back in action as well. Five matches tomorrow. Day five coming up here in France. This magnificent Drew Cricket Ground. Ooh. Well, this is pretty close to going back onto the stumps. And the batter does respond well. Captain Tharoon again. All right. Another catching chance. Will they take this one? Yes. Well held. Nicely done. Under pressure. So that's Loges Augustin who did put one down earlier. So well done to Joseph Rooney. Takes his second wicket. And still though, they're just not coming together as a team. Wicket gets taken. They seem to be just standing where they are as a new bat comes out. Well held. And finally, after all the chances that weren't taken, they remove the batter that just, well, just had a way of staying in there. The Rukumarani will go for 40 of 18. And it's a good opportunity here now to put the squeeze on. Because we know that uh, the Super Kings, they don't bat deep. We haven't really seen a lot of batting from them. We, it's the first time, actually, that they've now got to 100. Before now, the highest score that we've seen them score was the 98. Swing and a miss. It's another one that gets through Romanan Indran. Zim is the new batter that comes out. Okay, hits it. The top corner of the bat. They go one. They want to go the second. They will get there. In comes the throw. Chased hard. So new territory here for Vilno Super Kings. They're in the hundreds. Where can they finish? To remember, I did say that if they can get to that. The one tenth sort of score, they'll fancy themselves because they have fielded and bowled pretty well. And they have caught really well. Shot, waits for it and executes this shot beautifully. What a lovely stroke that is. It doesn't get carried away, doesn't go charging at it, plays it on credit, goes down, holds the pose. And it's smile please, click, 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 lovely shot. Beautifully played, and that's a lovely shot of this ground as well. Looking stunning under the sunshine. 109 for four. Still 12 balls to go in the innings. Being pretty consistent, being pretty steady. Remember, started off with the magical over. Gustin went for 20. Thayakuma will come back on to bowl the, the ninth. Gets dragged onto the leg side. We'll just take the single. 110 now does come on the board. So they've already got to the score that I thought would be maybe could be a challenge for Royal 94, especially when you think the way they collapsed in that match against President 11. We also saw them only get to 111, chasing 159 against the Paris University Club. Uh, up in the air, catching opportunity and taken. So, Joseph Tharoon, the captain, he doesn't let his side down. He holds on to the catch. Once again, very little celebration. In fact, none at all. As Uthia uh, Kuma. Picks up his second wicket. That's going to be the end of 
Azim, who will go for nine. New batter is Mahadevan. This one goes straight through. Once again, it goes straight through Ramanan Indran as well. We'll just settle, I think, just to take the one by. Field gets moved around here now. So we've got, what, nine balls to go, 111 on the board. Goes for it and gets his big Shaba Shaba. Kikrande ke waake henial. Here's the way Saiz Carreras. Well, that one's right up near the trees. In the conquer trees behind me here. I know a few people remember the old conkers. There you go. Well, be careful if you're under those trees because a few conkers might fall on your head. Yeah. A lot of people I'm speaking to here have no idea what I'm talking about when I talk about conkers. What about you, you folks in the chat? Conkers. You used to play conkers, and what was your what was your trick to keep them hard and solid and win those battles for you? Inside edge, chases on. They will look for two, and they should get there quite comfortably. Oh, conkers! And wasn't it really sad? You know, when you had a winner, you had a winner, and you thought, right, this is my favourite. I'm not going to get beat, and then. You get beat and the conquer get destroyed and you'd be all sad and think, right, I've got to find another one now. It wasn't always that easy, was it? Conkers up in the air. Fielder comes in and he's not going to take it. Never really gets in a good position. And the batters will take two. So. Kunurasa gets a life. Uthi Akuba disappointed. The catch hasn't been taken. Not the easiest one, actually. The fielder who was charging in, he never really got there. That was a super cigar. Gets hands to it, but doesn't take the catch. These are the, the bowlers that have been used so far. So, with Yakuma, should have had three. Could have had four, actually. Two for 24, he's bowled well. Captain Joseph Tharun, after taking three in the last match, he's taken two in this one as well. But now they know they've got some work to do here. 121. Still six more balls to go. So it could be a could be a 130 something score. And if it goes terribly wrong, it could even end up being in the 140s. Does well here. As Mahadevan just gets a little bat onto it, just pushes this, gets himself off the mark, and hands the strike back the Gunasara. Yes, it is Saji who's going to finish off here. Didn't bowl a bad first over, just went for eight. Picked up a wicket as well. Don't be down. They're looking for two. I like the fact that they're looking for it. Two teams have got a yellow, but I think the brighter yellow is probably that of Raw 94, they're, they're the, the yellow and green. Slightly, I suppose, duller shade. A tranquil shade of yellow from the Super Kings. And they've got the yellow and the blue. And Dave is saying he had a 64 win conquer at school. Okay. What was So what's the key? Was there, was there a secret to keep it? You know, to keep it a winner. I know some people will say that they used to soak it in vinegar. And didn't how many? Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, does this hit the helmet? I think this hits the helmet. Let's see this again. I reckon this hits the helmet. This is five runs. Let's see this again. You know when your day can't get better? Ramanan Indran is at Amir. Watch this. He has literally... Yeah, that hits the lid. That's five more. 
Oh, my word. He is having a mere. He really is having a mere. That's five. That hits the lid. So, and we saw the replay of that as well. So, I reckon that. Let's keep an eye on this. First of all, it's catching opportunity. And uh, Uthia Kuma, he doesn't drop him. So, that's going to be the end of Gunarasa. So, he'll go for 13. But there was five penalty runs for the ball hitting the lid. And once again, it was a keeper, Ramanan Indran, who, like I said, is just having a shocker. He really is. He looks like a man who doesn't want to be out there. And he literally throws that one onto the lid. So that's going to be five more to go onto this title. It's going from bad to worse. And uh, that has gone on to the scorecard. So the extras goes to 10. That, that five doubles it. So it's caught 129 for six with one ball to go. And they're just going to have to run hard here. They'll take one. They'll come back for two. In comes the throw. And can Ramanan finish the innings on a high? He's at a miserable time. I think he will. I think he gets his man here. So Gunarasa gets one, but he won't get back for two. And finally, something does go the way of Ramanasa and Indran. And that off stump, once again, is knocked out of the ground, as I suspected it would do. So they get to 130. As the real nerve Super Kings register their highest score by far in this series so far. 130 for seven. So 131 are going to be required here for a Royal 94. I have to say, though, they're going to have to come out there with a different mindset and a lot more positive than the way that they went out there in the field. Look, I can understand it. I really can. You know, they're really still hurting from that loss against President 11 when they had it in the bag and threw it away. But this is a different match and you've got to try and come together. That's one thing I didn't see. I didn't see them coming together at all. We saw seven wickets fall there. All right, never mind about the last one. They never came together. They never supported each other. Then nobody ever tried to support, uh, support one another. Well, that was one they got threw away over the boundary. It's just been a difficult, hard time. This one he thought, I'm gone. Nope. The catch gets dropped. There was a lot of that. A couple of in fairness. He did take most of the catches that come his way. And uh, I think I like the approach of Joseph Tharoon as well. And though he played well himself with the ball and in the field, one thing he wasn't able to do as well was just get the team to rally around him. Uh, he couldn't get the right response. And I think, as I said at the time, the Villeneuve Super Kings, they would have seen this as an opportunity to try and bounce and, uh, you know, jump all over Raw 94 when they were down. And they did just that. So they get 130 on the board. And this was the one that went for five. You just know it's not your day when that happens as well. And uh, Ramanan Indran, he's, uh, he's going to go back <laughs> today. And he'll be wondering, do I really like this game? Is this game really for me? Yes, it is for you. It's just one of those days where you all have a bad day at the office. And unfortunately, this one is going to be one to try to forget for Raw 94. Having said that, though, look, just get together. Get together in a huddle and say, look, it hasn't been good. The last uh, sort of, at least the last two innings haven't been good. One with the, the bat and one out there with the ball. But we can change that. We can go back to base. We can go back home uh, with a smile on our face if we can get a win here. Come on, let's change around our fortunes. Let's go out there, get this 131 and change things. But I tell you what, the Vernon Super Kings, they're not wanting them. They're not going to give anything away here. They want this win. They want to register their first win on a European cricket series. So let's see how that goes. There's the bowling figures there for you. I think, uh, well, Marina Thas, he bowled very well. Two for 12. You can't take anything away from him. Also, two wickets there for Ruthie Akuma, who, despite what's happened with his team, has had a very good day. And Joseph Tharoon as well, the captain, two for 17 for him. So there's been some good performances there. But I think the bowlers, all of them, were let down by some of the fielding. So it's going to be a short break for the final innings of the day. Match number 20. Join us back in around about 10 minutes' time. 131 required. A Royal 94. Are they going to be able to change their fortunes and finish the day with a smile? on their faces, or will it be the Villeneuve Super Kings who register their first win on the European Cricket Network? Stay tuned 
to find out. We'll be back in 10 minutes.
European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. Hello folks and welcome back to what's been a very beautiful day here in France, especially in this uh, uh, central northern part of France here in Drew. We've had plenty of sunshine and we've had plenty of good cricket and are we going to finish with another absolute cracker? It's worth pointing out that the last two days, the last match of the day, has been very close. And uh, maybe that's the pattern that we're going to follow here. Remember that on match day two, the last match, match number 10, it was 94 to 92 in favour of the Paris University Club that had that great defence. And match day three, we saw a close one as well, didn't we? 116 to 121. Just five runs in it. Are we going to see the same here today? Well, let's wait and see. And uh, certainly, Raw 94, they certainly need something to cheer about. They've got two guys who, in that loss, uh, an incredible loss, a loss that's left them feeling very hurt to President 11. You've got uh, Ramanan Indran, who made 36 of 12. Uh, he is going to be out there. He's the non striker. But they're going with John Mary uh, Elliston as the opener. They started well, they batted well. They were, I think, yes, in that contest all the way, all the way up to, I would even say, all the way up to the, the sort of the sixth over. They were well in front. That one probably will be a big wide to start off with. I mean, even at that point, they needed, so at the end of the sixth over, they were on 80. Remember, the chase was. A uh, hundred and sixteen. So they were well in it. And then they just lost their way. But this time, can they finish the job? That's going to be another wide. So that's even wider than the ball before. And it's the captain. The, the seventh Iran. Who wants to open with the ball. So they're doing something different. I don't mind this. Seventh Iran, he bowled the one over in the last contest. And he bowled pretty well. It was... And so he's thinking, OK, I fancy it. Does it get this one right? Oh, no run. Yes, the striker, Alistair, says, no, stay there. Don't want it. Don't want to do anything too risky. Let's see the character that Royal 94 show here. I was a little bit surprised as well. All right, Chase is a wide one. It's up in the air. And the fielder can't stop it. I think this is just going to bounce before the rope. Mm. Well, no, the umpire's given six here. Let's have a look at this. I think the fielder has said it's six, and... Yep. Looks like that does catch a bit of the line. So, a bit of the rope, I should say. So, six ones. All right, this one is over the top of the infielder. So... Four more, six and four. Come on, everybody. Everyone together. It is the last match of the day. Hungry for more. And Dave is saying, who is doing the, the hot drinks today? Um, Dave, I honestly couldn't tell you who was doing All I do know is that I know that uh, Umpire Niaz brought us over some nice hot teas. This end. I've actually not been that way today. I just haven't had a chance, Dave. Obviously, when you're on your own, it's so many, uh, as you know, you've been here, there's so many bits to do at the end of the inning. So I've not had a chance, actually, to be fair. And we haven't really had any uh, real early finishes as well. But the good thing is, somebody has been provided us with the drinks. Taking it on, and a good bit of fielding. Doesn't really have time to pick up and throw, so he sort of, as he gets he lunges and pushes this forward. That's neatly done Die by Peter Buckgarden. The umpires are just checking number of balls to come. They're in agreement that there is one to come. Have a look at the uh, what the wind predictor is saying on this one. This one might be another wide. The umpire is thinking about it and decides that that one is okay. He might have a chance to have a look at it again. So he does go right across and 
Yeah, I think that is okay. Just the angle. I think it squeezes in. 19 matches since the Golden Ball. Well, we've got close the last two days at the end of the day. Could this be one? 13 off the first. And if you do 13 times 10, what do you get to? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep, 130. So, could it be? We'll have to wait and see. All right. Next over. Firmly hit over the inner ring. There's going to be four more. Nice shot. As Mohammed Azim sees he's first blasted to the boundary. wide says the umpire by Vignesh calls it Vignesh out there with a shock Niaz is the third umpire all right that's pretty well hit but fielder coming across can he take the catch oh in and out in and out. He's a good catcher of the ball. Is Ruthushan Gunarasa. He gets there, but the ball just pops out of his hand. This is all about movement. His momentum. As he's running there, he just can't get a stable base. So the ball in and out. So Alliston is his turn to get a life. Dropped on 15. All right. This is high up in the air. And this is taken, no mistakes. So the man who has had the worst possible day is Ramanan Indran. Remember him behind the stumps. The ball hitting him, him not taking the catches, also pushing the ball onto the, the helmet for five penalty runs. And he is now going to depart for a two-ball duck. Sometimes... It's just not your day. And that's been the case here for Ramanan Indran. So he'll get a Derek. But he'll be back to fight another day. Indran, two ball duck. Good cut out there by... The other Sivakuma. That's uh, Kenny Arthur. Sivakuma takes the catch. Getting Azim the wicket. Azim just goes nice and full this time to the new batter. And this is uh, Uthya Kuma. Kenny round off what's been, for him individually, a really good day with a good score and a win. When he gets a little bit of luck, a slice of luck, this one is going to be four runs. So uh, a little bit of suerte for Uthiakuma. Remember Uthiakuma, he did something that was quite remarkable in the first match that they played. All right, it wasn't a win. And uh, they were playing the Paris University Club, chasing... 159 didn't get there but in those eight wickets that fell for Paris University Club he took four catches and four wickets four for 23 so he had his name in the book for every single wicket that fell in the innings and then with the bat he makes 29 not out and that was significant because they finished on 111 which was the score they needed for a point, and he hits the last ball for a boundary to get that 111. So he had a sensational match and responsible for getting his team a point. So he would love to finish well. Look, get a win here, and you stay in the top four. Remember the top five. The top five play on finals day, so... 
You've got to finish in the top five. Outside the top five, you just ain't going to make it. 23 for one. After two. Bruno Rasa comes on to bowl. It will be wide. And I know what he's saying. He's saying put the batter, but yeah, but unfortunately, the new regs doesn't matter. The line does not move anymore. I think the bowlers have more to play with with the line now because remember it used to be if you hit any part of that line, the ball hits any part of the line, it's uh, automatically called a wide. But now you can hit the line and it's not a wide as long as you catch some of that line. Crunched, hit, hard, big, six. So Seis Guerreras from Elliston trying to give his team a good start and get an advantage in this contest. They're wanting to be around about the 45 mark at the end of the power play. Now, it's just bowling runs at the moment is uh, Gunurasa. And this is uh, Peter Thiep. Gunurasa. Captain just having a word with him, saying, hey, come on, keep it nice, keep it steady. And looks like he wants to change his approach. Not so if this will serve him well. And it won't. It's not quite where the batter intended it to, but it's another one that will go to the boundary. So the, it's over, started with a wide, and then after that, every legal delivery has gone to the boundary, 6-4-4. Four, and four. So they're up and running. They're getting close to that the 45 that they want to get. This over's gone for 15. First three deliveries. Going to continue. Gunarasa around the wicket. Okay, up in the air. Catching the opportunity. Wicket keeper's got to want it, surely. And, well, he gets taken away from him. But Gunarasa wants it himself and holds on to it. And uh, Prathip Gunarasa, I think he's calling the keeper off. He's saying, no, I want it. It's my catch. Leave it to me. And he holds on to it. It's a nice and important moment. Getting the wicket of John Mariela Stint for 30. You just said, no, it's mine. I want it. I know it should be your catch, but I want it. It's mine. I want the... I want... The glory of doing it all by myself, especially after he's hit me for three boundaries on the spin. So 38 for two. Kapil Raj is the new batter. We know he's dangerous. We've seen him hit the ball pretty well. And that's what he does. First ball, boom. Shakalag, yeah, that smashed into something. I heard the thud. Nice big hit. A lovely hit straight down the ground. And the two batters just having a chat. Can they be stronger together here? One of these two teams will win their first match today. Both have played two and lost two. So this is, if you like, the decider. Also, we know that uh, even though Raw 94 have won a match, remember they had won, then they had one abandoned, they lost the early one, then they lost the second. So they want to go back to winning ways, whereas we know that the, the Super Kings have yet to register a win. They've only picked up two points from the four matches that they played on two occasions. They've picked up nothing from those matches and with Paris Zalmi playing tomorrow the Super Kings will be pretty keen to try and get more than just a two-point cushion over a team that uh, is right down there with them that is a good shot that's going to be four runs so Kapil Raj fires another one away so he's got a six and four he certainly is hungry for more that is the end off the power play. I said they wanted to be at 45-ish, but they've gone past that. They're 49. And when you compare the two power plays, they're actually ahead. They're 49 for two. Their opponents were 42 for one. 
So currently they're ahead of where they want to be. Even though the if you look at the percentages there, they still have the Super Kings slightly in front. Looks like we're gonna have a change here and um, Devon is coming on the ball. So just changing the, the pace slightly. It's not a bad idea because you can now, of course, have two extra men outside the 30-yard circle. So Mahai Devon. Checks his field. Coming in between the umpire and the stops. Doesn't start with a good one down the leg side. But it gets well stopped. By Philip Kumaran behind the stumps. Played out, taking it on. In comes the throw. It'll get there. Maya Devon waits. Kapu Raj has been pretty aggressive to start off with. Doesn't quite get all of this. And look at the man who does the fielding. Robin San Siva Kumar. Watch out for, for him on social media. The catch he took this morning. Absolute beauty on the boundary when it was wet and dewy. Coming across, diving in, takes it. Incredible catch. In fact, the catching from the Super Kings this morning was incredible. They let themselves down a little bit with the catching in their second match. Didn't start well, but they finished well in general. The fielding has been good. Short. Hit hard. Has he got enough of it? Just. And he hits it firmly, doesn't he? He throws everything at this, including the kitchen sink. And he had to. Because otherwise, this wasn't going to go the distance. So, Uthia Kumaran also gets this one away. Absolutely smashes it. Down six to him. Partnerships are everything. The 50 has come up now. It's a fuller delivery. Works this out to long on. Comes in. Keeps it to one. That's uh, Pirathip Gunasrasa. Are we going to have another classic finish? Ooh, and you can see that the, the wind predictor has changed its mind. It has now a Royal 94 in front. 55, well, 52 to 48. Changes by the ball. And this will maybe put it back to 50-50. They will take the misfield on. Well, if that was a single, I think it would take it to 50-50. And being it a two, it might stay as it is. It is the over that gets completed. It's at 61 for two. In this final innings of the day. I want to say thank you for everyone, particularly to everybody in the chat. And thank you for keeping me company. Just look at the lines there at the moment. So at, as we speak, well, Royal 94 are probably pretty happy where they are. They're above. The blue line, way above the blue line. So at the moment, they're definitely looking to get something out of this match. But more importantly, they're looking to go all the way and get the win. And the win predictor has them on in front. But yeah, thank you to everybody. Thank you for keeping me company in the chat. Loving, your, loving the gossip. Loving your comments and the interaction. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support for the European Cricket Network. Swing and a miss from the first ball. International Jugglers Day today. And also International Pizza Cake Day. A few people did come back and tell me that they have had a pizza cake and tell me what it sort of does resemble. That's on the lid. That is right on the side of the lid. The umpires have to, I think, just check that uh, Uthi Akuma is okay here. And I think the umpires need to go there and have a check. It looks like uh, that Vignesh is on his way there now. He'll just do a very quick uh, concussion test. Are you okay? He says, yeah, I'm fine. 
And the other umpire comes across as well. Well, he's checking the helmet. <laughs> maybe maybe the helmet belongs to the umpire. <laughs> he's saying, never mind, never mind everything else. Has the helmet. And then Vignesh then goes back and says, hey, I'm going to have a check as well. I think both. I like that. Concern. Concern and caring. We like to be that. If they do check, that he's fine. So we're happy to carry on. And let's see how fine he is. Yeah, he's fine. No worries. As the Oguba says, well, you hit me and I'll hit you back. Come on, bring it on. A little bit of masala out there in the middle as it starts to get a little bit spicy in this contest. There's Ryan 94 uh, trying to put a, a disappointing match number 19 behind them and finish with a win. Super Kings, they want the win as well. They're first. Okay, up in the air. Fielder comes across. Can't take the catch. His fingertips. And it will go over for six. Stronger together. One of these two teams has to be stronger together. Who will it be? Let's have a look at this again. I'm just keeping an eye on the fielder here. Where's those feet? Yeah, he's inside. It's an opportunity. Doesn't take it. And that's Siri Kuma Jathurushan, who's... Well, he's been catching well today. Doesn't take that one. It takes on the fielder running a long way away and the, the bat plug in there as well so Ruthia Kuma can he make the most of each line being dropped there on 18 up in the air just over the the fielder and well, goes back. All right, end of the over. 75 for two. And uh, just have a look at this. Remember, we've seen a hat-trick here in Portugal. And what an over it was. So, hat-tricks. Have a look at all the hat-tricks we've had. Starting with, of course, Lauren Burns, who took six for 20. And there he is, Zahir Zahiri. Four for 18. Hat-trick number 12 in the season. And brilliantly done as well. What an over. And outstanding figures from him. That last over only going for the one run. Picked up four wickets in total. That is going to be four runs. Yeah, four wickets in that last over. Remember, needed ten. Needed ten off six. And then came the hat trick. Sensational. Really was quite sensational. Helping his team to a victory. It's President 11. Never looked in it. That's a nice looking shot as well. Fielder does come. Oh no. Gets this completely wrong. Charges at it. It's going to be four more. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. The Villeneuve Super Kings. They don't want to be throwing this away. It's charging it. It doesn't need to. Charges at it and misses it. The ball gets away. And well, that's uh, Kenny Arthur Siva Kuma who concedes uh, boundary unnecessarily. So two balls, two boundaries. Mahadevan bowling, he's second. And make that another. In fact, this one will go all the way. And uh, well, it's shaka, shaka time. And uh, this captain just having a chat there with the bowler. Uh, Sumith Iran, I think he's saying here, hey, look, have a look at the field that I've given you. You know where you need to be. 4-4-6. Four, four, Mahadevan under pressure. Kapil Raj. Another strong shot this time to the other side of the field. And oh, no. What is going on here? It's the same fielder again. Well, he made the error earlier, didn't he, Siva Kuma? And this time round, well, he goes to the left, to the left, and a blip burn, and now to the right, to the right, and another blip burn, and the fielder who's behind him, he gets that completely wrong as well, and that is uh, Gunarasa. Ay, ay, ay. Four, four, six, four. Doesn't quite get the contact he wants here. Takes a single. That's not a bad outcome for 
Kapil Raj. Because he hands the strike now to the Akuma. Keep him warm as well. So this over, 19 from it. In danger game, magical. The rate they brought it down to under nine per over. Nuthia will play this one out. Gunnarasa surely won't mess this one up. He doesn't. 20. Goes magical. Is the end of the over. 95 for two after six. There's that partnership between with the Akuma and the Kapil Raj. Partnerships are everything. And these two, especially after Ramanan Indran, of course, went for a duck. Well, he didn't use up too many deliveries. <laughs> I don't know. He hasn't had the best of best of matches. Maybe that's the best thing that he did for his side. Get the get the duck and get out of the way. Because a couple of rides just come out, and at the moment, he's he's getting good guns, isn't he? 33 of 11, a good strike rate of 300. All right. Peter Bakaran to hold his first. He'll start with the wide. This one gets past the keeper. All right, chance goes a long way up in the air. Good luck and well held is the captain who keeps calm and the Suvath Iran gets the breakthrough that they needed. The partnership comes to the end. It's Kapil Raj that will go. 33 of 12 deliveries. Excellent strike rate while he was there. But they get a breakthrough. So... Needing, remember, here now, under nine and over. So it's a little bit like where they were in the last match. Sort of in front, didn't have to do anything crazy. Will they do it right this time? It's Reagan, that comes out. Oh, this one gets through him. Yeah, they've been here before, haven't they? They don't want to mess this up again. Peter Bakaran. It's a nice looking shot. And there's a fielder out there, but he can't do anything about it. It's over him. It's six runs. Powerfully hit. And Regan makes good contact. Good and strong. Good elevation. Nothing that the fielder Sivakuma can do about that. So Peter Bakaran walks back to his mark. 100 is up now. 28 in 21 balls. Dead ball signal there by the umpire. Yeah, works his way. There's nobody there. Square leg is left open. And it's going to be Cuatro Carreras. Nobody that part of the ground. We've just got the three men on the leg side. Well, long on, who's pretty straight. Mid-wicket. And they've got somebody who's behind square inside the, the circle on the 45. So you don't want to be bowling on the leg side. Ron 94, who looked very flat in the field after losing to President Eleven, a game that they had in the bag. Similarly to this one, same sort of thing. Cannot lightning strike twice. That's what we're thinking here now. Remember, in that last match, with plenty of wickets in hand, they only needed 16 of the last two. They were 100 for three, needing 116. And they ended up 107. For seven. Up in the air. Can he find it, the keeper? No, it's too far away from him. He'll get the single. Yeah, that's right. You heard me right. They were 100 for three. After eight. Then the ninth over from Hussein. Only six came from it. 106 for three. 
and then they needed 10 on the last and they only got one as Zahiri took one for four including a hat-trick this is what's coming up tomorrow Parizalmi will play three matches Drew will play three and uh, Pavilions are also going to be in action they're going to play the first two Sarcells also in action so four teams coming to play tomorrow five matches again and it's day five of 12 it'll be lovely to have you with us of course it's peacock friday as well so make sure you have your peacock friday numbers on hopefully the weather be kind for us here so we can have our peacock friday outfits on i have to do a quick check of the weather that's too wide great take from the keeper Through Kumaran having to go a long way across to stop that one. Uh oh, in the air, wicket keeper should have it. And he does, so here we go again. So <laughs> Kuma is going to go for 27. He was the set batter. So Kapil Raj was the man who was out there with him for a fair time. Those two look to have things. Nicely under control. And Kumran comes across, takes the catch. It's going to be a wicket to Azim. And just uh, the same sort of thing again. Remember, they were here before. They just needed a roundabout run of ball. Here they're needing around seven and over. They lose another wicket, 110 for four. And, well, Constant comes out and he blasts it straight away. He's not messing around. And uh, Constantin, first ball, smashed away for six. Azim, back to the drawing board for him. 15 runs in 16 balls. A win here will take the pain away. But to be on those Super Kings, probably will feel that this is probably so far been their best opportunity for a win. All right, dot ball. Ooh, pressure, pressure, pressure. 15 of 15, a runner ball to win. 15 of 15, Azim wants to stick to this round the wicket, but it's a dangerous ploy to a batter who wants to go in that area. This chips his away, he's gonna get four runs, it's a nice shot. Doesn't try and hit it too hard. Constantin just gets there and just uh, just helps this along the way. Four more. 11 of 14. Roy 94 looking for their second win, the first of the day. Lost two already, as have the Super Kings. Gets another dot in. Again, right across, Konstantin. He's done. He's, he's you know done what he's there to do. He's scored quickly, ten already of just four deliveries. Plays it away. Wants to take the single, and they'll get there. Ten of twelve. Ten of twelve. Last time round, it was. 16 of 12. Not a bad spell there from Azim. Two for 22 for him. 121 for four. They need the special over here. Do the Villeneuve Super Kings. Who do they go to to bowl it? It looks like Gunarasa has been given the ball. So, Pirathi Kunarasa being trusted with this over. Can he take it into the last? Can he put some more pressure on Raw 94? Raw 94, they've been here before in a winning position and end up losing. They need this win. They need it to change their mood, to change the morale in the camp. They were very flat out there in the field. A win here will certainly make them feel a lot better. 
goes for it, is there in the slot, and he gets blasted. That is a biggie. Bully, bully, bully. Brrr. Seize Gorillas. That'll do nicely. Now just four. One more boundary, and they'll do it. The Super Kings will have to settle once again for a point. At least they get a point. They haven't managed to do that on 50% of the matches they played up until now. Short down the leg side. Gets played away. Should just be the one. Three now. Be quiet. Three and ten. Yeah, it's in the same area. It would just be another single. Uh, Suganathan Regan takes the single. Yeah, is that going to be a wide? Yeah, it's going to be wide. That ties the scores. Scores tied. 130 apiece. Yeah, it looks like the Super Kings will go down again. And yeah, they will. It's a big six. So this one is going to land somewhere to the right of me. And that is it. It's done and dusted. All the pain that they felt from that loss to the present 11. Well, some of that will be washed away here as they get a win. Their second. And they'll get something from the day. They'll pick up three points. And the Villeneuve Super Kings, they've done much better with the bat. Much more positive batting from them. They get to 130. They will take away a point, but they still don't have a win under their belt. And so their troubles will continue as they lose all three of their matches here today. So they played five and uh, no win for them just yet. But you can see the smiles starting to return on the faces of Royal 94. And they needed something to happen. They looked flat, they looked down, they looked hurt. They were a team that were hurting when they were out there in the field. They never came together once. The captain was trying to G them up, as were one or two other the key players. But a win will put a smile back on their faces, and I can see those smiles now. And the Vilna Super Kings, better from them as well. They seem to be getting better all the time. They're good in the field. They take some good catches, but with the bat, they're just lacking a little bit of oomph. Though this time around, they do get to, well, pass that... Uh, the average score, which is around about 125, they get to 130, but it's not enough. They get beaten, and they get beaten with eight balls to go. Let's roll the highlights. And this is the way that it started. As uh, John Mary, uh, he was hitting the ball really well. But one man who had a bit of a shocker, who just couldn't get anything going, was uh, Ramanan Indran. He goes for a exuberant shot first up but finds the safe hands off the fielder and he would go for a two ball duck. But then sometimes getting out of the way quickly can work in your favor because he goes, that meant uh, that uh, Kumar could come out and he did well. He scored 27 of 14. That was a great catch, corner and bold. I went a long, long way up in the air. And uh, well, Gunnar Sarara said, no, I want it. And he takes it. That was the end of John Mary Ellistein. He made 30 of 11, but he gave his team a good start, but this time around they didn't blow it. Some catches that weren't taken, half chances there. I think uh, Alistair being dropped on 15, that was pretty key. Don't forget the Akuma was also dropped on 18, that was the one that you just saw there. Then you had some of these clangers as well, which don't help. Uh, there was a couple there from Steve Akuma that he needed to deal with. This is one goes a long way up in the air, and the captain holds on to a very good catch. That went a long, long way up, but uh, well done and well handled there by the skipper. Uh, Sua Tiran makes no mistakes, and this one should have been, could have been, and it was. So another one goes. And just at that point, it was still very much open. It could have gone either way, but some big hitting as a new batter came in. That was Constantine came in. Blasted a few big shots, and that basically took them the match away from the Super Kings. So the Super Kings is played five, lost five. They're still searching for that first win. Let's take a quick look at the 
the scorecard here. 30 from John Murray Ellistin. I like that knock from him. He scores the runs quickly the same way the end of Kuma did as well, as well as Couple Raj. Couple Raj, I think it's good that he's come good again. He was somebody that I was excited about the first time that I saw Raw 94. So if they bat in this way, if those batters can click and they all make contributions and one goes in and puts a big score on the board, you know that they will be good. They will pick up wins. Super Kings, what can you say about them? I think with the batting much better from them this time around. Two wickets there from Azim. He bowled well. I don't think uh, any of the bowlers bowled particularly badly. Sometimes I think the bowlers were just let down a little bit in the field. So that's the, the end of this day. As remember, we have plenty of cricket coming up for you tomorrow. I'm going to leave you with that match summary. But, uh, yeah, it's been a great day. just want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in. Uh, well done to the umpires. Look, it's not easy there. You're under a lot of pressure. I know there was a one or few calls that probably uh, went slightly differently to the way that I see them. But remember, when you're out there and you're the umpire, you can only call it the way that you see it. Well done also to Spring Media. Great work from them. I think uh, they are the people that allow us to enjoy the cricket that's being played out here. So well done to Chris Stapps, to Arthur's and also to Martins doing a wonderful job. And to everybody here at the ground, the ECN crew. And of course, I have to say a big shout out to the Federation that are looking after us really well. But most importantly, to all of you, wherever you've been tuned in uh, around the world. I am on my own for the next few days, but uh, with you there, I never feel like I'm on my own. So thank you very much. Thank you for your support. Let's have a quick look at what we've got coming up tomorrow very quickly. I know we've got five more matches coming up. Paris Zalmi going to be in action. They've got uh, three matches. As to Drew and then Sarcel and Berblinians, they have got a couple of matches as well. So five matches coming up tomorrow. I think they're going to be very, very exciting. It's been another great day. It's been a great day. The sun has been shining all day long and it's been absolutely beautiful. It's delightful to be here. And it's also been great to see a lot of the supporters that have been coming in and watching the cricket as well. All have got a story to tell. All have got a favourite moment on the European Cricket Network. Well, what's your favourite moment of today? Well, I can tell you, you can have a look at the highlights and decide for yourself. So it's time for me to say goodbye. But, you know, as I say, be good, be kind, be safe and be happy. Shukriya. Thank you for watching. Hasta mañana, mi familia.